I think we're on to something here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Liam's back, everybody. Yes, he is. He's back. Hello, Liam. <laughs> Oh, yes, my goodness. How we have missed his naughtiness. I know, I know. I've really naughtiness. Missed him. He's definitely on something, though. He I is. I feel like he is. That was why we're just is. discussing a business venture. <laughs> Sounds good. Under Tim Bounding! Yay! Under Tim Bounding. I'll draw up the contracts, everyone, and you can all just sign on the dotted line come the end of the show. Right. Um, yeah. What? An amazing Thursday we have. First, we've got beautiful Claire. Oh, thank you. Looking at vision as always. Thank you very much. Thank did you enjoy your little adventure? Do you know, I did, but do you know why I paused? So, you know, since I saw you, and then I've been a bit poorly. Oh. So, I did have a lovely time in, in Wales. It's always lovely, isn't it? Wales, Wales is beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm all right now. I'm fine. You're okay yeah, now, I'm though. Fine now, thank yeah, you. Because I asked Claire earlier. I said, "Do you have a nice time?" But you didn't give me that bit of information. No, no. Well, because then, the, then the boys all started, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking, so yeah, I'm all talking right. Talking about now. their business venture. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Um, yes, under ten pound day, and that no. means tools. Yes. That means gemstones. That means calibrated stones. That means findings. Everything you can possibly think of. We're yeah. going to try and squeeze in this five-hour show. Yes. We've if there's anything in particular that you're looking for, then do text uh, text us, message us into the studio, and um, because we'll get Liam on it, we will get Liam on it. Yeah. Um, and also, yes, a lot of the items for today are going on pre-order, so it would be worthwhile um, having a look on the website, all the W's at jurymaker.com. Currently, everything on the website. Uh, for the sorry, everything um, in the eight o'clock hour is on the website, is what I meant to say. Um, should we show you just in case? You, just in case you no, not hobby maker. We're jewelry maker, Liam. You're getting us mixed up now, aren't you? There you go. Um, have a little look. This is all the eight o'clock hour, and you can see look. 31.96, you know they're not stopping there. Everything, everything is going under £10 today. Some might already be under Ooh, £10. Some might some be going these. even lower. <gasps> Hang on a minute. Oh, I've already been looking at those. Yeah. Oh. Well, they're going under £10 today. So just shop ahead, knowing that everything will be going um, to that amazing price point. So um, how fabulous. And that's not, you know, sometimes we do under £10 days and it'll be like, oh, yeah, everything bar that... Not the case. Um, and you know we've got Liam for two days only. It doesn't quite have the same ring, does it? <laughs> um, it's now one day only. Oh. Um, so he is here in the hot seat just for today and ready to call oh, some absolute him. mayhem. Yeah. In amongst the conversation, Liam, I've completely forgotten what our deal of the day is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We've got a mega auction quantity. There's 420 tanzanite. Yeah, I know. In one of my favourite cuts. Sorry, the tassel didn't want to come off then. Um, this is going to go on pre-order. What now? You're going to put it on pre-order now? Gosh, that's brave, isn't it? Um, now, should be, look at that, full of vanadium. You've got that amazing quality oh. of colour. Um, we've already reduced it down to 29.99, but yeah, you know, 80 pounds is where it should be. Um, you know, today that's not going to happen. We're going to take it under 10 pounds. There's 420 opportunities. So get shopping ahead, get pre-ordering to guarantee your place. You might think, oh, there's 420, there's loads. Yes. But it's tanzanite, so, you know, everybody loves tanzanite. Everyone knows its value. And you also recognise that it probably shouldn't be under £10. So make the most of that. Also, you can shop ahead and pre-order on your multicoloured oh, spinel. Look at that. It's £200 on the website, but you know that's not what you're going to be paying, even if you check out. Everybody pays under 10 Look at the quality. I mean, you've got some really beautiful pinks, mauves. You've got your yellow. Look at this one. That lovely little section. Rich natural colours. Some of your Jedi reds. Lovely. All guaranteed under £10 <coughs> today. I will warn you, though, it's going to be a bit chaotic today, just because I can. It, 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 it's in the air in the studio. It is in the air. Firstly, we've got Claire. That always adds a little bit of it excitement to any show um then you've got liam and you put that two, you liam. know those yeah. two together it's just yeah troublesome shall yeah. we say of course i will be the professional one <laughs> what 
<laughs> and then you add, yeah, that's true. And then you add Paul, who's, who's you know, just the naughtiest person. You <laughs> and Adam and Ethan. Looks like know, it's all on Ethan. Poor then, Ethan. Poor Ethan. He's only been here a day. He doesn't know what's hit him. <laughs> He's already thinking, goodness me, um, about uh, about that job application. Uh, I'm like, not feeling well now. <laughs> Sorry, Ethan. We've got to get you used to it, that's all. Right, now let's start off like professional. Now. OK, professional. let's go, let's yes. Your creation's in the Wall of Fame. Ah, starting us off this morning is Donna. Good morning, Donna. Ah, it's a vision of springtime. Oh, how lovely. Isn't that beautiful? It's daffodils. Uh, you're gorgeous. number 287, Donna. Daffodils are the national flower here in Wales. I knew... Oh, I Donna. knew. I, I'm down with you, Donna, on uh, Saturday. Actually, Friday, tomorrow. Um, and I have finally finished my daffodil brooch bracelet, ready to wear for St David's Day on the 1st of March. It took me several days to make, but I think it was worth it. Good luck to everybody this week in the draw. Donna, that's absolutely beautiful. It is gorgeous. Well done. That's lovely. So, Donna, did you, did you used to wait, uh, dress up as little Welsh girl yes. as well on, on, on St. David's Day. No, my mum and dad never let me. Aww. I know, I was always the only little girl that wouldn't, wear, wouldn't be dressed Aww. up. I could wear the leek, though. I was allowed to wear uh, the leek. Yeah, no, it's, um, I, I'll send you a photo. I know I've got a photo. I was somewhere. really jealous of my friends yeah. that dressed up as a, in the little Welsh outfit. Uh, 288 is from Sue. Oh, these are fabulous, Sue. Wow. Look how beautiful. Gosh, they're lovely. Visions of colour. Um, hi, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame. Waterfall earrings with emerald nuggets. And that's Sue in Derbyshire. They're beautiful, oh, Sue. Yeah, Number 289 lovely. is from Julie. Good morning, Julie. Oh, <coughs> again, beautiful. Love the colour combinations. Please find my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a long line jadeite and pearl necklace with interchangeable jadeite Buddha oh. and a freeform amber piece. I've knotted this Very using silker like which works really well. Good luck to all in the drawn. Thanks, as always, for the lovely goodies. Best wishes, and that's Julie and Warmly. P.S. Photo's not great, but I'm working on my photography skills. Well, I was skills. just thinking how good they are. I was it's thinking it is. Sam's um, props. That looks really good, Julie. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah, I think you've done well then. <clears throat> I've got uh, 290, and this is Deb Briggs. Hi, all at JM. Oh, lovely. All oh, my favourite. Recently, I bought three of your Sleeping Beauty turquoise station chains. One for me, one for mum, and one to cut up and make other pieces with. Here's a pair of dangly earrings I've made from some of it. Hope you like it. Lots of love. And that's Deb Briggs in Coventry. Absolutely gorgeous, Deb. Yeah, my Beautiful. favourite. Good luck. Uh, I've then got 291, and this is Marianne Mitchell. Good afternoon, everyone. I haven't entered the Wall of Fame for a few years, but I'm getting back uh, into my jewellery making after a, quite a break from it. Here are my seed bead tassel earrings using 11 <coughs> seed beads bought at JM. Good luck to all who have entered, and I'll try not to leave it so long next time. Thanks for all your inspiration. That's Marianne from Featherstone. They are absolutely gorgeous, Marianne. I'm really glad that you've entered them. They're beautiful. Good luck. Um, mate. Oh, sorry. sorry. I've got one more. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I've got 292, and this is the last one, L. This sorry. is Catherine Walker. Uh, please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's all about the simplicity today. So here's a very simple pair of colourful earrings using all JM products. Good luck to all, but I could really do with a win. Love to all, and that's from Catherine Walker. Oh, gorgeous, really Catherine. bright and colourful. Yeah, good luck, bring everyone. Bring a smile to your face. Good luck, yeah. good luck, good luck, and keep those entries coming in for the Wall of Fame. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? I'm liking this. Hold on okay. to your hands because for yes. under ten pound day is always a little bit Let's crazy. Go. Um, uh, yeah, look, look. Starting with an essential. Plus, it's twenty inches, which is my preferred length because it kind of sits mid decolletage. Yes. Um, not even stopping at six pounds seventy nine, even though technically speaking, we are already under ten pounds. Um, an essential to any jewelry maker stash. I think we all agree. There's only one left, though, so you've got to be really quick. Lots of you have shopped ahead. Savvy shopping, that is. £5.52. That's brilliant. That's very good, isn't it? It's I mean, excellent. Very, very good. Sold out. Well done. Amazing. Well done. Congratulations. Shall we do... Oh, they're beautiful, these. Speaking of, was it Donna from, uh, from, my, uh, from my neck of the woods? Donna from Wales. 
I think these have got a little fleur de lis inspiration. I think they're really, yeah, yeah. And by the way, good luck to England and Wales on Saturday. Yeah, we're going to Cardiff when it's England and Wales playing each other. Oh. We're not going to the rugby, though. We're going to Disney on ice with the girls. So a bit different. Ah. Yeah, a bit different. Um, but yes, look, do you see where I'm coming I from? I can't got... believe. Are these, these are still... How are these? Uh, yeah, good point. How are they under £10? Oh, Liam says, genuine mistake. The cost is, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much what's on your screen right now. Um, OK, so they shouldn't be under £10. <laughs> <laughs> That's was okay, that not that was that not mistake. you, Liam? Who who did that? He said it probably was me, to be honest. Yeah, that's below cost, significantly below cost. Have we got many of them then? Because do you know what you've actually got? Look at how clever the um, <coughs> the earring that that lever hook well, you uh, lever back is. You can actually take that off, so you could have that as a bail. Four, four, yeah, and then keep the shepherd hooks for something yeah. different if you wanted to. Should not be under ten pounds. Um, our cost is, well, quite a bit more than what's on your screen. Quite a bit more. Um, yeah, that's a good idea, Claire. So you can deconstruct it. But you know what? Liam doesn't care. He does not care, he says. Um, officially, he's not a jewellery maker. Sorry, Liam. Got to say it as it is. You, desert, you ditched us, didn't you? That's what... So, you know... Uh, morning, Liam, Claire, Ellen, crew. Morning, Sharon. Oh, Hello, morning, my darling. Sharon. Yeah, he's gone again tomorrow, isn't he? He's back to his desk. Oh. Back to his desk. You know, so let's not get let's not get too attached because he did ditch us. Um, <laughs> only joking, Liam. Um, should we do some lovely smoky courts? Um, oh, there's only ten oh, though. Oh, look those. at the carrot weight. <gasps> Aren't they beautiful? Should be over twenty pounds. We don't see smoky courts very often, oh, do we? Beautiful, aren't they? Love it. It's like champagne and an espresso yes. all in one. Ooh. Yeah, I know. If I, 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 you know, I, th I think, I think if I could invent a drink, it would be something along those lines. Do you know? I'd love a glass of champagne. Now. Me too. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Really? Yeah. Just because it's Thursday. Yeah. Just because it's Thursday. Yeah. I'm not saying they would go, Adam, but visually, they look. This, that's what I see when I see mm. smoky courts. This quality. Um, Dawn and London um, and Yorkshire. If you want one of these, you've got to be super quick. It should be over twenty pounds. I mean, they're big, beautiful pendants. I'll leave that with you. Amazing. Um, let's do some cubes. Cubes in your black agate. Oh, these are lovely. Um, <coughs> see what he just said. Yes. When was the last time you did a show with this, Liam? <gasps> Six months ago. Yeah. Okay. Um, very Chanel inspired or a little bit Mary Quant, I think. Love it. Beautiful black agate with that wonderful liquid like luster. I'd be teaming this with some pearls, Claire, I think. Do you know, yes, I'd pearls. And if you've got any, you know, my spacer beads. <clears throat> yes. I'd it with the, 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 the large cube. cube spacer beads. That, is a lovely, yeah. that was a lovely cube. The one that sold out, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that one, yeah. I yeah. did watch. Yeah. I did message as well. Yeah. But for I, some reason, they didn't show I my know message. You did. I probably, well, I was crying anyway so i probably would have sobbed it made me cry when because lovely Haley sent them through I to know. me and yeah i did see it <laughs> thanks so because you're so loved um okay in 35 seconds we're going to go even lower than eight pounds 99 we want to check out how many of you are actually up and with it up and with it but be warned <laughs> These are limited. We're already under that £10 price tag. You've got 310 carats of beautiful black agate. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. We're jumping ahead of the clock because they're already pretty much sold out. Look at this giveaway deal. Are you up and you awake and you with it? £4.56 sold out. Well done. Um, oh, the rounds. This strand's beautiful. Oh, nice. Brand new, six millimetre garnets. Think your jadeite. Think how lovely it'd be with your jadeite. Think how lovely it'd be with your pearls. You know, garnet's one of those... I, I particularly... I'm fond of garnet as a gemstone family. I love to talk about yeah. garnets because they're a fraction. I mean, we are looking at it in its worst possible light here in the studio. If you get this home, especially... It's, it looks glorious today, yeah, so doesn't it? it's very it? rich, isn't it? It's got yeah. wonderful, wonderful presence of colour. It's brand new. So should this be an under £10 day? Probably not. But we're going to do it anyway. Um, 18.99 is where we should be. You know we're not stopping there, though. 
They look almost black on your screens, which is frustrating because they definitely aren't. Um, you've actually got a really, really, really beautiful, rich, intense saturation, but not so much so that they do become completely black. Um, we've got 100 available. Um, we're not even going to take these just a penny under £10, but we want to see you there. The more of you that are there, the, 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 the more you can influence our Liam. He's very easily led. He is. Very, very easily led. So, you know, uh, just take it from somebody that's worked with Liam for, for quite a few years now, Liam, haven't we? We work together. So, yeah, trust me, you can, you can uh, um, steer him down a certain avenue. Very easily persuaded, he says. Everything's guaranteed under £10, but just how much lower, um, how much lower... Um, <laughs> um, you can you can be the choice. Hello to you, Mandy, Heather, Leslie, Helen, Tina. Hello to you, Jackie, Tracy, London. Good morning to you all. Think about Mark's beautiful kiss cross. Think about your Marlas. Think about your beautiful stretchy bracelets. Yeah, not just a penny, and it's a brand new premiere. We should have been at eighteen ninety nine. <laughs> Sorry, she's just dashed off a minute. She'll be back. <laughs> She'll be back. No explanation. She just all of a sudden tiptoed off. Um, <laughs> um, not even nine ninety nine. So how amazing is that? Um, multi buyers on this. They would be absolutely beautiful. I, I'm thinking in, in um, Mark's kiss crosses. But Claire, oh, there was a reason for you running off. off yeah, screen. sorry, yeah. sorry. I was just oh, we'll starting to get, see, you see lots in there. Yes, something like that, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. That's Ooh, what I was it doing. might well even be the same strand, you know. It might well, well, it looks very similar. To yes. It. How amazing, Claire. How lovely. Six pounds ah. seventy nine for this strand. See, that's brilliant, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you could definitely get a couple of stretches, couldn't you? Out Most of it? definitely. Beautiful. Well done. Thank you, Claire. Should we do some boxes? Yes, I have got boxes. Which one? Let's do the silver. Oh, look, they've got a nice little pillow in there. So, you know, if you just, if you, if you, if you can I borrow that bracelet yeah. again? Or a bracelet, whichever one. Look, if you're, well, if you're nice, selling off, isn't it? gifting, displaying your jewellery, you know, look, there we go. Presentation is key. Look how beautiful that is. And you've got the little window on the top there. One pounds and 25 pence only. Okay, seriously. That's very good, isn't it? How do we even buy them for that price tag? Have we got um, have we got quantity of these? Because I think people are going to be stocking up, not just for um, j j I don't know, j for maybe their Mother's Day gifts or their birthday gifts or for their craft stores, etc. You know, something. Um, oh, you nice. could even be thinking ahead of Christmas. Um, they are brand new, says Liam. We shouldn't really have them. They are top noted, but he just does not care. <laughs> <laughs> He says, I don't care at all. It blatantly says, pardon, it says for May. So our birthday, Liam. They're meant to be part of the birthday. <laughs> By Georgia, top noted for oh. May. Liam, do you know what Liam's just saying? I, do, I don't care. I don't actually care. Love He's it. He's being really rebellious. I know, isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah. The plummet prince. <laughs> plummet prince. Duke of discount. Oh, gosh. There he is. <laughs> the Viscount of Value. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't care. Just... Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I say that out loud? No, what, what Adam just said. The slug of savings. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's not slow. <laughs> but he is a slug. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear me. It's all going wrong, Claire, isn't it? Right, oh. let's do the black ones. Let's do the black ones. Oh, lovely. <laughs> that one's sold out. If you want the black, which is kind of like a matte, um, you could emboss These are on this great. Wouldn't you? Yeah. You could get your glitter pens and you things could. for those yeah, of you glue that, gun. that yeah. do a bit of hobby maker as yeah. well. Get yeah. Get those bit of decoupage. Yeah. All of the above. You don't even have to use that little pillow in there if you don't want to. No, that's you really could use good. your little pillow for something else. You could put watches, bracelets, earrings, brooches. Larger necklaces as well. Larger yeah. necklaces. Um, 500 of you have these in baskets. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, but <laughs> a lot of multi buyers. 
ten, six, five, threes. Well done, sold out. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> what next, Liam? I'm going to need to have a little nana nap after today's <laughs> show. I can already see it happening. Um, shall we do those amethysts? Oh, yes. This is, this is actually terrible. We shouldn't be taking these under £10. Not even singly should they be under £10. These aren't small stones. You can see the, 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 the sheer quality of them. I mean, they are gen quality, aren't they? There's only four of them left. Two carats, over two carats, and each 10 by 8 millimetre calibrated stone. Uh, again, you only have to look at our sister channel. This is the quality that you would see there. Um, morning, all. Um, are we all going to be good today? Never. Teresa, never. I mean, no. let's just let's just look at the people you've got in the studio today, and I think that will answer your question. Firstly, no. secondly, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, very naughty. Very. I'm only joking, Ethan. <laughs> Do you know, he, he is really lovely, to, to be honest. And you haven't come across a bit naughty at all. Bless him. Bless him. Second day in. I eased him in yesterday, didn't I? Eased him. <laughs> Liam in the gallery. Liam. Liam. He's the troublemaker. Yes. Come Where on, stop he? hiding, Liam. Where Get is back. He? He's, he's in the corner just there. Oh. And Adam. <laughs> and Adam. Dan. You know. Definitely Dan. I think Dan gets out of it. Um, he comes across all sweetness of light, but he's not, you know. And by the way, if, if any of our bosses are watching, I apologise for not really giving these gemstones <laughs> the big up. They have sold out. The big up they deserve. That's because our viewers know, they know how amazing it is. No, we should not be doing amber under £10. Where, Liam? Oh, in, oh, this is beautiful. It's a bale, isn't it? Oh, is it, is it this one? Here? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Yes, it is, Claire, yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's lovely. So it can go to the top of a mala or something like that. Oh, the specs are going it, on. Um, oh, oh, sorry, Claire. sorry. Oh, it is. It's drilled, yeah, it's isn't it? It's through drilled. So I'm uh, imagining, one sec, if I turn it over, like your tassel from the bottom. Yeah. And then your necklace coming up this way. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. Or maybe on um, like a slider bracelet as well, couldn't you? you could That's use that cool. On. There's a lot of potential with this. Yeah. Plus, it's your beautiful lemon. It's limited, though, and they're already I absolutely like flying out. Oh, my goodness me, there's some bargains today. So, yeah, they'd be great for your long line necklaces. Yes. Yeah. They'd be great in, as you just said, in, in, in rings. Earrings or something like as that. well. Because you, if you. Um, would you turn it the other way? Yeah, I think I probably would. But earrings, because you've got size, haven't you? Yeah. But, but not the weight. And it's amber, so it's lightweight. Yeah. Sold out. Well done. Uh, oh, this is brilliant. Two early birds today, okay. One right now. Oh, I love it. I have one thing I have missed um, since Liam uh, deserted me. Um, you know, when, when he was when he was my regular producer, um, I used to take a lot of joy out of every evening. Um, every evening, he used to send through the star by sheet, and I used to miss things like. Oh my gosh, this shouldn't happen. Are we mad? Yeah, bonkers deal. Mad in big bold letters. Aww. This one, do you know what he's how he's worded this star by deal? Yeah, this is banging. <laughs> Used to put all things like that on my star by sheet. This one is a Liam special, oh. and it's your early bird. Which one, Liam? You get both. Oh, it's weighty. Weighty. What Hematite. Here? Hang on a minute. That straight away, I mean, that's five pounds. Oh, that's lovely. For a hematite, yeah. guaranteed. But not in your kind of traditional shape. We describe them as drums. They're, for me, they're more, more cylinders. Does that make Look at sense? Those. Or pipes, yeah, you can go with pipes. We could roll with pipes. I mean, look how beautiful. Barrels, yeah. 
Um, I mean, I suppose you could go drums, I suppose. Um, but we know hematite, beautiful, beautiful gemstone. Um, actually, 164,000 years this gemstone has been used in adornment. You know, so really? it's not a new stone. Please be mindful because there is much imitation hematite out there. Um, many people will wear this gemstone because they believe it aids things like uh, circulation and blood disorders. Um, but it's also a really visual gemstone in a, pen in a sense that actually has this really metallic-like beauty. Yeah. Yes, it is yeah. heavy. It's uh, it's great if you want to incorporate it into um, other mediums like, say, your seed beading or maybe alongside gemstones like amber, which are much lighter, you know, creating that beautiful drape. Um, just one of these mm. will actually help you with that, because I can tell you these are quite heavy. Now, even here at twenty nine ninety nine. I mean, that's a fantastic deal, isn't it? Yes, A it fantastic is, yeah. deal yeah. for the carat weight that you are looking at. Um, they're all 10 millimetres in their size. You get both of them as well. So you're getting that beautiful blue and that silver under £10 today. It's a Liam special. It is bonkers, he says. £4.75. What's the carat? 690 carats that you've got in total. 350 in the royal blue. And 340 in the silver. Because I would be, I'd be using those as um, to look like your metallic spacer beads. Yeah. That could that be the if they were silver, yeah. they'd be very very Absolutely. expensive. Yeah, but you've got that look, haven't you? Yeah, it's a genuine gemstone. I've only got 50 of them left, though. Lots of you shopping ahead on these. Do you love your Liam specials? Yorkshire's got three, absolutely. Isle of Wight's got two. Marion, hello to you, Yvette, Natalie, Janice, Anthony and Kay, Lynn, Mandy, Heather. More, uh, these deals literally are throughout the entirety of the show. You've got five, uh, five hours of under £10 deals. We are going to try and squeeze in as much deals as we possibly can. Brilliant. Do you brilliant, want to know brilliant. how many items are actually scheduled yes. for how the many? show? About 300. No so we are going to try and get them all, well, as many as we possibly can anyway. I, you know, that's probably pushing it a little bit. But even if we upload them to the website, so do keep an eye on the website, um, all the W's at jewellerymaker.com, and you can get these. Every, every one of those 300 is guaranteed under £10. Um, well done. Down to the final three on the verge of selling out. There we go. Liam special. Love it. Should we do... I have got lapis tumbles. Beautiful. Fast and Pisces. All right there, Wayne. Um, these are last of stock clearance opportunities. Love lapis lazuli. It's a great colour, isn't it? The quality, yeah, it is amazing mm. quality of colour. Mm. Um, you can see it, it's that really beautiful, very distinctive, isn't it? You can see that kind of like Arabian blue. Um, obviously, the wonderful patterns across the surface are actually a pyrite presence that give you like this Vincent van Gogh star-like sky appearance. Mm. It's love it. And it has, of course, been... It has been used in adornment for literally thousands and thousands of years. Um, £4.63. These are last of stock opportunities. It's completely natural. Sometimes lapis lazuli will be dyed to encourage that colour. Um, not the case here, though. It's all natural. The quality was already there. Guess what? Sold out. Congratulations. Um, should we do some? The ruby red amber bale. Yes. That's confusing, isn't it? Do you mean the cherry amber? Yeah. Well, it is, to be honest, they're not wrong because you'll it's see different. it's yes. a very Ooh. vibrant red. Um, normally, we describe it as cherry. That's all. That's where my confusion was. Um, how beautiful. So all of your half-drilled gemstones, like your pearls, for example. Wow. Um, it looks like a little spaceman, doesn't it? Spaceman, yeah, does. I always wanted you to go. Um, there it is. Five pounds only. Cherry amber, solid 925 sterling silver. All you do, Claire, a little bit of glue on the That's end. That's it, yeah. Pop it into your yeah. half drill gemstone, leave yeah. it overnight. Job done. Keep going through. Um, let's bring you some lava kite. Oh, it's a long strand, too. No, do you know, I love under 10 pound days because you get a real lovely mixture, yeah, don't you? Yes, different sorts of gemstones. Lovely mixture. Beautiful lava kite. If lava kite was a person, it'd be a moody person, like Paul. Yes. I, and by the way, I'm not being insulting. That's his own admission. <laughs> he freely admits he's moody, I don't think you, Paul? He prides Paul? himself in it. Yeah. Would we say moody or would we say broody? Brooding. He is. I don't think. I, I don't. Well, a bro is it brooding? Uh, I don't brooding. know. Brooding. Is that all yeah. oh, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be broody and brooding. Are you brooding, Paul? He's not there. Oh, he's not there. Okay. <laughs> he 
He has, he has got this kind of brooding appearance, <laughs> yes. isn't he, our Paul? Yes. Um, a totally natural gemstone. It has a beautiful phenomena effect. You get these wonderful flashes of silver. If you're a fan of labradorite, then you'll be a fan of your lava mm. kite as well. Um, leave that with you, £6.31, nearly sold out. Amazing. Um, which mm. one, drops or tumbles? Let's do these beautiful briolette oh, drops. This these. is pretty. So pretty. This was some of the pearls that we've got in today's under £10 oh, day. Yes. How amazing would that be? Well, we've got pretty much every gemstone you could... Well, not oh, every. The glow. I mean, there's 6,000 minerals on the planet. It'd be difficult for us to bring you every single one. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> um, I called you broody, Paul, sorry. I meant brooding. I meant brooding. Yeah, would you, would you agree you're brooding? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Not broody? <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Um, six pounds and seventy-one pence. Adore your briolette cards. I mean, these have been popular since the Victorian era. Great for things like waterfall earrings. That's a really elegant cut, isn't it? Stunning. Oh, gone. Nearly gone. Nearly gone. Say beads. Say beads. Oh, a lovely orange sea yes. bead. Beautiful opaque orange sea beads. Um, in your atos. You know, um, of course, all of your RCB uh, uh, enthusiastic uh, viewers out there will be going nuts for this because you guaranteed them at an amazing, well, basically a clearance price, £2.49. But also, if you don't do sea beading, I do, I'm not a sea beader, but I use these as little spaces. Spaces, definitely, with some of the bright blues that we've had, and we've got some other blues coming up as well, haven't we? They'd, be, they'd look great. Oh, do you mean this one? Yes. Yeah. Shall I show it? Yeah. Something nice like contrast. that? Yeah. Yeah, that's another yeah. Liam special, ah. you know. Another Liam special, so look forward to that one. Yes, there's so much um, potential <clears throat> things you can do. Two pounds and 49 pence. There's only a couple of those left, so well done. Um, let's do... I can't see that. Oh, the green amethyst. Right, OK, sorry. Oh, I love um, these praise the light. Be oh, me. I love it. It's particularly in praise the light as well. Oh, it's that soft sage green. If you imagine a sage leaf... You know, they've kind of got that little silvery fur. Yes, yes. Um, visually, they look very, very similar. Should be, should be £15. <coughs> should Which be I think is a great price Unbelievable. For that. They're big carrot weights, aren't yeah. they? Look at the sparkle you're getting as well with that. Beautiful. Crazy under £10 deal. I love Praise Light Amethyst. Um, and, and considering this is a type 2 gemstone, we expect it to have inclusions. Those are beautifully eye clean. Can you see that silvery reference mm, yeah. um, within the gemstone? This is a real favourite amongst uh, um, lapidaris. So the likes of Glenlera, for example, Rudy Robito, absolutely love this gemstone because it has a softer body colour. Um, it really showcases their talent. We're massively over allocated Oof. on that one, so we'll leave it with you. Yeah, literally, it's, the call screens are heavily weighted. Um, let's do some more. Artistic Jasper. We know you're artistic. Dan, are you artistic? Yeah, I did film. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Ah. It's totally artistic. Yeah. He's like, yeah, did film at uni. Absolutely. Ethan, are you artistic? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah? Musician. Musician? Oh. oh, my goodness, what do you play? Uh, drums. Man. Drums. Oh. Please, can we get a drum set in to play here, Liam? Uh, Liam, Liam, not Liam, Ethan. Ethan, I want to hear you play the drums one day. We'll have to give that one. Brilliant. See that. What about you, Liam? Are you artistic? I think you are. I think you do. Well, I think you've got a real flair. I think I've got an eye, the, um, eye for, for interior, interior design. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And candles. Two ninety nine. How about some lovely artistic jasper? You get no. these wonderful patterns within. Beautiful selection of colour. You can see where it gets its name, don't That's you? It's a beautiful palette, price, isn't it? Love that. It's a what? It's it's a deeper. We're going back to that word again. Broodier. Sorry, brooding. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Mukite, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes, it, it is. Got, yeah. That appearance. Um, okay, moving on. Moving on to amber earrings in butterscotch. Oh, have you here? They're lovely. <laughs> Oh, these I want, um, I, I, you know, amazing. I can't wait to hear Ethan on the drums. Look how beautiful these are. 
Um, all that sterling silver, if I just turn that one round, you can see you've got a, a you know, beautiful. Ooh, that's a fancy one, isn't it? Yeah, um, a fancy back. And then if I turn it round this way, you can see you've got your little jump ring. So just waiting for you to suspend a gemstone yeah. of your or choice. Or snip that bit off. Or snip it off and make yeah. them studs, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Six pounds and 49 pence only. Are you loving the deals here at Jewelry Maker Ooh, on under 10 pound day? I am too. Oh, I tell you what, I think we're all going to go, need to go and have a little lie down <laughs> after the show. I agree, Liam, we're what, 34 minutes into the show and already, yeah, I'm already, I'm already flagging, already flagging. Come on, we can do this. See if we can bring you 300 items in the space of, uh, oh, that would be nice. Yes, if anybody does fancy going to get coffee, that would be lovely. Oh, yeah. Um, amazing. Shall we do some red silver leaf jasper? Oh, see, now you could do your tassel, couldn't you, with the other um, the other strand that you had? That one? Yeah. I'd do a beaded tassel. What Ooh. do you think to that? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Would like you put that. those together? Yeah. They work, don't they? They do. They do work. They do. Artistic Jasper. I think yeah. that's sold out, though. But have a, well done if you did get it. Um, loving these. So you're three millimetre rounds. So you can do good old stretchy bracelets. Beady you know. beads. Beady beads. Beady bead. Spacers. Yeah. Yeah. Micro macrame. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Tassels, you've already yes. said that. Yeah. Um, kiss grass. Yeah, little, little looming. stacker bracelets. Yes, looming. Oh, 2 99 only. That's These are genuine good. gemstones. We are not talking about faux synthetic imitation stones. This is Mother Nature created. I mean, look how visually striking they are. You've got, they almost look, some of, them, some of them look like little apples, don't they? Um, amazing. Did you just say what I think you just said, Liam? No, 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 just no, no. <gasps> oh, oh, how lovely. We are talking about one of the rarest, well, it is the rarest of all your topaz, and certainly up there with one of the rarest gemstones globally. This is natural imperial topaz. Imagine it's got a little bit of a paparazzi appearance to it. There's a presence of pink. If you've got the Gems and Crystals book that we sold here on Jewelry Maker a few years ago, you know, if you flip to the chapter that reads about topaz, it's got a photograph of an imperial topaz. This gemstone, and I encourage you, by the way, if you get hold of this, I encourage you to go on Gemporia's Learning Library, look for Matt Bennett, who is our, um, our in-house gemologist, look at the article that he wrote about imperial topaz from this same location. He spoke about less than a carrot being unearthed on a day, per day. Oh so yeah. we should not be doing this, Liam. Liam. That's really bad. I I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> so bad though. <clears throat> How many do we have? Bad but brilliant. Look. Well done. Well done. I mean, when I say bad, you know, it is bad, but great mm. for you at mm. home. Obviously, absolutely amazing. Well done, it's going to sell out. That Even if you don't have got no clue what you're going to do with that, just keep it as a collector's opportunity. By the way, we have got lots of loose stones to bring you as well um, in the 12 o'clock hour. Um, so if you see some, um, yeah, yeah, we'll bring you some mounts as well. So absolutely amazing. Um, what are we doing right now? Here we go. Oh, this is lovely, Claire. Very Tiffany-esque, isn't That is isn't it? nice, isn't Look it? Look how pretty it's that is. Them. Oh, I like these. Never been under £10 previously before. Um, so we quite frequently bring you sort of seven millimetre cabochons or even rounds because the prongs are so um, pronounced. You could use this with a round, couldn't you? Yeah, definitely. Or a button I, I pearl. Think, yes, is it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I thought it was a round anyway. Um, and I, do you know what I love with these? Is So these, they're beautiful and plain as they are, but these are great for, you know, if you use your solderable accents or you want a base um, and then you, you solder onto them, they work beautifully for that. So you just add bits to the shoulders. Amazing. That's so good. Never been under £10. Look how, look how well made that is. You can see the little pre-made, you know, the notches in the... Um, in the prongs yeah. as well. They're so good. And you can easily get this resized because you've got a huge investment of sterling silver into the shank itself. Yeah. Um, you could so easily sell, uh, resize it. And we had that tool, didn't we? Yeah, We had the tool the other day, yeah. the ring Just stretcher. Take it slowly. Yeah. Um, so, so N to O has actually sold out. There is, it is just L to M, but um, 
yeah, the graphics haven't up yet updated. Brilliant. But again, stretch it. If you've got that tool, you can easily resize yeah. it. Um, okay, let's. I've been eyeing these up, Liam. These are lovely. Yes, and me. With, when you had the lapis on, I was thinking, yeah. gosh, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? With the oh, they're beautiful. Look at the textures that you're getting in your toggle. What? I've actually not. There's you get five of them. Gold plated base metal, but there's still that precious metal presence there. Two pounds and eighty nine pence only. Gosh, that's an absolute steal of a deal. And I did genuinely think that these were sterling silver, as in gold plated sterling silver, obviously. Um, there's something about the colour. Sometimes yes. your base metals can be a bit too yellow, can't they? Yeah. Whereas yeah. this, it's not the case. There are so many of you there. You get five of them, two pounds eighty nine sold out. Well done. Um, shall we do? got another amber marquise pendant peg oh it matches the earrings matches those earrings that we had earlier on um, this time it's in the silver love it very fluid lead uh, like design uh, don't forget everything is available on pre-order so you can shop ahead all the w's at jewelrymaker.com they're already flying out you see that's why i mention it um some items have even sold out um before that's we can even surprise. bring them to air. don't worry if the price is going to go down we will adjust it there are only how many Three, three of them left. Fiona, Lynn, Sarah, Charmaine, Gabrielle, Susan, Jackie, Marion, Annette, uh, Elaine. Um, it is beautiful. And I love amber with something like a Baroque pearl, don't you? Yes, me too. And it balances, because it's quite a, a nice, you know, it's got a flare out, hasn't it? It balances larger pearls. Oh. Um, oh, look at we the We think the picture's wrong. Just the, right, the picture's saying you get three packs, you don't, you get one. Um, so ignore that photograph. Um, you get five pieces, a hun uh, sorry, 11 um, and a half carats of mukai. Just the geography. I mean, straight away, this has come literally from halfway around the world. It is only found in Australia, on the western coast of Australia, along Mooka Creek. And there's only two licenses now of mining. Um, so why am I telling you that? Why is that important? Well, to me, if there's only two licenses remaining, it tells me that this gemstone's availability is dwindling and it's dw dwindling quickly. Um, so if you are a fan of Mooka, I would absolutely stock up sooner rather than later, especially at £4.99 pence. Visually, it's stunning. No mukite, uh, no two mukites will look the same. Um, if you can imagine things like crimson reds, your beautiful mauves, you get some lovely ochre mustard tones, you get your chocolate tones. It's just beautiful. Well, it reminds me literally of the location that it's discovered. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got that wonderful warmth about it. You know how Larimar looks like the Dominican Republic? Yes. Yeah, Mukite yeah. literally yeah. looks like uh, uh, it's got the colours I think I would associate to um, Australia. All natural, but yeah, one locational. So it's only actually found there um i'll leave that with you on the verge of selling out should we do some space of beads in rose gold now these are sterling silver rose gold plated sterling silver so if you're looking for your precious metals and you're thinking oh it's under 10 pound a day i'm not going to get any you'd be wrong all that precious metal if you're looking to elevate the luxury oh perfect. something like yeah. this yeah Six ninety nine today. <coughs> oh, sold oh, out. Well done. We well done. Well done. Should we do oh, like slider these, bracelets? Oh, it's a tree of life. There isn't many of these. I'll hold one the other way round. Just I know it's upside down, but just Ooh, so you can actually see. You've got your jump ring on the bottom there for you to attach what you wish. Um, they're lovely. It's a really nice tight rope, isn't it? Mm. Beautiful yes, it is, that decorative slider there, lovely. And Tree of Life, which is on both sides as well. Seven ninety nine. That's for the two of them. Wow, four pound each. There's only sixteen of them left, and there's a ton of you there. So well nice. done. Oh, your orders are going to be so exciting, aren't they? I know. Oh, be brilliant! Some lovely goodies yeah. landing on your doorstep. Down to single figures: um, Helen, Susan, Angela, Victoria, Helen, Lincolnshire. Hello to you, Yorkshire. Susan, Karen, uh, Dale, Jacqueline. New customer: Hazel, Sorry, Tracy, Kimberly, Channel Isle, Susan. Um, uh, Liam wants to play a texting game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What should we what, what should we play? Think of a think of a texting topic. Something funny, something funny, um, um, something funny. I was going to say, how do... Mm. <laughs> I don't know. We could, we could play... 
Uh, oh, I was going to say no. I was going to say a place of the like truth or dare with 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 Liam, but no, maybe not. Oh no, maybe not. Text in, text in. See if you've got any idea. Um, in the meantime, should we do what? Sorry. Oh, is it this little? Oh, oh look at that. They're right up your street. Aren't oh they, yes. Oh, look how beautiful. These are genuine gemstones. We're not talking about... Do you know, do you remember when we used to do Swarovski? And Swarovski were obviously... They did their elements, didn't they? And let's be honest, they were quite expensive because it's Swarovski. You expect to pay a premium for them. You know, we're bringing you genuine gemstones that are formed within the earth over thousands, if not millions of years. Gemstones that you can make... Oh, I didn't realise that they were stack of star rings. Um, uh, pieces that you can make like this... Like Claire's gorgeous stack of designs. So perfect for, or yeah, or your tube setting. Eight Look pound, at that. Look Claire. At that yes. Look, you've got some lovely citrine. You've got garnets. You've got amethyst. You've got peridots. You've got what look like uh, tourmalines. You've, looks like you've got some cognac. Um, how beautiful. Topaz. These have been in kits previously, never on their own, and they weren't eight, uh, eight pounds. Um, hello to Avon. Say, morning, girls. Uh, wicked yeah. prices today, jewelry maker. My postman won't like me after today. No. No. Um, yeah. Do you, does anybody else's postman kind of give him like a give you like a roll of the eyes every time he comes to your door? It's like it's 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 normally it's normally like uh, it's another one for you. I always get some kind of comment like that. Oh, mine another... is lovely. He is. Oh, lovely. mine's lovely yeah. too. But it's always like it's another parcel for you. <laughs> it's not for your husband or anyone else in this house. Yeah. All right. Um, hello, Tina. Saying uh, things that uh, kids misname. I love oh. this. Um, my granddaughter thought my husband's hearing aids were ear microphones. Ah, well, I suppose technically they are, aren't they? Oh, Tiggy's got a really funny one, and um, it, 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 sounds, it sounds so much like a swear word, I don't think I can even <laughs> say it out loud. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love this. Text in. That's a good one, Tina. Oh. Should we do some lovely emeralds? Um, Willow used to think that motorbikes, used to, she used to say, oh, naughty Mike. <laughs> Cute, isn't it? Naughty bike. Aww. Motorbike. Motorbike. Little sweet. Naughty Mike. Um, oh, this is incredible. You, you could just literally restrand it, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah, if you've got any of the spaces that we had before as well. Oh, check out, though, there's only 10 of them left. Look at that. N N emerald. You, I think it goes without saying. Emerald under £10, mm. seriously. You know, and, and it's not emerald, which is like, so deeply included that it's borderline black. You've got the Le Jardin, as we refer to it, those beautiful markings that, you know, we celebrate them in turquoise. Yes. You know, we yeah. celebrate them in many other gemstones. Why shouldn't we celebrate them in this gem? Um, because often, you know, those kind of those fingerprints allow us to sort of uh, 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 navigate basically where they have actually formed. Um, with Brazilian emerald, which this is, it's quite a distinctive, really beautiful, like for almost forest like green well done check out your baskets absolutely amazing um okay we're moving on to um elasticity oh, um in your ages. rose satin 0 0.8 in its size um so great for your stretchies and if you're working with things like rose quartz or your uh, yeah. morganite rather yeah maybe pearls as well if you've got large drill holes on, on pearls and you don't want like a dark let me start swing that round. this is such a pretty color isn't it it is there we go when she was a toddler, I used to call a, a church our men. Ah, again, that's really cute. So cute. Kids are funny, though, aren't they? Kids are so, so, so funny. The things that they actually come out with. Uh, $7.99 only, well done, amazing. Um, shall we do a uh, paperclip chain? Yes, absolutely. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, very on trend. Yes. You look at all the big designers. Um, Misoma, Ashley Clark, Gucci, Tiffany's, they're all doing these really lovely, um, what they describe as a paper link chain, um, as do we. You get a meter here, beautiful rose gold plating, um, six oh, pounds and that. 99 pence. Guess what? Sold out. Well done, well done, well done. Should we do some highlight next? Love it. Absolutely love it. Here we go. Lovely pure white colour. This would look nice with any of the, um, is, I'm not sure, is it in our gate? What's the, the, this one. the darker gemstones? Or on the, yes, that, yeah, so in between those, yes, the two together. You'd go monochrome. Yes, I would. I would. Love it. 
4.99. I love howlite, and I think it's one of those gemstones that deserves a higher price per uh, price point per carat. It's great that it's not, of course, but yeah. um, if you love the appearance of like Italian marble, it always it always reminds me of places like Rome. You know, if you've ever been to the Trevi Fountain, then it just so reminds me of that. Um, okay, should we do um, another early bird? Another Liam special? Are you ready? Because it's going to melt the phone lines and the website. Be prepared because it's going to be a bonkers deal, as he puts in his own words. Up next. Oh, I like these together. Like That's that. really pretty. Absolutely beautiful. Hematite. These aren't small. They're not the teeny weeny strands, which is, I mean, it's great in itself if they were under £10. These are your eight millimetre rounds. So I don't know about you, but hematite and things like malas, even if it's just accent beads, like your guru beads, for yes. example, because that yeah. would be quite a heavy piece of jewellery. Hematite is physically cool to the touch, so it feels amazing around the decolletage. Um, and because it has that lovely uh, sort of metallic luster to it, it works so well with treatment processes. This is uh, coated effectively. Hematite in its natural forms, so before polishing or anything like that, um, actually has quite a red, rusty-like appearance. Um, but then you can polish it and it goes almost gunmetal. And you can also wrap it in beautiful iridescence like these. Um, always a firm favourite amongst us jewellery makers because it brings more, it brings colour, it brings metallic luster, it brings weight to your design. Mm. So just so many benefits. Yes, yeah, definitely. The, and these are lovely. I mean, they look great together, don't they? But you could separate those out definitely. as well. And you could be quite frivolous with them, couldn't yes, you? Yes, yeah. Now, you know that these are going under £10, and that is for the two, not just the one. You'd get both of them for under £10, which is absolutely incredible. Yeah. No, 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 you know, you know, our experience, whenever we do hematite, it tends to be in little showcases. They tend to be quite a frantic showcase because they're so popular with our um, with our audience. Because um, there's so many po uh, benefits, I guess, to incorporating it into your jewellery, not just visually I'm re referencing as well. Um, but I don't think I've got enough of these to go around. This size of round isn't normally at the price point that we're about to go to, hence why it is a Liam special. You know, even if, if we said this bundle was 19.99, that would be absolutely amazing, wouldn't it? It would be absolutely incredible. £10 per strand. Um, already collectors getting involved. Use that time that's on your screen wisely because let me just tell you, there are 51 available opportunities. Oh, right. It's not enough. It's not enough to go around. Um, so well done to those of you that have checked out. Lynn Rosita Bir uh, in Birmingham, Susan, hello to you, Dorothy, Lanarkshire, Elizabeth, Neil and Linda, amazing new customers, Susan, Jay Marie, Sylvia, Rupal, uh, Angela. Well done to those of you that have used this time wisely to get yourself in the position to be one of those successful people um, I have 51 opportunities and that's assuming people only buy the one you know when we're price promising not one but two strands of beautiful genuine hematite under 10 pounds they will not hang around simple stretchy bracelets mm. yeah. nine pounds and 52 pence each that's what four pounds what 26 that's brilliant isn't it that's amazing. It is really, really because you think if you're gonna, I mean, they look lovely on their own. They look lovely together. But you've got so many colours in yeah. that strand there. That in, along your go, seed beading yes, and things yeah. like that would be absolutely yeah. beautiful. What about you know, um, so your station style necklaces? So you're just using maybe I don't know, five or yeah, seven. Yeah, for the of weight, them. would that would work perfectly? It wouldn't would, it? wouldn't it? Yeah, just to turn yeah. them into little connectors. There was 51 available opportunities. I mean, Liam, look, look, that is really probably even more probably four stretchy bracelets to be honest look how amazing for nine pounds and 52 pence um i'll leave that one with you again we're squeezing as many deals as we possibly can what are you doing liam liam what are you doing oh oh okay he said i was going to move on but then i realized i said like, no actually i can take that a bit lower so let's do it it's under 10 pound day oh liam i know Can we even buy them for that? Mm. Not that three pound fifty. That's very. Can you good, even buy glass or plastic beads for that? I, I mean, I don't know. I don't look for those kind of prices, but 
those kind of pieces, but £3.50, seriously, per strand, amazing. Um, okay, let's do let's do the puffies that you were referenced. Oh, the re rectangles or the ovals? Both of these are, are lovely strands. If, you, if you're going to get any of the pearls, I think coming up in the next hour. Yeah, they'd be gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, yeah, faceted these. rectangles. Faceted puffy rectangles. Um, I don't know if they're puffy. They're not puffy, are they? No, I, I mean we use that. We use that. that. We use that word, don't we, quite a lot. It's that's a, that's a, 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 a I can't talk. Sorry, that's a jewelry makerism, isn't it? Puffy. Puffy. Yeah. We just throw that in there, don't we? <laughs> Puffy. Yeah. And there's what does it mean? That, that I say they're a lot sleeker than. I agree. I mean, they're so they're so elegant. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful faceting on both sides front and reverse yeah you know they're faceted rectangles yeah, and they're yeah. beautifully linear okay now we can use the word the term puffy def if if we must if we must <laughs> look at them seriously there's 20 of them available yeah with the pearls claire as you just said yeah these love are it love black agate because it has got that really it sounds daft but it is the blackest of black isn't it yes um haven't got a massive Ooh, quantity of them though <gasps> Three pounds eighty-eight. Oh, amazing! Absolutely amazing. Think Mary Quant. Think your uh, um, Chanel inspirations. Those large, um, some, those large spaces. Some, some big beads. Great. Big beads. Yeah. Big beads. Hang that. on. Hang on. They're on the website, by the way. They've already sold out. See what oh, I mean? Oh, that's it. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Getting your Chanel on. Um, amazing. That's on the verge of selling out. Congratulations. Right, let's bring you some beautiful Mukai in your plain rounds. Always one of the most popular. Um, oh, gosh. It forms in quite um, flint-like uh, uh, sort of shapes. Um, a little bit like your black jadeite, actually. Quite flint-like shapes. So actually faceting this gemstone into rounds um, is more challenging than many other gemstones. These are completely and utterly natural colour. As I said earlier on, just previously, Mukite, no, no two will be the same. Look at that one with a little dot. Little dot in the centre. Love these colours. Oh, look at that one. It's like an ice cream, isn't it? All stirred in together. They're like little works of art. They're absolutely joyous. But again, it is a one locational gemstone. Keep dialing through £7.99. Um, we're going to move on to... Um, no. I don't see that. i tell you what. I tell you what, have a little look at the graphics. We're going to bring you, I think you know what it looks like. Classic curve chain. There we go. Beautiful luster. 18 inches. An absolute essential to any jewellery maker, uh, jewellery maker's stash. Because think of all the amazing pendants that you create. We've brought you beautiful bales today, haven't we? So now you need um, the chain to suspend that from. Do you have half drill gemstones at home? Um, have you got the bales that you need to actually secure it? Or are you going to do a little bit of wire work or um, a little wrap loop? Um, here's lovely Liam. Oh, that, well, that's not what you, <laughs> that's not what's on your screen, Liam. It's not, okay. We haven't got the sample, but the screen, uh, you can see it on, your, um, on the TV now. Um, you know that this is going under, uh, under £10. It's just, we always need them, don't we, Claire? Yeah, we and do. I know yeah. we say that every single time repeatedly, but yeah. we always run yeah. out of sterling silver chains, don't we? Yes, we do, because, uh, you know, you think of all the different things. Sorry, I haven't got one there. Hang on. Uh, yeah. Well, here we go. I've got something here. It, look, for example, I made this the other day. Very rushed, by the way. Oh! I can't wear it though, can I? I can't wear oh, it. Oh, that's lovely, Al. Because I need a chain. But if I got this chain for four pound ninety nine, there's that finished piece of jewellery. That's beautiful. Looks like a little face, doesn't it? <laughs> like a little doggy. <laughs> um, <laughs> or if he's like this. <laughs> what? I do have a box clasp, yes. <laughs> you get two of them. They have already sold out, but let's bring you that under £10 deal to your screens. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised they've all gone, Liam. They're really beautiful. Look at the detailing that you're getting. You know, How you think, are we doing this? I don't know. I know, I do know. I do know. Liam's made a mistake. It, there's, a, there's a Mr Dickens in the gallery. Yeah. That's, how, that's why. You know, when you think about your jewellery on Antiques Roadshow, nine times out of ten... Um, <laughs> it has your box oh. glass. 
Do, 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 ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Sorry, Adam starts singing it and I always end it every time. Um, should we do some amber? Love it, love it, love it, love it. I'll get my, get my piece of paper as well because I don't want to just tip them out onto the desk. Oh, how is um, this? Shouldn't be, it should not be under £10. I don't think it takes us to say this. Amber, fascinating, prehistoric, beautiful gemstone. These wonderful, sorry, these wonderful little time capsules. You've, uh, all those inclusions are literally life that is perfectly preserved in this wonderful organic gemstone. Um, <laughs> £9.99 pence, you get a parcel. So that's four of your six mils, two of your eight mils, and two of your ten millimetres. Um, sh we should not be anywhere near what's that's on your incredible. screens. For classic cognac amber, genuine amber, again, please be careful there. I've been noticing the other day, and I, I don't know why I did it, because to be honest, I just got myself all cross and frustrated. I was actually looking, I was researching how many gemstones were out there. Um, <laughs> Liam. I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just march out in front of There's the camera. There's no one like him, is no, there? You know, there is only one. There is only one, Mr Dickens. Um, what was I saying? Totally gone. Yeah, but there was... Uh, how many different simulated gemstones oh, out right, there and yes. they advertise them as the real yes, thing, like your malachites, yeah. your ambers. You know, uh, please be careful. Hematite's another one. Um, 9.99, these are the real deal. Um, we source them directly from the Baltic uh, region. We've got a fantastic relationship with Mar uh, Marius. Um, okay, you've just handed in what, sorry? Yeah, Labradorite rondelles. No, no, they're kind of more... They, they are rondelles, but they're quite rounded Ooh, rondelles. Roundelles, of... some might say. Mm. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? they? Are. I'd use these, Claire, Look with your black agates, I think. And with your pearls. Let's get that strand back that we had a few moments ago. If I was still making kits, this would be one of them. Oops. Lovely, yeah? yeah. It works, doesn't yeah. it? Absolutely beautiful. Maybe a few of those lovely spaces in there as well. Well, I'd be tempted as well to put something, one of the blue strands we've had, because you, you're getting, I'd say, the majority oh. is flashes of blue, isn't it, that are coming out? Blue, of... you say? Yes. How about some tanzanite yeah. that's coming up as your deal of the day for under £10? Gorgeous. I know. You can shop ahead and pre-order on that. It's a mega auction. Today and today only, under £10. Um, keep dialing through. Absolutely flying out your beautiful, uh, your beautiful labradorite. Um, you also gave me some jasper. Um, should we do the jaspers? Yeah, oh, eight millimetres. Oh, it's like a classic sort of woodland colour palette, don't you think? Yeah. Oops. Beautiful. Wonderful dendritic inclusions running through. Um, hello, Heather, saying, uh, don't really say OMG, but OMG. Today's bargains are blooming amazing. They are. Um, Heather, they, yeah. do you know um, what you can imagine what Liam said? He said, that's because you have the Duke of Discount in the hot seat. The Plummet Prince, the Viscount of Value, the bad boy of JM. There you go. And he's also called himself a sexy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, on the verge of selling out. Well done, everybody. Make sure you These stay where you brilliant. are. Two strands of hematite. Yes, you did. We, oh, OK. Which one do you want me to start with? Blue? Let's do blue. Let's do blue. Let's go blue. These so, would be nice with the Labradorite, definitely. They would, yeah. and... Yeah. Or if you've got the lard, yes. Yeah. To create that graduation. Perfect. So we brought you these earlier on, the eight millimetres. Now we're bringing you the six millimetres if you want to create that graduation, mm -hmm. and you definitely can. Six mils, because hematite is quite a heavy gemstone, isn't it? It's far denser than many other gemstones that are out there. By the way, these are a brand new premiere. They've never been on your screens before. Um, yeah, if you are thinking about the weight, and maybe weight is something that concerns you in your jewellery making, then go for a slightly smaller size, because hematite is... Is, 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 I don't want to say so heavy that it's uncomfortable, it's not, but yeah, it, you can feel its presence. Um, okay, 130 carats, this beautiful royal blue with the most amazing luster, £7.87p for hematite. Really good, yeah. They're not base metal, they're not plastic, they're not yeah. glass. 
These are, and rounds as well. Traditionally, rounds have been and probably always will be our most popular shape. Um, okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the silver because we are diving into a quick break. Um, but they oh, are available okay. on the website, so you can actually shop ahead on these as well. Everything, everything we haven't got to this hour will be loaded up onto the web during the break. Actually, it's not that many. We've done pretty well um, getting through um, all the deals today. Um, but yes, everything guaranteed today, not a single auction in today's show is going uh, over £10. Everything is guaranteed under. Um, so don't you worry. You can make those confirmations and it will be um, it will be updated. Coming up after the break, we've got tools under £10 um, and pearls under £10. Pounds. And we've got gorgeous clay. What more do we possibly want on a Thursday morning? It's going to be amazing. Keep those messages coming through. Because I've been talking, it's hard for me to think, but there's so many different isms that my kids used to, or, or things they used to say that sounded like something else. I know, and you should always write them down. Yeah, you, you should. Yeah, because you forget them. Yeah, do you remember the story of Willow? I'm in the bin. <laughs> no. Do you remember that story? Shall I quickly tell it? Shall I quickly? Liam likes this story. So Willow, when she was probably, I don't know, three maybe, and she didn't want to tidy up a room and she used to get in a right strop about it. It's like, no, you must help mummy tidy up your toys at the end of the day because if you don't tidy them the way mummy doesn't, you don't care for them, Willow. Anyway, she kicked off and I was like, right, got to intervene. So one of the toys is going in the bin. So I walked Willow into her room Grabbed a toy, nearest toy, just so happened I grabbed the wrong one because I really like this toy. Anyway, picked her up, carried her outside. I was like, this is why you must tidy up your toys, Willow, because otherwise they just go in the bin. And it went in the bin. By the way, it, I know it was a hard lesson. It did go in a charity shop after that. Anyway, so in the bin it went, walked her away. She kicked off, complete meltdown. But she learned the lesson. And she's playing with one of her dolls in the bath, actually. And I can hear her, literally, I'm sat in the room next to her. I can hear her playing. And she's like, oh, and it was Tinkerbell that went in the bin, by the way. I'm like, Tinkerbell, come play. Come play in the bath. Next thing she goes, like a ventriloquist, I can't. I'm in the bin. <laughs> She always, she always tidied her bedroom after that. So go ahead. She's gone. Yeah. Well, she went to a charity shop. Yeah. <gasps> it's, it was a, it was a tough lesson, but yeah. it worked. It worked. It did work. <laughs> if you don't tidy up your desk, yeah. eh? <laughs> <laughs> don't go anywhere, lovely jewelry makers. We've got tools under ten pounds. Claire McDonald's and pearls after this. I'm Natalie Patton and I'm from Merseyside. So I started jewellery making about two years ago. Um, I make all sorts of different types of, of jewellery um, with lots of different methods and techniques. So I might use some tiger tail or elastic, do some bead stringing, but wire is um, my passion. My inspiration comes from the gemstone itself usually. Um, so the colours and the patterns in them and the shape of them. I use a lot of uh, cabochons, so my design will tend to come from what I feel works best with that particular stone. I don't know what I was thinking when I entered Britain's Next Gem. I was having a day where I must have just been overly confident and just thought, why not? I got an email to say, you know, I've made it through. Um, I, I cried, <laughs> let's face it. <laughs> I'm quite emotional. <laughs> so yeah, I, I did a lot of uh, squealing, a lot of giddy jumping up and down, dancing, happy dances. So it was a very exciting day being in the studio, um, getting to meet the team, getting to see behind the scenes. You know, you watch Jewelry Maker, um, I watch on the telly mainly or on my phone, but to be actually there in the studio, I started off quite nervous. And now when I go, I just feel quite at home. You can't get rid of me now. <laughs> So I created um, the Gemstone Garden Collection. So they are a series of 12 different beautifully crafted uh, beads which are related to um, birth flowers. So each month is assigned a different flower so your bead will be shaped like that flower and in the centre will also be a birth stone as well. To, to be a finalist in Britain's Next Gem is, is just 
keep saying incredible. There's not many other like superlatives I can come up with really. I love making things for people and I love seeing people wear the things I've made. To be able to create a collection that other jewellery makers can make with just fills me with absolute pride. I would think you should vote for my collection because you would be able to create a whole range of different jewellery making projects with it. They're very versatile um, and they're very lovely if I do say so myself. Gemstone Garden means that you can personalise and customise your jewellery pieces. So if you're making for somebody and you would like to include special months, maybe a birthday, then you can choose those particular beads that represent that month and that birthstone. Or if you've got a favourite flower or a favourite colour, you could choose that one too. Buying with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Look how beautiful these oh, are. I know. You know. You're good, aren't you? Thanks. She is good, isn't she? Oh, I tell you, Liam. <laughs> I'm going to get you. Wayne's chirped up now as oh, well. Oh, I'm going to get you as well. Honestly. <laughs> it's clear. Oh, absolutely beautiful, oh, as always. How lovely to have these pearls, though. I mean, oh. yeah. Pearls and tools. Under £10 as well. Yeah. Seriously, look yeah. at the quality of these. They're lovely, aren't they? Look at that necklace. I, I mean, I, I don't know the answer to this question, but if that necklace or either of these were actually on our sister channel, what would be the price? Oh, I, I, don't, I, I feel like, yeah, these are, these are statement, aren't they? Statement yeah. pieces, but great. It's so good. Like, so this one I'd made a long time ago, but I know I haven't had those tiny pearls, like um, this one, for so long. You know, Do you mean like hard, these as well? We hardly ever see those, those seed-type pearls. Are, they are beautiful. Guess what? We got them in your under £10, yeah. Dave. Got them in the under £10 day today, your seed pearls. Now, they are coming up. They're available on pre-order. Um, Three to four millimetres, eight to nine, five to six, six to seven. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So you've got a real selection of your cultured pearls. But before we do that, the first the first conversation that we had with Claire this morning, yes. when we, we said, like, under £10 day, yeah, you know, we've got this, this, this and this. And Claire was like, did I see that you had yeah. a certain tool yes. under £10? Yes. Tell us the story. So um, I'd... I'd asked if it was possible to have them because I feel like I haven't seen them for a long time. And these are, um, I would say, if you do any sort of wire work, um, these are an essential essential tool. But then I've also, you know, uh, everyone, if, if you've watched for a while, you've seen my journey from doing wire work to soldering pieces. I still use these just as much for creating the bales um, to solder with. These are one of, I'd say, after your, your chain nose and your round nose pliers, these are the most useful pliers that you can have. Six-step bale making pliers. Yes, and so, the fact they're beadsmith as well, so they are they are such, such good quality. These are 
I, so I love mine. What do I? I know it says in black and white, but what do I do with these then? So these, these, you, yes, so all all bales you can make. Um, so if you've got uh, sort of, if you're working with wire work, these are going to be um, great for um, creating your bales. I use them for, I make jump rings with mine. You can do your S hooks with them. Um, just using them to, to form. And, and, you know, you look at um, making flowers with them. They're, they're great for making... It's like uh, a mandrel, work. isn't it? Yes, it's, a ma it is, it's the mandrel, but obviously you've got the control because they're, they're on the plier rather than, a, um, uh, you know, just not on, not on a post. So you can... And, and the, the, the control that you've got with them because of that, the spring that you've got there, they are just lovely, lovely to work with. So even if you're not necessarily um, a wire worker, you know, and you just do things like your bales or your wrap loops and things like well, if that. If you need to make a jump ring, yeah, you know, you which even these. even if you're a beader maybe and you, and you haven't got any jump rings, you know, uh, but you need something to attach with. Now you lost a pair of yours once. I upon did, a time, didn't you? I did. So yeah, I, I did lose mine, and we didn't um, we didn't have any. Um, yeah, so I had to you know go on the go on a, a site, and, and mine were uh, seventeen ninety nine. Okay. Which I was more than happy, more than happy. Yeah, it's a great pay. price. And it's a great price on your screens right now. We're matching it. £17.99. Yep. However, today it's under £10 day, isn't it? So maybe this is a tool that you haven't yet got. Um, and you're thinking, okay, okay. You know, Claire, with all of her amazing experience, she highly recommends these. Under £10, £9.94. And as long as you don't lose them, you're never going to need to replace them, are you? Because no. they're beadsmith, they're top quality. Yeah, yeah they are. They're Hello, Janet, good. saying, oh, one of yes. my favourite tools. Do love tools. Thank you, lovely Team JM. Yeah, totally agree with you, Miss Janet. Yeah, they are, they're so, so good. And so you'll need these um, if you want to create... Um, uh, so you know the pieces I'm going to do in the Masterclass. So if you have a look at these ones here, so you can see... Um, you can make uh, individual components like this. So the flowers, we're going to make the base of them, the links either side, and you can see how lovely and uniform they are. So, and you can use different sizes of those. They work perfectly to make uh, bracelets like this. So if we have a look, so you can see, can you see how uniform yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, that like, is? A, um, um, like a rolling like wire? Is it yes, simple? yeah. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, in the 12 o'clock so you can see how you can make bracelets like that but it is all using um these pliers so good um liam's just raised a really good point with tools there does tend to be a little bit of a um, um a waiting process yes um there's yeah. nine left over 50 of you would have it in your basket so we'll order tools but they can take their time can't they tools yeah in particular especially i would say quality branded tools like this you know it's it's they're, and, they and, are and we can't guarantee they'll be under 10 pounds as well no. Um, amazing. Fabulous. Shall we do? Should we do another tool before our pearls? Yeah. What else have you got? What have you got? The vice clamp. Okay. Um, but look, just take a take a little look at the pearls as well. Just a little heads up because some of these are already selling out. Um, I think the seed pills have already gone. You know they are going under ten pounds. Um, here we go. Our very own Thor. <laughs> Muscles, yeah, muscles. <laughs> it's just passing us the table vice. Um, yeah, shop ahead on the pills as well. Yeah. Um, look at this. This is so good. What, what, what is it? So that's your, that's your vice that you... So it goes like that, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. Pop so, that on your bench. This is not just going to appeal to jewellery makers, though, is it? Well, no, if you need to do uh, to any sort of DIY, anything that you need to, if you need to secure something heavyweight, so you think about, um, you know, we had the ring bender tool. Yeah. Um, so you, you pop that in there. Um, oh, loads and loads of things that, you know, you, you work that I've got. So I think I've probably got two on my workbench at the moment. It's a got, heavy bit of kit. Yes, it is. You still got, only pay the same postage and packaging. Yeah. And you've got this here, this bit here, which is where... What clamps to your desk or clamps table, desk. sideboard, yeah, wherever and, it is. And then you've got another one at the top, which is so your directional one as well. Yeah, oh, this one, pivots. Yes. Is it pivot? Pivot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it spins round. Yeah. And, and then, then you've the got one this tightens. one that tightens. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's fairly self explanatory. Usually £22.99. Which pounds, is great. Which yeah. is great. If you pop along to that DIY shop, which I'm sure you can get something like this from, I'm fairly sure they'd be around that price tag, if not more. First time ever. Oh, we're making Ooh. history today with our table vice. Eight ninety nine, and also, it's a heavy bit of kit. 
It Sorry, is. Ethan. It is a heavy piece of kit, this. So if you do, uh, um, can we also use it with things like your um, wire twisting? Yeah, it's perfect for that. Um, yes, yeah, so if you watch the demo, I think last Friday, wasn't it, when I yeah. did the braided rings? So if you pop your wires in at the top and tighten them uh, with the wire twister tool, it works really well. If you're When you're doing your braiding of wires, it works very well for that. If you want to file something and, and you want to have both hands free, you, you know, just uh, pop it in there. There you go. Loads of, you know, loads of uses for it. They are absolutely flying out the door. First time ever being under £10. So well done, everybody. Congratulations. Um, and by the way, don't be surprised if when it turns up, it's got this kind of oily residue on that, uh, on it. All our tools do. Mm. Just give it a little wipe. Um, the reason why we do that is so they don't rust when they're actually in transition. Yeah. So it looks after, um, looks after um, the steel i mean dan is like literally saying oh welcome to my world yeah <laughs> uh, welcome to my world you'll feel it it's like um it's got it's got an oily re residue and that's yes. purely to protect the tool itself yeah nearly sold out well done brilliant <laughs> Right, let's do the pearls. Um, but all the other tools, they are available on you've got, some, you've got some really, really good tools. I know we have. Have we? Yes. Liver of sulphur, charcoal, yeah. blocks. Blocks. You've got mallets. soldering things. Yeah, mallets. Um, you've got D-shaped pliers in there as well. Yeah. Sandbags. Yeah. Have a little look because there's loads of goodies on there. Um, but let's bring you some of the pearls, shall we? Um, start with the seed pearls. They've already sold out, but let's bring it to that under £10 deal. This is what, Claire, you were referencing. We rarely ever see them, yes. do we? Yeah. And I mentioned it yesterday, Claire, actually. The seed pearls, people would automatically assume because they're smaller, they're more expensive. Uh, sorry, they're less expensive. Not always the case, because actually drilling seed pearls is much harder than mm. drilling a larger yeah. pearl, so yeah. you can pay a premium for them. Um, not today, though, £9.99. Well done to those of you that shopped ahead. Sold out, well done, congratulations. Um, let's now bring you your beautiful oval, five to six millimetre, described as potato pearls, which isn't the most beautiful of description, no, let's be lot, honest. Yeah, they're, but they're then, a lot so, more beautiful than that, aren't Yeah, they? but it's like mutton fat, isn't it? And it's like... Yeah. Pigeon's blood. It's not the most beautiful description. I've got how many? Oh, we've got quantity of these. So, I mean, if you're taking inspiration from um, our lovely Claire and you want to create any of these beautiful statement pearl necklaces, today's the day to do it. How many strands would I need to make these pieces, do Ooh, you think? So that one is, I, I didn't use all of them for that. That, that was the um, uh, three there. So three of those. Look how lovely that is. And you get a lovely twist in there, don't you, with that? It's a substantial twist. Or oh, this one? Is that bubble yeah. style? So that, yeah, bubble, bubble style. So this one is, you know, you want, you want the quantity there and you want sort of like a graduation of, of sizes as well, which these pearls give you, don't they? Under 10 pounds. You know it's happening. We've got a big quantity. Um, okay. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Not for simulant pearls. Not for faux. Not for imitation. Next time you pop along to Marks and Sparks or I don't know Dotty Peas or any of those high street shops, pop in and see if you can find some one of their costume, um, one of their uh, so their costume pearl necklaces. You know, I'm fairly sure it's going to be more than what's on your screens right now. In 43 seconds, we are going to go even lower. Sarah, Marie Claire, Dorothy, Teresa, Janet, Susan and Brian, Carmel, Carolyn, Barbara, Karen, Joy, Renfusia, Rosamond, Hello June, Nicolette, Victoria, Julie, Amanda. Um, Liam saying, look, show me you're there and I will work. He'll work his hardest to get it even lower. He will do everything he possibly can. Shouldn't be under £10, firstly, but um, if we we're going to do it let's do it in style shall we amazing genuine culture pearls like i said we're not talking about plastic we're not talking about simulant pearls we're not talking about imitation or glass um when you next walk i don't know go to your local town never mind the sort of the fashion retailers how about walking past an actual jeweler like ernest jones or beaver brooks or someone like that where you will find pearls like this simply knotted in a gold class for triple figure prices this is absolutely ridiculous liam yeah, that's ridiculous. No, 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 no. But, you know, I'm just telling you off here. No, I'm not actually telling you off. You know, I would never tell you off. Um, but, you know, if you, if you were to work past, walk past, like, I don't know, even if we said somewhere like Samuels 
I don't even know if Samuels do pearl necklaces, but one of those sort of more um, affordable jewellery houses and you were to find a simple, knotted, single strand, cultured pearl necklace, say with a nine carat gold or even a silver clasp, whatever it might be, you know, chances are it's probably going to be over £100 or there or thereabouts. Not £7.82. pence. Seventy of you have these in your baskets. Make sure you That's check them out. It's a mad it? deal, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It Do you know, is. go, rewind. Never mind outside these four walls. Rewind to jewelry maker. Okay, I could say when we were under the immediate umbrella, would this have happened? No, categorically, no. Look at what about when we first started here at mm -hmm. Jewelry Maker and we yeah. used to bring you pills? Were they seven pounds eighty-two? No, they really weren't. Here we go. Samuel's sterling silver freshwater cultured pearls. Very similar in terms of their actual shape as well. 59, oh, okay, well, that's a great price, to be honest. 59 pounds and 99 pence. We're at 7 pounds and 82p. They aren't knotted, by the way. They're literally just stranded. Um, they're actually on the verge of selling out, so well done, everybody. Amazing. Um, our quantity was slightly less than we actually showed. Um, the next size, then, are 5 to 7 millimetres. Oh, these have got a really lovely golden colour to them. They're so beautiful, aren't Look they? at that amazing luster. Yeah. Still, you know, it's not just your coloured pearls that we refer to the five virtues. We still talk about, you know, um, size, shape. We talk about um, the colour, obviously. This is that classic, you know, Jackie Kennedy, sort of pure white. Well, so many different individuals I can mention actually wearing pearls. We also talk about the nacre and we talk about that luster. This is mirror light luster. Can you see? Can you see how beautifully reflective these are? Um, marginally bigger than the previous strand, although we are going to still match that price point for you. Again, look, you know, just a simple, classic 18-inch princess-style necklace. It's going to cost you, what, under £10 when you can uh, when you add in your sterling silver class, if you like. Uh, you know, I hope you wouldn't sell it for £10. Mm. Um, hello, Angela. Have you got a story for us? Uh, Angela from Hampshire saying, um, I worked at H. Samuels 25 years ago, and they sold fake pearl necklaces necklaces in boxes that were £20 plus. Thank you. 25 years ago. Thank you, Angela. Mm. Um, there you go. There you go. Imitation pills at £25. Uh, sorry, yeah. uh, £20, pounds, sorry, yeah. 25 years ago. How amazing. You need to be quick with these ones, though. Beautiful, beautiful luster. Angela, this is really depressing because I could literally be Dan's mum. I could, couldn't I, though, Dan? Well, no, it's possible, though. Dan is... How old is Dan? 25. Yeah, he's younger than Ellen, isn't he? Yeah. We could actually be his mum. Yeah. We yeah. could, couldn't we? Yeah. He wasn't born then. He wasn't even born. He was born when I oh, was... Oh, yeah, sorry, my Ellen, not... Uh, yeah, not... Uh, I said Ellen. <laughs> no. Ellen. Ellen. Your Ellen, yeah. My Ellen, yeah. Um, let's do the bigger sizes, shall we? Jump up again. He's so nice. How old are you, Ethan? Do you mind me asking? 27. Sorry? 27. 27. Oh, it could be your mum then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. We are Claire. Yeah. Let's move these. Let's scooch these over a little bit. There we go. Claire. It's all good, though. It's just a number. I, I agree with it. It's just a number, you know. Straight away, lots See, of that's, collectors that's, getting involved. That's gorgeous. That is beautiful, isn't, isn't it? that lovely? Yeah. yeah. Just a classic, classic pearl necklace. This is not one of the most challenging pieces of jewellery that you'll ever create, but it is still one of those pieces that you'll probably reach for time and time and time again. I mean, I've shown you so many different, I don't know, uh, uh, Marilyn Monroe, we've shown Jackie Kennedy, we've shown Princess Diana, we've shown um, uh, Rihanna, all wearing beautiful pearls. Um, the first, That's yeah, absolutely, Michelle it? Obama. Eight pounds only. That's so good. And if you want to, if you wanted to recreate maybe that twist, I can show you. And I've used some of the the larger sizes at the back. Can you see here? So you just, I've kept them, kept them on the strand. You would put yours on, you know, on the strand. So you don't have to knot them. Although they are beautifully. Um, you know, they do look nice knotted. Um, you can see that down there in a minute. But you can see, so just a Wags Y cone 
um, attach, uh, attach in and then use one of the larger mm. pearls at the top and then you can just twist and you can decide whether you want that a, a big twist or a looser twist. Beautiful. So, yeah. They are as brilliant prices for stunning strands. Yeah, and it, like I said, it, never mind outside these four walls. It, comparing with ourselves, even from the beginning um, yeah. of the jewelry maker journey, yeah. they were not ten, uh, they, they, they were not under ten pounds. I know. I with you, Liam. Uh, Liam saying I, I hate the description potato pills. I'm with you, and I try and avoid saying it really, um, because you know what. They, 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 Call, they're Baroque, call them Baroque if you wish, mm. because they've got lovely natural, um, they might have rings in there, just, I don't know, something, some anomaly during the culturing process will have created these beautiful spherical rings. If you can imagine where cultured pearls are actually formed, um, the water isn't just, you know, stagnant, it rotates and it moves. So you get these wonderful shapes and it demonstrates that they are genuine cultured pearls, not faux and not simulant. 17 of them left, well done collectors, keep on dialing through. Again, we're jumping up again in size now this is a star buy um wayne has just messaged liam saying really has he saying uh why why and where have you got these from um because they're eight to nine millimeters <laughs> <laughs> liam's a text back saying sorry i'm on annual leave you did that though didn't you yeah mm. we're still going to see him after the show you know that liam he works downstairs, Liam's, uh, uh, Wayne's upstairs, okay. Still, it's not that big a building. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I, get, I get Wayne's point. They are large. These aren't small pearls. They are coming your way as a star buy. I've got 160 available opportunities. Brands banking new, genuine cultured pearls. It's another Liam deal, but a naughty Liam deal, under £10. We need to make a decision right now, Claire. Mm. Are we on board with the rebellion of these pearls? Or are we off? I'm on board. On board. Yeah. Are you on the Liam Dickens train? Yes, I am. I'll get on. Yeah, I'm on. I'll get on. I've got my ticket. Are you on board? Dan's on. Ethan, you on board? Let's do it. Exactly, let's do it. We're on board, Liam. <laughs> In that case, yeah, Wayne, we've got 160, but you watch, you watch, Liam, literally, these will sell out. But if we're going to get on board, it's a thing to get on board. Isn't there a song for that, isn't there? <laughs> um, we're not stopping at 9.99. Okay, but... Lovely jewellery makers, even those these, uh, these are the biggest of cultured pearls that we have brought you. They've got that pinkish overtone look. Can you That's see? Choo choo, Liam. <laughs> I love it. You've got a really beautiful pinkish overtone, which are actually one of the most popular and sought after of your, um, of your white pearls. It's not just a white colour. You talk about overtones and undertones. Can you see that pinkish blush? Um, very, very desirable in the cultured world, uh, um, cultured world, uh, cultured pearl world. Um, love those wonderful details they are showcasing that they are genuine pearls you know not simulants not imitations we are all on board liam promises that the 160 of these will go even lower even though these are the biggest of culture pills that we have available out of this lovely little showcase might might be one of the lowest prices adam's not getting on board he fancies a walk yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a little stroll, get some fresh air. Oh, <gasps> Claire, no, Jen, we have sold glass beads before, haven't we? Glass pills, and yes, we've brought we paper have. pills yes. as well, haven't yeah. we? <gasps> Were they at six pounds and forty nine pence? Oh my pence? gosh! Oh, I think that might have to be the best yet. Our, our paper pills weren't that price tag, were they? That's incredible. No, mm, that can you, is can you good. Can imagine the jewellery with the, the tanzanite putting <gasps> the two together? I mean, that's a... Well reminded, Claire, classic, thank you. We've got 400 jewelry, available opportunities. <gasps> Seriously. Are we headed to Bargain Town, Liam? I think so. Uh, Liam says you're here. You are already at Bargain Town. We're just doing laps. We're just doing laps. We're circling. 
<laughs> Look at him. There is only one Liam. Exactly. Are you on board? He said. Yes, completely, especially if you're bringing genuine culture pills at £6.49. Um, seriously, seriously, Tanzanite also promised. And you're pre-orderable as well. You can get ahead and, uh, and guarantee your Tanzanite for under £10 today. Should be. What's the should be price on the Tanzanite, by the way? Oh, 89.99. Mm, reduced it to 29.99, but that was the last time it was on air. Not today, though. Um, make the most of this opportunity. There are lots of you getting twos, threes, fours, fives, I'm sixes. Not surprised, I'm not yeah. surprised. We've got three full rows of names. Again, I'm not surprised. You've got that really beautiful pinkish overtone as well. 75 of these remain. Valentina says, Liam, I'll have six of those. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Fatima, I'll have five, thanks. Jax, Rupal, I'll have two, thanks. Nicole, Christine, I'll have a couple. Dorothy, I'll have a couple. Jacqueline, I'm going to have three. Thank you very much. Loads of you in the process of checking out. I, look at the quantity. You need to do that sooner rather than later. If you've got a phone in your hand, you should be... We could almost guarantee you one. I don't want to say for certain because there is so many of you there. Um, yeah, just stay where you are. Much, Our call yes, centre yeah. will get you ASAP. I'll leave the... Uh, the final 21 there because we're hugely over allocated amazing 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 should we do some more tools yes 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 so these are burrs these are burrs and these what are... is a burr so a burr is you're going to use those different different sorts of they all look the same as they're in the uh the pots there but there'll be different shapes and different um different sizes as well. So these will work with your, if you've got your Dremel or any, um, you know, uh, your rotary, um, uh, uh, you know, like hand drills, things like that. Mm. So these are gonna be, you know, like your beautiful pearl that you had, um, that you showed us with the pegs in it. Yeah. Um, so this is where this uh, burr comes into its own here. And, you know, Bush is a really, really, really great quality, um, manufacturer of these they, they will last you a long long time if you can see on the the top of that that pearl drill there's a tiny weeny little point it's really um it's super sharp so it's going to go into um through the pearl really really easily but it means that you can either produce work um like the one that Elle's got in, in her hand there where you've got your holes so underneath those pegs are little holes and you can then put anything in yeah but it also means that if you even if you don't do that style of, of, of jewelry with your pearls and you want to enlarge the drill hole that's you can use that so these are really useful for even if you know you just do knotted necklaces yeah and you think for your first pearl and your last pearl you need maybe a larger drill hole this is where these really really come into their own now have a little look on the website because there's lots of different burrs um so and different shapes and sizes yes. i guess yeah. yeah um should be 15.99 assuming that I, i'm not going to need to replace my burr am i as long no, as you don't so break as as, it as long as you look after it so that means if you work with your um your cut lube there um it's gonna it's gonna work really well oh yeah so four seventy nine, and and remember that is a bush. That's a bush one. So they're you know like the Rolls Royce of that's a really good make. Love that. that yeah, we went down to uh, Bush, didn't we? Do you remember uh, Andy? That was Bosch. 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 <laughs> Bush's brother. Bush. <laughs> oh, there we go. So that that ends that conversation then. It wasn't Bush. It was Bosch. Um, <laughs> which was Dremel, which is what you would use it. You'd use it yes. with your Dremel. Yes, yeah, we, we absolutely would. terrified Andy, didn't we, yes, from Dremel? We did. He hasn't been yes. back since for no, a while. Hasn't. Maybe we've scared him. Um, okay, keep dialing through because we have got different different uh, burrs. Um, so, what's this? So really, so good again that you've got. So this one you can see a slightly larger one. I think this one is. So so what you would do is if uh, if you're drilling any hole, you would you wouldn't start off you know uh, going in uh, really big at first. You'd go smaller and then you would work your way up. So you might work with the the smaller um, bit first and then and then you go up to the larger one. So yeah. It's, it's it's important to you know to maybe have both sides. Yeah, because you don't want to you... damage the gemstone, do you, at the end no, of the day? No, no. So you start, you, you know... And wood and glass and things yeah. like that you can use this for, can't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, these are... Um, I think these are specifically for your, your pearls. Oh, I, I beg So I would probably... I'd probably oh, keep yeah. these for my, my pearls. Um, it says pearl, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. But you think, my bad. You know, if you did that 1.4, you think about things you could get through that, that pearl then. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, let's do now, um, this is the one millimetre. 
But this is a bit different. Why is, what, oh, why is this different? It's got yeah. a ball on the top. So if we think about, if you think now about when you're, um, if I'm trying to think. So it, you know when we have, say, maybe the tab settings that we've worked with, and sometimes we need to, might need to take a little bit of some of the, the silver away. Yeah. Um, if we've got an angled gemstone. Or we want to take out, want to make the notches slightly bigger um, on prongs. Or basically, you want to re remove small areas of silver and you want to have good control. This is amazing. So you know how I like to pinch really beautiful gemstones and things like that? Uh, do you? Sometimes. This, <laughs> I absolutely want to pinch this because this is so useful. If you do any sort of... Um, uh, work with silver. This is really, really, really and useful. There you go. Good control and fine, just removing slight amounts uh, and different settings as well. So if you do your flush setting, it works works well with that. Claire, last on air at six ninety nine today, three ninety nine. Again, and it's a bush one, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, that really Rolls good. Royce, amazing. Um, okay, keep dialing through. I am speeding through these just because you know there are different options basically. And let's be honest, and. It, yeah, you can figure it out, I think, from the graphics itself. Now, this is a yeah. two millimeter stone setting bush burr. Yes. So what you've got in there is if you look at if you can see the top of that that shape. So if you look at um, it goes to a point. So you've got a straight edge going up and then it, it tapers up to a point. So if you imagine that it's going to be the other way around, you're going to uh, drill into whether it's sheet or um, into maybe your tube setting as well. And that's what's going to help you create the shape to set your round gemstone. So if you've got any of the round gemstones, you know, when we have that little box, mm. um, that it's gonna give you, that's what you need for those. And again, for these, in the same way with the pearl drills, the more sizes you can have, the better. Okay. So if you think about this one, so, you know, different, you know, I've done two mil rounds, um, but I also, I do use these as well for sometimes if you just wanna remove, um, uh, again, if I'm working sometimes on prongs or other settings, I'll use these because they are that you, is good control with them. There you go. And again, brilliant. Three ninety nine. Yeah. Three ninety nine. Loads of you getting really involved. Really um, yeah, very, very, very popular. Um, okay, three ninety nine. Last on air, by the way. At five pound ninety nine, which is still great. I mean, you can get these yeah, from these, your DIY shops, yeah. and you're of just, course. You're just looking, um, looking after them. So all of these, remember, what they're doing is they're removing um, silver. So and the, and it's at speed. So you want to have that's where your lubrication comes in. Last on air at what? Six ninety nine again. So for all the things I said for the previous one, absolutely with this one. But you're you're working, aren't you, with a, a, a larger size here? So, well, you can see three millimetres there. Yeah. So if you want yeah. to create a sort of set a three millimetre stone, um, then obviously use the correct burr for it. Last on air, 6 99 today, 4 99 um, Hello, Victoria, saying, uh, hello, lovely Liam, enjoying all your crazy discounts. Um, are you able to bring sterling silver toggle class to wear? Would be great for pearl bracelets. Um, Liam's on it. Victoria, he'll have a little look, see what he can find for you. So... There he is. Yeah, absolutely. Put a little put a little request in if you wish. Drop a message into the gallery, and Liam can um, work his uh, work his magic. Work his magic. Um, amazing. Four ninety nine. Keep on dialing through. Amazing. Um, let's bring you a one point two burr. This is a diamond burr. What's the difference? Let's have a look at this one. Uh, again, so this one here, if you look at, again, look at the, can you see the, um, sort of like that texture, the abrasive bit at the top. So again, using this for uh, re removing small areas of silver and really nice and delicate. So again, all those tab settings, if you've got, I'm thinking particularly, remember the hexagonal ones that you've had or yeah. something with lots of angles where you'll need to just remove tiny amounts of, of silver and probably in a, in a straight line as well. This would really, really come into its own there. Lovely, small, delicate areas where you just want to take maybe just not even a millimetre of, um, of silver off. So this is good for kind of like filing down. Yeah. OK, yeah. amazing. And, 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 you know, and, and sort of removing, yeah, removing little bits. £5.50, well done. Um, OK, just a couple more of your burrs. Um, and then we've got some more tools to bring you as well. So this is the penultimate burr. That's a funny sentence, isn't it? Um, this one, 1 1.6 millimetres. Um, and this is a rounded cone. Oh, again, so see, if you wanted to, um, uh, maybe you're going to do your flush setting and you wanted to get um, take out silver. So all of these are, for, are for removing um, bits of, of silver, really. So whether you're working with your, you know, in your sheet, 
um, existing, you know, semi mats that we do, you might need to take a little bit out of. Uh, you want to um, make a, a rounded hole, um, you know, to do your flush setting. Uh, yeah, just, you know, think anything like that, really. I mean, the, the best thing to do is to have a selection of, of burrs mm. um, and you'll use them for probably loads of different jobs that you might not have Especially considered. today, given the prices that Liam's uh, this offering. Is, this so. is the time, I think, yeah, to yeah. get them. Yeah. Last on air yeah. at £7.99. Well done. Um, OK, and now your final burr. This one's been flying on pre-order. This perfect. is your four millimetre stone setting bush burr. So if you look at something, I think that might be slightly bigger, but that gives you, if I bring... Yeah, so if you look at... It's doing the same as the others, that setting, so you've got that straight edge and the tapered, but what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to work with larger, um, larger stones. So you saw the smaller ones before... Um, so again, it's, it's, it's just really good to have because what you can't do is you can't work with a four mil stone mm. um, and, and work with, you know, say a, a, a lower size because it's really unlikely, even if you are very, very careful of going round, being super careful, you're not going to get it so that it's, you know, to have a, a calibrated stone in there. The one issue, though, this is the most limited of the burrs and it is proven to be one of the most popular. That is obviously a brand new low, um, £7.99. And don't forget pence. as well, sorry, I should have said, so all of it, I'm talking about with your sterling silver, you know, as well, pearls, if you want to um, do your gems setting into the pearls, you would drill your hole and then you'd work with these stone setting burrs and you just into the pearl, lovely and, and, and soft. And then you just glue your stone straight in. That's it. It's yeah. That, yeah, it is that yeah. simple. But you need the tools for the job, don't you? you? Do. So yeah. Amazing. Yeah, Thank you, you Claire. Um, let's do the what? The magnetic burr holder. Yes. Yeah. Is that this? Yes. Well, really I've never seen it before. Is. So if you get if you get any of the burrs and you just pop. What them. do I do? So what's what you need to have? If you're thinking about your workstation, so if you just pop it along the side. Oh, so they go. Oh, yeah. So, so they're easy, readily to hand. It's a bit like if you think of, um, you know, when you're making things, you don't want to have to then start unpacking, taking them out of little bags. And so, you know, what you could do is you could put bits of, you know, nail varnish or something like that if you needed to, um, uh, you know, to distinguish which was which. But they are to hand. And look, it revolves it's really as good, well. Isn't it? So you just How have that on your, that? on your work top. So yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah, I want to use that bird today. Yeah. Put it away. Always been on air at eleven pounds and ninety five pence today for the final sixty of these. That's very satisfying. It is and super neat as well. Yeah, you know exactly where it is. Brilliant. I'm not even. Yeah, you know, seriously. Look at. Yeah. It's good How good it. is that? £9.50 for you today. There are only a handful of these, though. If you work... I, do you know, and, and you've just said something there, Claire, that I can totally relate to. You know, when you're creating and you're sort of in your flow, you're in your zone, you've got that, you know, you know exactly what you've... You've got your vision in your head, if you like. Last thing you want to do is... To sort of to have to be interrupted in opening packaging, finding tools, if you like. You want to have them within reach. And then being messy afterwards. So it's like getting it out, isn't it? But if you can just straight you away, messy? you're just really messy um, because you can just pop it back on and it's and it's done then. It's gone. It's got a place. It, you know, those birds have got a place. They've got a home. You know where they are. Where, yeah, put them, just put them straight. Amazing. Back. Keep on dialing through for those. Um, oh, yes. Victoria. Victoria asked for a toggle class. We found one for you, Victoria. Um, I don't ha obviously have it here in the studio. Um, not sure we should have it, but we'll do it really quick for you because you've obviously messaged us. So, um, so we'll have to do it off a photograph. You get one sterling silver toggle clasp here. It's lovely, 11 millimetres or 23 millimetre ring, so it's quite a big one, um, with an 11 millimetre toggle. Um, you know we're not going to be at £24.99. pence. You know it's under £10 day. Um, love that design. Classic, isn't it? That's a classic, Ooh, very Tiffany-esque yeah. toggle class. Today, £4.99. pence. Clearly, Victoria, you're not the only person that wanted to get toggle class today. To go with all those lovely pearls, as you said, um, I, know, I know this is fairly obvious, but a toggle class is far easier to put on and off than, say, your Boltman class with your lobster claws. Um, they're great for bracelets. They're amazing for necklaces as well. So if you do suffer, if you find it difficult to put, put certain pieces of jewellery on, then try a toggle 
Argyll or definitely a magnetic class. We only have 100 of them left though within the building and there's a lot of multi-buyers. Um, today is the day to be stocking up on your essentials, isn't it? Absolutely. I've had some brilliant deals. Amazing I? deals. I love shows like this. Me too. So good. And 925 Sterling Silver. Um, well done, Barbara, Christine, Sue, Julie. Hello to you, Valerie and Cyril. Hello to you, Vic there you are, Victoria. Helen, hello to you, Fiona, Linda, Drew. Amazing. Keep on dialing through. Should we do some more tools? Half round pliers, so, are they? Yeah, so these are really, uh, again, you know when I talked about the, the difference of doing your wire work um, and then maybe taking your wire work and doing soldering? So these, um, if you have a look at them, so you've got, if you look at the, um, the two, you've got a flat edge here, and then you've got that, that curve there, that, that D shape there. Oh, yeah. So these are really, really good if you're um, making shapes, but you don't want to mark, um, uh, so, for, so for making rings. So I use these all the time on um, Stacker Ring Workshop because these work. So if I show you on a, on a piece of wire, so I'm going to have the D shape going on the inside my glasses on so I can see and I've got the flat edge on the outside so I'm just going to grip and hold and, and bring in so this is how we would if we imagine that we we're going to um, solder this piece of wire so I've, I've brought it around there so I've got a nice curve there I haven't marked anything I'm going to turn it round again so that the D shape is on the inside I can support it and bring round and then you can also you can see so I can then if I wanted to I could sort of Pinch, pinch it and you get a lovely curve like that. But what you're not doing is you're not marking uh, the wire because you've got the flat side there and then you've got the, um, the rounded side here. So if I need to bring that out, so to do my stackers, you can see I've created the curve, I've not marked the outside and we can get that ready for soldering and then we can reshape it. So these are, um, these really, really do come into their own if you want to make anything uh, with rounds. Certainly, if you're making stacker rings, sterling silver, these are absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, any sort of round shape, any, any way where you want to have a curve but not mark, mark the wire. It's having the right tools for the job. It, do you know what? It makes such a difference. Such a difference. You know, these are a good, these are a really, really good. Claire, they've always been 9 99 and well, they're a professional, aren't they? Um, jewelry making tools, so that's a good that's a good price for them. Do you want to see 160 of them literally fly? Oh, I I feel like that's um, less than the staff cost on them. It is. And you get little perks. Obviously, you need these tools for your profession, don't yeah, you? So you yeah. do get discounts. Yeah. But um. Three pounds That's so 84. good. These, yeah, really, really useful. Because, you know, you think about the, the you know, with your, um, you know, you think about uh, lovely sterling silver uh, wire. So it can be really, you know, nice and soft. What you don't want to do is you don't want to form the ring, which is going to be the first thing you do to create that shape, and then scratch it with pliers or get a, a, a nick or yeah. a, a dent in it straight away. Because then the only thing really is that you can, you then have to try and like file or, or buff that out, which you absolutely can. Um, but that's right at the start. So if, if you've got the right tool, you're less likely to do anything like that. So just by having that, that curve and that straight edge, it works Three really well. And also, if, I know, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? It is incredible. There's less than 60 there. We had 160 at the beginning of this auction. There are tons of you there. You might yeah. have looked before. Do you know what? Today is the day that if you've looked at, oh, I haven't got that tool. Maybe one day I'll treat myself to that tool. Today is that day. Um, speaking of more tools, um, we're going to bring you a burnisher next. What's it, which one? So it's hiding. It's oh, hiding there, 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 the there, there. Yes. So this, this comes into its own. Smooth um, it down. This is, this is so good. I've got a stone good. that's quite loose that, yeah. that's worrying me. Okay. Okay. Do I use the burnisher? Yes, yeah, so you could use the burnisher. It depends what setting it is. But so if you look at, so something like, if I show you all of these, so all of these things you would, um, you would work, uh, use a burnisher for. Okay. Have a... You are. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll come over to you. So, so you use your burnisher on these settings as well. Yeah. So you can see here. So I've got, um, I've got a bezel cup here. So I'd, I'd be pushing that over the stone, so you could see. So it's going to eventually look something like that at this stage where you've done it. Do you want to Thank show you. us the technique? Yes, please. Two pounds eighty-nine. Well, that's that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 
Lowest ever price on your burnisher. So now what we're going to do with this, we're going to do two things. So if I just pop those down, so you can see how that was a, a, a straight edge here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and you would have it in your, in your clamp. So I'm now just then going to start and push this round. Now this is going to do a couple of things. It's going to push the hard steel of the burnisher is going to push that soft silver so it's, it's going to follow the shape of the stone. But you can already see there where it's starting to get that nice bright. Yeah. So it polishes it as well. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. And so it's going to it's going to do that. So that is on your um, that's on your uh, like if you were doing a bezel setting. And this is obviously on a round using a, a, a bezel cup. So use these all the time on the uh, on the workshops. Really, really useful. You can already see how it's starting to give that. You can just see, can you see yeah, the yeah, front yeah. there, that lovely shine, so useful, so, so useful. Amazing. Brilliant tool. Um, we'll leave that one with you again, keep dialing through. Shall we do the stinky stuff? Yes, 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 yes. Listen, I, love I know this. you do love liver of sulphur. I I'm do not, love this. Listen, this should say on here, it should say on the lab label, it stinks. It's a bit <laughs> eggy, isn't it? It, it smells like Trump's. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It's a quite. It is. It is like a smell. <laughs> it is. It and you can you'll smell it for room. quite a while as well. But what does liver of sulphur do? So this will do. So if you, if, so something like this. If we look at, um, so your original bear, say bear copper is going to be something like this colour here. Mm. You see here. So we've got this lovely um, shiny copper. Yeah. Okay. So you've got that that shine there. What you're then going to do is when you're doing your weaving and you, or, um, uh, you've got lots of, of wires together, by putting it in the liver of sulphur, that's going to give you this, this, this darker oxidised... Aged. Yes, look, which means then you can then buff up pieces so it then stands out. So whereas if it was all... So if you look at the back, you could see so that I haven't buffed any of that up and you've got that... that you know, it's, it looks black. And that's why I've left it in for a long, long time. There are lots of different recipes you can you can use as well. Um, and I can use this on silver as well, can't I? Absolutely, on silver. It works really, really well. So it'll pick up um, textures, uh, in, yeah. and anything like that. It's going to work beautifully. Often referred to as oxidised, isn't it? Yes, yes. It gives it gives that look. Um, but it will just pick out um, details. And it, I have to say, it will make it, it makes any sort of wire work, even if it's messy, it makes it look really good. It does, yeah, yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. Six pounds and seventy-five pence for that one, amazing. And that bottle will last you ages, oh, and ages, yes, and ages. It does. Yeah, you don't um, much. Let's do the tripod. Oh, brilliant! Okay, already flying on pre-order. So um, it's only ever been twelve ninety-nine, which is amazing. Tripod soldering. Yeah. So if I put, if I put that on there, so if we think about when we would use that, usually. Um, it's a different stages of it. So I've got on this 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 part of the. So I've got my sterling silver. So I've got let me bring it over setting. to you, so it's easier for, uh, for 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 Ethan and Dan. There we go. So let's put that there. There we are. So if we think about it, when we when we've got to this stage, sometimes when we're when we're doing um, different pieces of uh, of jewellery, we want to have the heat direction in different places. So we've got now. If we look at the the amounts of silver, we've got big piece of sheet here we've got a very very fine uh bezel strip here so you can see that and we've got some granulation details on there so if i turn it up yeah like so that. obviously when you're soldering you don't want to be holding no it, do so you? the biggest piece that we want to heat up is this bit here so if i directed my heat from the top say my fingers are the my torch this bit is going to get very hot whereas if i go take my torch here this is we'll pretend this is my torch i'm going to go underneath and i can direct the heat underneath here uh -huh. and so I'm going to direct the heat here this is going to sit really securely on this um the tripod and the um and the, the gauze there and this is going to get hot so what will happen is the sheet gets hot and then that transfers ah. to the bezel and now you know we can't stop at 12.99 should be oh there's 200 of them Claire look at this look at this even if you've not started your silversmithing journey yet oh do you know what as well even if you don't do it i'd have that as a nice little plant stand that's um <laughs> yes no that's a that's a really nice um put your little ivy in seriously? there seriously and that's a professional that's incredible yeah 
That is Six incredible. Pounds. Yes. Do you know what a day to start different Absolute, mediums absolutely. as well, this different it, techniques. If you've got any thoughts of, of, of having a go at it, this is the time to get it. As you can imagine, this is, um, yeah, flying out. I'm going to leave it with you, but there are 200. There, stay where you are. Keep dialing through. Oh, this There's is still brilliant. quantity. Let's do what next? The mallet. This is raw hide mallet. Perfect, perfect. What do, okay. Uh, Liam says he needs one of these. What's a raw hide mallet for, So then? this might be, uh, you know, if we've made a ring... Um, and you know you've got a ring mandrel there. Can I yeah. borrow? Can I borrow that ring mandrel? Yeah. So what you might want to do is you, you you've made your ring, and you know how we'd made it sort of, and it was this shape when we when we'd done it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. So we've soldered this, and we've got it so that it's now it's that sort of almost that tic tac shape, and we want to get it so that it's round. But what we don't want to do, remember, is we don't want it in the same principle as with those the pliers. If we started hammering the this now with a, a metal hammer, it's going to leave marks and imprints. So all we're looking to do, we want to shape it really, not texture it. Yeah. So you pop it on onto the top of the ring mandrel bear in mind this would be soldered and then you can go round so what you're doing is you're, you're creating it it will, it will force it because you've got the metal onto the metal but you've got this soft hide it's not going to mark it yeah so it's, so it's going to form it and we can also bring that down <gasps> as well on there but it's, it, these are so so useful if you want to sort of uh, encourage a shape rather than texture these are really really good 697 brand new low so good. i mean again it's i, I would think of, you know these are big solid professional you know, it's, it's not it's not really heavy but it's, it's a bulky you know if you were looking at getting that somewhere else the postage i think you would pay would be considerable yeah that's really good Amazing. very very useful so the these these again um I, I've got, I use those, it's these ones in my workshop. All the time. And I use all of that as well. What do you those. want to bring next then? Keep dialing through for this. Do you want to do charcoal uh, block or the borax? Borax and cone. So the, this again That's is this. something that will um, last you for... Ever. Uh, yeah, forever. So w this is going to work. So you know when we, we talk about um, flux. So what we want to do is we want to work with the solder. Uh, and we want something for, for that solder. Do you do that with it then? Yes. So, you, so like a pestle and mortar? Absolutely. So you need a little bit of water in there um, and you just work and grind it round until you've got um, uh, a nice paste. And you just keep... And what will happen after a while is, you know, when it's that's a fresh dish um, and it'll start to, uh, the, you know, maybe at first the water will absorb in there, but then you'll just keep going, keep going, and it's, a, it's, it's really satisfying. It's so just a nice process to do as well. There you um, go. And then you, you, with your paintbrush, pop... Um, use your, use your Yeah. yeah. Um, only ever been 9 99 but today we're going to go even lower. I don't think I've brought this to air, you know. I think you, this don't, is... you don't see it. I don't feel you see it very no, often. No, I don't think I've brought this actually to air. I see you I demo mean, with is, it all the time. That is fantastic. Six ninety nine. Again, I think today. that is less than than staff cost. That's amazing. Wow. Um, so so yeah. So if if when you get it, if when you get it um, for any reason, if it, if it breaks or uh, you as you're doing it, the top comes off because obviously it tapers up. Don't throw that away because you just. I think most of mine are, are sort of maybe in two or, or three parts. So what, you this is the flux? Yes, yeah. Oh, I yeah, thought you had to put racks. something in. No, no, no. So all you need with that, you don't need anything else, just water. So you're putting water in the oh. dish uh, and going around and then just let it let I it thought you needed and... to put some product in there. No, no. Oh, no, that's, that's, just that's a the splash of water. Yeah. Yes. How I did wonder why you used this because yes. I was like thinking, well, you can get it out the tube, can't you? But no, you literally it's... just add water to it. Gosh, yeah. that's a great price. It then. is. Yeah. Sorry, light bulb and moment. So that is, if you think that's going to last you years and years and years. Wow. Brilliant. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, okay, let's do again. This is like gold dust. It goes right through me. I can't. I can't. Does it? Ooh, it can't. It does. Uh. So this is this is um, uh, a really good. Um, if What's the charcoal block? So if you so again, you're going to do your soldering on this. Um, we don't see this very often. If you work with your argentium, which I think you need to get a little bit hotter, this works. This comes into its own there. Uh, you can. Uh, it's a little bit softer. So what you can do is you can create. Um, Say, for example, you know on that one, if I bring that one, you say the little balls. So if you I'll, use I'll your, pass it to you. OK, 
Can you can you tolerate that? Yeah. It's like cotton wool. The two of them go right through me. Yeah. So if if what you want to do, you know how a lot of the work I do is I use granulation for it. So if you take out little bits of this, so you can uh, drill very carefully, or just um, if you've got um, uh, one of the you know a file or a, or a bit, you can you can do it by hand, and then pop your um, pop your bits of your your scrap silver in there, heat them up, and then that you're going to get little balls like that. So. Brilliant to do all sorts of soldering on, but it's going to get it nice and hot. So if you've got any argentium, uh, you want to be working on your um, on your charcoal. Wow. Like that. £9.49. pence Again, lots of you there. Um, do not go anywhere. There is still our tools to bring you. We've got sandbags. We've got, um, yeah, lots of different tools. We've got mandrels and all sorts. So do have a little look on the website and you can shop ahead. You know everything is going under £10 today, which is amazing. Um, but don't go anywhere. Those of you that have pre-ordered on your deal of the day, amazing. It is going to be probably one of the deals of the year, if not the deal of the year. Year. Tanzanite, we all know it. We know that this is a gemstone that well, we refer to it all the time, don't we? This one locational gemstone, this amazing miracle of nature that was formed 585 million years ago and yet only discovered really within our lifetime. It will. It is predicted to uh, literally have 10 to 20 years left of mining. It's a legacy stone. It's an heirloom stone. And all of that, it's a beautiful gemstone. Tanzanite should categorically not be under 10 pounds however today that's precisely what we're doing I'm Natalie Patton and I'm from Merseyside. So I started jewellery making about two years ago. Um, I make all sorts of different types of, of jewellery um, with lots of different methods and techniques. So I might use some tiger tail or elastic, do some bead stringing, but wire is um, my passion. My inspiration comes from the gemstone itself usually. Um, so the colours and the patterns in them and the shape of them. I use a lot of uh, cabochons, so my design will tend to come from what I feel works best with that particular stone. I don't know what I was thinking when I entered Britain's Next Gem. I was having a day where I must have just been overly confident and just thought, why not? I got an email to say, you know, I've made it through. Um, I, I cried, <laughs> let's face it. <laughs> I'm quite emotional. <laughs> so yeah, I, I did a lot of uh, squealing, a lot of giddy jumping up and down, dancing, happy dances. So it was a very exciting day being in the studio, um, getting to meet the team, getting to see behind the scenes. You know, you watch Jewelry Maker, um, I watch on the telly mainly or on my phone, but to be actually there in the studio, I started off quite nervous. And now when I go, I just feel quite at home. You can't get rid of me now. <laughs> So I created um, the Gemstone Garden Collection. So they are a series of 12 different beautifully crafted uh, beads which are related to um, birth flowers. So each month is assigned a different flower so your bead will be shaped like that flower and in the centre will also be a birthstone as well. To, to be a finalist in Britain's Next Gem is, is just I keep saying incredible, there's not many other like superlatives I can come up with really. I love making things for people and I love seeing people wear the things I've made. To be able to create a collection that other jewellery makers can make with just fills me with absolute pride. I would think you should vote for my collection because you would be able to create a whole range of different jewellery making projects with it. They're very versatile um, and they're very lovely if I do say so myself. Gemstone Garden means that you can personalise and customise your jewellery pieces. So if you're making for somebody and you would like to include special months, maybe a birthday, then you can choose those particular beads that represent that month and that birthstone. Or if you've got a favourite flower or a favourite colour, you could choose that one too.
working with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Are you ready? We have a clock on your screen that is counting down today's deal of the day. But to be honest, I think this is one of the deals of the year. Because here is a gemstone. I don't think it takes much introduction, much explanation to recognize that it should not be under £10. Um, the world became completely obsessed with this gemstone immediately the moment that Tiffany's & Co launched it. It's a fascinating geological phenomena that occurred and formed exactly the same time that Mount Kilimanjaro was formed, all those 585 million years ago. And yet, you know, consider that, it lay undiscovered until the late 1960s. There is no other blue gemstone quite like Tanzanite. In eight seconds, though, I'm promising you, lots of you have already shopped ahead that this is going under £10. The graphics are live. Use this time wisely. Although we have over 400 of these available, I'm so confident that they're going to sell out. Now, I'm going to talk to you about this gemstone. I love that. You know, these are not my words, by the way. I mean, I'm going to read to you. We're going to sort of help our call centre team a little bit here because it is going to be completely bomb bombarding. Um, we're going to uh, yeah, assist our website and also the app so that we don't crash it. Nobody wants that. And also, we must never assume that everybody knows what Tanzanite is because, you know, my very best friend probably doesn't know what Tanzanite is. She knows diamonds, she knows rubies, sapphires and emeralds, but maybe not Tanzanite. Um, so we must never assume that everybody does. And I know that we have, certainly this week, we've had loads of new customers join the Jewelry Maker family. Well, uh, Tanzanite is 1,000 times rarer than a diamond. The unique geology, pressures and intense temperatures of Mount Kilimanjaro offer you this once in a lifetime deposit of intense blue purple gems rich in history. With experts ranging the chances of finding it anywhere else in the world at one in a million, Tanzanite is one of the rarest and most intriguing gemstones known to man. Experts have predicted Tanzanite mines will have given their last gem quality stone in just 10 to 20 years, giving it incredible collectible value. These factors have shaped Tanzanite as one of the most coveted stones, estimated to be at least 1,000 times rarer than a diamond. And you might be thinking, OK, well, you've got to look, look, maybe even two decades left of mining this gemstone. That's best case scenario. And also, you know, the shorter that time frame uh, um, becomes, the more expensive this gemstone becomes as well. So it is always better with all gemstones, to be honest. It is always better to get it as, uh, as early as possible. Good luck and prosperity. Tanzanite is known to hold attributes of good luck and prosperity. The deep blue stone is thought to be a transformation stone which helps dissolve old negative patterns and habits, allowing the bearer to move on in life with a renewed sense of direction, purpose, optimism and confidence. All the ingredients for prosperity. The gem is also believed to attract energies of good luck, wealth and success, propelling you into your new best life. But don't you get those positive vibes straight away from this beautiful gemstone? 
Um, new life and beginnings. Um, also known as blue zoocyte, the tanzanite is a stone of many properties. Beyond its unprecedented beauty, tanzanite has often been associated with new life and new beginnings. The stone can be gifting for, gifted for births and new milestones in life as a token of fortune and hope. It is a stone of fresh starts, rejuvenated health and protection when stepping into the world. This tradition is deeply rooted in Maasai customs. Women would be given tanzanite stones after childbirth as a symbol of good luck. I thought it was actually tanzanite one that kind of had this kind of De Beers moment where they thought, let's think of a marketing idea of how we can sort of really sort of push the tradition of this gemstone. It isn't actually. It dates back to the Maasai people themselves. And I think this next point is absolutely undeniable. It is 100% an heirloom stone. Heirlooms are keepers of time and memories. Passing on a piece of jewellery to another generation is a sign of love, pride and family, symbolising the passing down of a lifelong heritage. The rarity and beauty of Tanzanite complements this tradition um, as a perfect heirloom stone to carry throughout the future. And I mean, we say it all the time, don't we? But here is a gemstone that... You know, the reality is I've got two young, uh, two young daughters. Claire, you've got two daughters. We're in a very fortunate bubble here at Jewelry Maker and ultimately the Gemporia family. In a sense, we can source this gemstone affordably. But do you remember when we used to do 24-hour days of Tanzanite? Do we do them anymore? No. Um, imagine what's going to happen when this, the last gem quality tanzanite comes from the ground. Do you think that gemstone is going to be under 10 pounds? I mean, no, it isn't now, to be honest. I buy this stone because I almost feel duty compelled to purchase this gemstone for my girls because it's highly unlikely that they're going to be able to get hold of this stone at the prices that we can today. Um, I'm just going to flick forward, yeah, because that's really more last year. Yeah, 2022, it was the colour of the year. But just to see how it is actually dwindling, once upon a time here at Gemporia, we used to predominantly source of our tanzanite from D-Block, um, which was artisanal mined. We don't do that anymore. It's, uh, it, as you can see, there's what looks like a big sort of wall built around uh, Block C. That is quite literal. It's also government mined and legislated as well, which in, 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 a, way, uh, in a way is very, very good because it's obviously protecting the tanzanite, um, but it is also pushing the price per carat up um, quite significantly. So it's only sourced now from D-Block, and that's not a huge scale either. It's actually, in terms of mining uh, comparatively, um, it's very small. So um, less and less and less is coming from the, brown, uh, the ground. And, high, uh, and it's, more, uh, um, it's, it's far more challenging to unearth this gemstone as well. The depths that we are now unearthing this gemstone are quite uh, you know, mind-blowing. Once upon a time, you can see there the ground levels. Um, it was 100 metres. You can see the Shard, 306 metres, the Eiffel Tower, the Sears Tower. Um, we are currently, yeah, um, at the Burj Khalifa, yeah, in terms of depths beneath the Earth's surface. And, you know, it's not that far off Snowden, to be truthful. And you might be thinking, OK, well, these are vast open pits, a bit like diamond mines where you can literally drive around them. Absolutely not. They are literally vertical shafts that you ascend down um, quite literally a rickety old old uh, uh, um, ladder. Yeah. I know it takes it. It's so strenuous. It's you know it's such a strenuous activity. I remember Steve talking about when he went down. And it wasn't to that depth then. I remember Steve talking about his journey down to the bottom of a Tanzanite mine. It's very dark. It's very hot. And it's physically strenuous as well. I so bet psychologically as well it would Scary. Be, yeah. Really yeah. scary. Yeah. So as we go into these lengths, if you like to unearth this amazing gemstone, it's so right that this gemstone's price per carat goes up, isn't it? She says. Under £10 today full of vanadium it's vanadium that brings you that unique beautiful blue absolute there it is there you can see you can see the mine is literally working you think about that that's 900 meters below the earth's yeah. surface hot yeah. strenuous yeah. and what they'll do is they'll ascend at the beginning of the day they will stay down there all day until their, their work is done you know 
opportunities like this shouldn't happen. You can, no, that's a ladder, Liam. That's the vertical shaft. Oh, gosh. Yeah, can you see the ladder just against the wall? Literally vertical. You can't see the bottom. You can't actually see the bottom clearly. It's just mind-blowing the efforts that are going to sourcing yeah, this beautiful yeah. gemstone. So again, let's, let's, make, let's, say, let's say this or, 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 or realise what's happening right now. We are sourcing a gemstone which quite possibly is one of the most challenging gemstones to source. Um, and we are sourcing a gemstone that with, is without doubt an heirloom. You know, again, I'm not saying the future generation won't be able to purchase this, but it, but it will be on a second market, won't it? So it'll be maybe something that has been within uh, um, somebody's vault or safe, or maybe it's been passed on from generation to generation. If they don't, if they buy it first hand, it's going to be astronomically expensive. So again, I'll say I buy this stone because I know... I'm not going to be able to buy it, even fast forward five years at $29.99. I'm not going to be able to. That's a fantastic deal. This is, I know we're only in February, but this is genuinely one of the best deals you could possibly acquire here at Jewelry Maker. Do we all agree? Does it lack the vanadium blue? Vanadium is what is responsible for producing tanzanite's really unique bluish purple colour. Does it lack that? Is this tanza white? No, definitely not. It's got tanzanite with that wonderful intoxicating blue that grabbed our attention um, and literally sent, sent Tiffany's and Co in a head spin because they were so in love with this beautiful gemstone. Can you imagine as well? 585 million years this gemstone lay undiscovered and we only sourced it in the late 1960s. Likelihood of finding it anywhere else in the world, one in a million. So the odds aren't in our favour. In a minute, we are going to do what we set out to do. There were 400 opportunities. It is going under £10 for today and today only. Do you know, I wouldn't just be buying one strand, as so many of you aren't. You're multi-buying on this because I don't think I've ever seen a better opportunity to acquire quality tanzanite at under £10. I know it sounds too good to be true, and I can see you there. Loads of people are multi-buying. A hundred have gone already, so 25% of the stock has already gone. But I almost feel like you're not quite believing us. These people are. Even if you check out right now, that does not mean that you are paying $29.99. Everybody pays the final low price tag. We shouldn't be going under £20. We shouldn't be going under £15. We most definitely shouldn't be going under £10. But today, that's exactly what we are going to do. Today and today only. Get it whilst we have the chance. Do you think, and I've said this to you so many times, lovely jewellery makers, you are investors if you're getting involved in this amazing gemstone opportunity. You know, even if you recognise or not, you are an amazing collector, aren't you, um, of beautiful stones? Because, it, let's be honest, uh, you know, when a gemstone is dwindling as rapidly as Tanzanite is, when the, the global market is um, makes it as desirable as it is, it is it going to be an illogical purchase? Is this going to be a purchase that you're going to regret? Is this going to be a purchase you think, oh, goodness, I was overcharged for that? I doubt it very, very, very much. £9.69 pence is insane. And also, from even if, you know, if you're looking at it and you didn't know what it was and you just make jewellery just for aesthetics and, and you're not interested in anything else... This, the, the, it's the beautiful. It's, uh, it's a stunning colour, isn't it, that is also going to go with um, so many things. You know, you think about um, it's going to go with all of your uh, the colour findings that, that you've got. I would say it's going to go with the majority of, of, of probably other gemstones. Uh, Imagine it dotted in, in this, stand. Claire. Yeah. and, and Imagine it's... having little pops of tanzanite in amongst your cultured pearls. Beautiful. How beautiful is yeah. that? That's, that's like a museum piece. Yes. Yeah. Half the stock is gone. I have 200 of these remaining. And if you're thinking, OK, that won't sell out, I'll check out later on today. The biggest quantity auction I've ever done here at Jewelry Maker was 2,000. Two, do you remember that, Liam? Yeah, it was you and I, Sterling Silver Chain. 
Do you remember? We had a 2,000 quantity and they sold out. That's the biggest quantity auction we've ever done here at Jewelry Maker. 400 is nothing, especially with a gemstone that is as internationally desirable mm. as Tanzanite. Again, I'm going to go back to the statement. Are we ever going to regret this purchase? And I know that there's much like people are doing with Jade, you know, we're making hay while the sun shines. Make hay while the sun shines while we get the opportunity for Tanzanite. Because the same kind of comments that we have currently right now about Jade, we have about Tanzanite once upon a time. I've been here almost 12, here, 12 years, worked across most of the channels, if you like, and, uh, sorry? So, oh, sorry, Stella. Yes, I'm getting so excited. I haven't even put it on the back of my hand. Um, but yeah, uh, I can remember people saying, oh, Tanzanite, Tanzanite, Tanzanite. And now we're lucky if we see it once a week. Oh, yes, yeah. We're Absolutely. lucky. Yeah. yeah if we see it once a week. Look at how beautiful and rich those amazing blues are. Um, remember, Stella, we're also under floodlights here, so no gemstone likes uh, that kind of color saturation, um, or light saturation, sorry. Down to the final 136, there's twos, threes, fours, fives, tens. I'm not surprised by this. Let's talk about it from a jewelry, ba uh, jewelry maker's perspective, because I know so many of you will go, right, okay, I've just sourced a parcel of 27 carats, a parcel of 27 carats of tanzanite. How amazing is that? Um, I'm just going to literally put it in a safe somewhere and, you know, see what the future holds. Um, but... As a jewel, from a jewelry maker perspective as well, your beautiful smooth rondelles, they just... And they're so easy to use, Versatile. They? Yeah, they're really, like you said, so in between, um, in between the pearls, so maybe at that, I mean, at that sort of price, you know, it, it's wrong, but maybe think about them as spaces. If you didn't want to knot pearls and you just use your tanzanite uh, in between, the fact that it's graduated strand, so you can make the most of that, so larger ones at the front if you wanted to. But you think as well, of you know, you think about um, slider bracelets, you could, you could break that up into... Um, oh, beautiful. You know, yeah, inch inches and just have that in in slider um braces but that the color of tanzanite goes with it goes with everything yeah it does i mean yeah it's, it just pops doesn't it in that look at that just imagine it, just a couple dotted in between. Yeah. There is, as you can imagine, a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Um, please bear with that this auction is still very, very, very much open. Those of you that have it in your baskets, make sure you check out. We had 400, look at the call screens. You can see how busy it is today. You can see all of the multi-buyers. And by the way, you fill the bottom screen as well. So yeah, um, make sure you do check out. If you've never got involved, never shopped with us here at Jewelry Maker and you're thinking, I want to, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm taking that sort of leap of faith, Trust us, you can buy with complete confidence. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee, not that I think you're going to need it um, on this amazing opportunity. And it is super, 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 super simple. We can set up an account in a matter of, uh, matter of minutes. It's as easy as this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. £9.69, seriously is crazy isn't yeah, it, it is, yeah. crazy 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 um keep on dialing through um everybody absolutely incredible absolutely incredible price point never been a better opportunity for you to buy a parcel of 27 carats of beautiful tanzanite and it, it's obviously tanzanite you can see yes, the wonderful is, quality of saturation yeah. now if you think that's great i have got more amazing opportunities to bring you got loads of sterling silver in this hour as well um, um, and I'm going to bring you again another gemstone, a favourite of mine. Um, absolutely adore beautiful spinel. Um, it is one of the purer gemstones. What I mean by that, it often forms alongside the likes of your uh, your sapphires and your rubies. Um, but you don't get you don't get. Uh, um, 
pleochrosum or trichrosum within this gemstone. It has a purity of color. And those are words literally that GIA actually references. Um, I, I love it. You steal that actually from the Imperial uh, jewelry. They say this is a rare and dramatically beautiful gemstone. Natural spinel is rare, dramatically beautiful um, uh, and educated. Sophisticated consumers are forgiving the stone its past and embracing it for its standalone beauty. I don't think it needs a, a forgiving personally. I mean, at the end of the day, this is the gemstone really that, or one of the stones that sort of uh, forced gemology. You know, it was our own ignorance. Exactly, we don't, you yes, know, it's, our it's own bizarre. ignorance. Because we used to, exactly, yeah. our mistake. We used to misinterpret it for different gems like rubies and sapphires. Um, it's a completely separate gemstone. Um, and it is far rarer than the former mentioned. Spinel is head turning and requires no treatment. It's a natural beauty. Spinel is even naturally saturated color, high refraction, and is available in, in a captivating array of hues. Amazing. Um, well, speaking of those beautiful hues, a couple of photographs and some wonderful uh, spinel pieces. You can get it in cobalt blue. You can get cinnamon stones. You can get pinks. You can get some really warm oranges as well. Um, and, and make no doubt about it, it is normally a considered price point for this gemstone. It's natural, um, natural beauty. And if you go onto the GIA, and you can do this, the Gemological Institute, of America and, and you research uh, um, spinel quality color factors they talk about the rarest colors which are the rarest colors to actually source within this stone I can tell you that you've definitely got some of those it's the blues and it's these beautiful sort of red palettes that you can see along the back of my hand but this is completely and utterly natural are we going to do another under 10 pounds deal Look at that, so beautiful. I adore Spinel. Gosh, look at that. Outside of today, yeah, it, that wouldn't be unrealistic. Look at the quality of the colours. You've got Jedi reds in there. You've got some beautiful cinnamon tones. You've got colourless Spinel. Um, yeah, and it forms in, in, in miniature sizes, effectively. To get 22 carats in one opportunity is absolutely amazing. You know we are not stopping here, though. Um, you know where it is going in terms of its closing price point. I think, how many do we have, though, Liam? Okay, we've got quantity of these. It's another mega auction. That's exciting. So what an opportunity. Maybe, do you know, Spinel is one of those stones. It was, I, I, I hate referring to it, so I, so I very rarely do, the master of disguise. I hate saying that because, it, like I said, it was our own ignorance um, misinterpreting this gemstone for another gemstone. It's actually rarer. For example, we know the uh, we know that spinel features uh, features within the imperial crown. Uh, we know that this is uh, this is a gemstone that has been uh, included in 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 a lot of sort of regal pieces of you know like mm. crowns etc. Yes. I've shown photographs yes. of that in the past. I'm not going to do it today because the clock is ticking. But here we are at 29.99. Do it, Liam. Let's do it. What a great opportunity for you to maybe introduce Spinel for the first time. Maybe this is not a stone that you've purchased before. Look because the the, you've got the marketing behind Sapphire and Ruby, haven't you? Not many people wow. actually know about this gemstone. What I can tell you, it's natural. Sapphires and rubies aren't always natural. In fact, very rarely. It's pure in its color. So if you are looking for a red and a definite red, then go for Spinel. Um, yeah, it's a pure. You don't get secondary cues. It's a pure, beautiful, natural gemstone. Um, goodness me. $8.99. Absolutely incredible. Plus, have you noticed the location of source? Yeah, it's not it's not operational at the moment. So well done to those of you that are um, securing this opportunity. The phone lines and the website have completely lit up. I mean, strands like this, Claire, you can just like you said earlier on, just simple tennis star just, bracelets. Yeah, but then but then all yes, you could do because a lot of work, isn't it, with the different tones? You've got all those co that color banding in there. But I'd be looking when it's uh, prices like that. This is a great way to, you know, if you, uh, maybe multi-buy so that you're getting such an impact of colour and so many gemstones. You think, you know, if you've got loads of featherweight head pins, can you imagine a beautiful colour bands of bubble star bracelets you could do with that? Oh. Fabulous earrings as well, so you're getting all the movement. There's so much colour in, the, in those strands.
bubble style. It'd It'll, be incredible, wouldn't it? Yeah. Absolutely incredible. But it's, it's, so you got three. They're mature colours, yes. I think. I always think yeah. they're quite mature colours yes. with your spinel. Yeah. yeah. Natural Burmese, 22 carats. Well done. Keep on dialing through all around the world getting involved. We've got 150 uh, remaining opportunities at 8.99. They're not hanging around. Marion, Victoria's got six. Gwyneth, why don't you get in two? Janet, Maker in Yorkshire. Sandra, Erica in Cleveland. Sandra in Channel Isles. Barbara, hello to you, Fiona, Gordon, Heather, Lorna, Christine, Janet, Janine. Do keep on dialing through, everybody. It's super Gorgeous. busy today, but then I guess that doesn't come as any surprise, does it? Um, already rapidly approaching double figures. And, you know, if you, if, if you want to get, if you want to multi-buy, you are not restricted. I don't think there's any restriction on any item today. So if you want to stock up and get... I don't know, 44 carats of spinel, maybe 66 carats nice of spinel. Of them. Oh, wouldn't yeah. that be amazing? Yeah. I'll leave it with you. I'm only moving on just because of time and I want to squeeze in as much as you can. The rest of the hour is available on pre-order. Loads of sterling silver. So we've got lobster claws, magnetic clasps, we've got chains, we've got bolt rings, toggles. Yeah, all sorts. So do have a little look on the website. Dan is loitering. What are you loitering for, Dan? You're passing in That's some lovely, lovely sterling lovely silver. There cool. he is, in beautiful Ooh. silver, in lovely rose gold. Should Ooh. we start with this one, actually? Should we do it? Because everybody, everybody needs their chains. I'm going to show you the sterling. And the first ones we brought you, actually, the sterling silver chains that we had sold out, I think. Um, so if you want your uh, the three different colours, so if you want the gold, rose gold and the silver, today's the day, because there they are. I'm going to start with the silver, but you will need to be quick on these. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the investment of sterling silver within this. Huh. What we're about to bring to your screens right now, I think, is beyond wholesale. You know, sometimes you can get... Whole, you, you, when you buy wholesale, you can get a great price point, but you have to buy X amount. Yes. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. You have to buy X amount. You might need to buy 50, I don't know, or 100, which is quite an investment for uh, for most of us jewellery makers. Yeah, I mean, that, that would... Also, sorry, you've got a message for who? <laughs> Teresa... Um, oh, okay. Yeah, as we say, we did do demos yesterday. It was hints and tips across all of the tools. So actually, got quite a few. Um, got quite a few. And you've got more demonstrations at twelve o'clock. Yes. Um, there you go. Um, okay. Um, Four pounds and twenty-five pence only. I mean, you would have to buy to get that kind of price point. I reckon you probably have to get yeah, about fifty think, or a hundred. You know, I'm thinking of. Uh, I mean, she doesn't get them as much now. But Lola used to, you know, like Claire's accessories and things oh. that are. A base I get line. dragged into that shop and there's and nothing screaming. there for that price of anything any of those necklaces or anything is no. it? and that's, that's a that's a base metal plastic yeah yeah plastic beads yes and yeah. they last five minutes yeah I know it Claire it's Willow's one of Willow's favorite shops so oh. I, I'm going through that 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 phase I'm like look stop looking at it <laughs> mommy literally works for jewelry maker seriously <laughs> four pounds and 25 that's pence only yeah. yeah stock up your stash today we always have a need for them don't we um this one in particular because it's a cable chain it's much more o oval links um so you could easily put something like a featherweight headpiece yes, through there yeah yeah Pop it actually into the link itself, yeah. Yeah, if you wanted it stationed. Um, okay, let's move on to, let's do the rose. There it is. Again, people do have preferences, don't they? We, we've spoken about this before, Claire, haven't we? I know that um, you'll mix all of your metals. I do, yes, I like, I like mixing. I do like mixing them, and I think it's a nice look. Um, you know, that, so I, I would put, I would absolutely put a sterling silver um, pendant on, on rose gold as well. I think it's sometimes there's a nice... Contrast. Nice contrast, yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah. 18 inches in your rose gold plating. Most jewellery houses, though, will charge you a premium for one of the rose or the yellow gold mm. because it's precious metal on precious metal. If you look at Alex Monroe, for example, they charge, I don't know how much it is these days, but um, it's, a good, it's, a, it's a good 20 pound on top. Um, keep dialing through for that one. I love this next one. It's so yeah, pretty. Me too. This is beautiful. It, look, at, look, it's caressing, isn't it? So it gorgeous. literally caresses the bust. Now, there are only oh, 100. When this was brought to air last, over 400 of these flew out for very good reason. Look how the light literally glides 
You know, look at this. It, it, it's not a snake chain. This is a curb chain, but it's one of those tightly knit curb chains. It's so lovely. Um, so you have that lovely liquid light luster, buttery yellow gold. Absolutely beautiful. Today, this is crazy. The final 100 of these. Ooh. If there's any of them left, I'm joining you on that. And do you know what? I would wear that as a necklace. Definitely. I don't think it needs any additions. Um, beautiful, precious metal, wonderful sort of 18 karat gold like luster, stunning, stunning. £4.44, that, that is incredible. You know, and we, and I do, I'm deliberately avoiding the conversation, but I'm going to say it. You know, we've done price comparisons and we, we do our very, very, very best to actually bring you, I can't say we achieve it every single time because we don't, but, um, you know, but if you look at some of our competitors, can you get gold plated 925 sterling silver for £4.44? Um, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I would be surprised if you found it elsewhere. Well done, everybody. Do check out. Keep on dialing through. Got a lot to get through, remember? Um, so stay where you are. Remember, this hour is all about lovely sterling silver. So I've got some lobster claw class to bring you. Oh, the big ones, yeah. Um, now, you might choose one of these maybe visually because it fits the design or the cut of your gemstones, if you like. But also, they're a lot easier to open and close. So if you um, have dexterity issues or something like that, then you might find a larger and lobster the, um, the interchangeable, I'm really sorry, I can't remember whose name it was, or entry um, in the uh, Wall of Fame this morning, wasn't it? With the, you know, it had the interchangeable, um, was it, they got the... the, the Jada and then the amber. So these would work very well for that, wouldn't they? You know, you have your interchangeable pendant on a long... Oh, yes, from the Wall of Fame. I know which yes. one you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah which was a love, really lovely, lovely design. Beautiful. Be great if you wanted to do that. We don't see them very often. You get three of these big and the measurement is 14 millimeters so it's actually one of the biggest lobster yeah. claws that we actually do it works great with your i mean you choose a heavier lobster claw if you're working with heavier gemstones yes. for example yes. to yeah. support it and make sure you know that it's going to stay secure you get all three for five pounds and 29 pence you know look at that look at the size of those you know, if you're working with something like your big um, tumbles or something like that. Yeah, yeah. We've had, and, and maybe like uh, heavier gemstones, you know, maybe if you want some of the heat tight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, need to, you need to have the investment in the class. Again, flying out the door, well done. Heather, Susan, hello to you, Janice, Selena, Lavinia, hello to you, Barbara, Hampshire, Claire, Lorraine, Erica, uh, Fiona, Valerie, hello, Michelle, hello, Julie, hello to you, North Yorkshire, Jeanette, Gordon, hello to you, uh, Nicolette, Brenda, Gabrielle, I can't keep up, honestly, there's loads of you there. Stock up, I, I mean, we bring you as much sterling silver as we can throughout uh, uh, sort of throughout the course of each week, month, year. Um, but the bigger sizes like this are very rare, really on your screens. Um, if you're thinking, I like the lobster claw, but they're not for me. I want something a little bit smaller. Or you're using this day wisely and you're just stocking up your stash. There are only 44 because lots of you have pre-ordered. Well done. Oh my goodness me, that's low, Liam. I use these for things like charms as well, attaching your charms. Hang on. A pound? That's a pound per it? sterling silver That's lobster so claw. That's so good. Oh, they're only 44 though. Oh. That's so good. So that might be a nice size. You know, um, seen that little, um, the wish bracelets that have got findings on them? Mm. They'd be a nice size for that. Like this? Yeah. Amazing. That's all right. Just like that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was the bigger one, but you get the same idea. You could scale yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah. Um, I tell you what, should we do some bolt ring clasps? Because clearly you're, in, you're, you're shopping for clasps. Um, bolt ring clasps, again, it's all down to aesthetics, of course. Um, you know, what do you think looks... It will complement your beautiful design. But also, some people would prefer one shape to another. I mean, hang on a minute. There's 10 here, 7 millimetres in their size, £8.99 pence. What are you doing? Is that not the price, Liam? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Is it just me that's shocked by that? It's, it's really easy, isn't it, to, to forget about um, findings like this, but you've, Liam. Got to, you've got to have them. Liam! <laughs> These are 925 silver. I know you've been away for a bit. <laughs> I know you've been away. No, it's not base metal. 
They are 925 sterling silver. Oh, it's gone very quiet. It's quite yeah. unnerving. Silly Billy. I mean, there's no going back now, Liam, is there? But I almost feel like, you know, you maybe just, you've lost touch somewhat. It's all good. It's good. It's great for the customers. That's 39p. That's wonderful, isn't it? 40. If we so, round it up. so useful. So, yes. That's a no brainer. That's one of those, even if you've got loads of Boltman class in your stash, well, I might as well. I might as well because I know I'm going to use them. You know, what's, what's the old saying? You can't make an omelette without cracking eggs. You know, to be honest, you kinda, you, you're more than likely going to need to have a Boltman class when you're jewelry making, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. It's a terrible analogy, isn't it? <laughs> well, no, it's not because it, it's, it's it, yeah, sort of, isn't it? <laughs> But you will need them, won't These you? These are good eggs, yes. Yeah. Good eggs? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Liam, how many have we got? There's about 40 left, says Liam, so we'll move on. Right, amazing. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. Um, crimp beads, we'll have a little look for crimp beads for you. Who was that? Who was asking? <laughs> Chantal will ask for you. Uh, we'll have a little look for you. Magnetic clasp. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Love the magnetic clasp. Oh, well, this is nice pretty. To have these findings. Really and I like useful. seeing this size. It's yes. smaller than normal. Yeah. Eight millimeters. Oh, isn't that beautiful? We often bring you like the pearls mm. you've had today. You know, magnetic clasp, um, they revolutionise jewellery wear. I say it every single time. Um, obviously, if you've got a pacemaker, then do avoid. Um, but, yeah, if you struggle with any clasp, your toggles, your bolt rings or your lobster claws, then, um, yeah, 100% the magnetic class is the way forward perfect for brave i'm thinking like some uh, you know we've had some really lovely um rich blues haven't we and the, and the black gemstones which would go fabulously with um with that class with, you know with the and they look lovely don't they yes. they're very tidy and yes. neat i think yeah they are um oh we don't have any crimp beads however but you have got crimp beads with a loop says liam they are a bit different okay are they um like like collot are they Collots. Or are you talking about wire guardians? Have they got a, are they a ball with a loop on? They're a crimp bead, but they've got a little loop. Oh, okay. So kind of like a wire guardian, but but they go back to one crimp. Does that make sense? I think this is I think I've got what Liam's describing. If they are what I'm describing, that's genius. Oh. Hang on. Yes. Oh, so you loop your thread round. Is that right? I don't know. Oh, so you don't need to add your jump ring. Does that make sense? Oh, they're good, not? aren't they? Yeah. What a great idea. Well, I've not seen these before, hence why we're being so vague. Basically, you put your thread in there, crimp that bit down, and that's then brilliant. that's to go on your clasp. These are genius. Or just glue your cord straight in. Absolutely, you could do that too. I've never seen these. Um, they are the only crimp tubes that we've got in stock at the moment. Um, technically, they are brand new. Um, oh, I like these. They weren't yes, even it looks enabled. Like they're open the at the top, doesn't it? So yeah, you just feed your um, your beading thread through, and then and then crimp it. That's that's so really even, good. You don't need to add a jump ring. <gasps> Um, Pauline's asking for teal or green tigers out. We'll have a little look, lovely. We will have a little look. Bear with oh, us. Oh, I love those. They're about to sell out. That's genius. Yeah. How has nobody invented that before? Or maybe they have and we're just out of the That's loop. That's brilliant. Um, amazing. Um, let's do the silver magnetic clasp. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I love these. I just think they're really tidy as well. As yes. clasp, they're really tidy. Yeah. And they just follow, especially if you're working with rounds, they're just going to follow the, the flow, aren't they? Yeah. Well, here we go. I'm going to go with the black just because it's easier to pick up. Look. Yeah, perfect. It, it, it does. It, it gives you that beautiful, mm. seamless, uninterrupted yes. yeah. uh, piece of jewellery. £5.99 only. 
How amazing is that? Again, let me just show you how a magnetic clasp actually works. Um, you know, sometimes it's really difficult to put bracelets and necklaces on. Um, basically, with a magnetic clasp, again, hold it in the same vicinity. Ready? Whoop, whoop. There we go. It is that simple. Um, all of our colleagues over on our sister channel also wear your magnetic clasp. They do that just so they can, you know, quickly change their costume changes, if you like, of their jewellery pieces. Um, it's the magnetic clasp that uh, um, assists them to do that. Keep on dialing through. There are 20 left of those. So, again, be quick checking out your basket. Um, moving on, I have got a, a little findings pack. Yeah, that's these. These are lovely. Liam, have you, have you just been reading the stuff that you shouldn't have? Basically, yes, he says. Well, at least he's not well, these denying These are very it. elegant, aren't they? Um, it's a nice twist on, on them. Well, you'll get told off, Liam. That's what they'll do. Here we go. Look at those. These are nice. Again, like we said with the crimps, it, normally you'd have to wrap loop a, um, you know, a, a, I don't know, a head pin or something like that to create these opera length earrings. It's all done. It's all done. Oh, um, my word. Wow. Butterfly backs as well. You can see the investment of your 925 sterling silver. Please tell me this quantity of these because I want some of these. 43 remaining. Literally just attach your gemstone or That's whatever you wish on the front, bottom. Yeah. How lovely are these? Liam's been naughty. Shouldn't have had them again, but he says what they're going to do. I'm not a regular producer, so I can't really... That conversation would literally fall on deaf ears, wouldn't it? Um, Lorraine, Veronica, Yvette, Fiona. Hello to you, Susan and Brian. Samantha, Karen. Hello to you, Lavinia, Cheryl, Karen, Jeanette, Jacqueline. You've got to check them out. Don't, oh, gone. Deal. Well done. Love those. Love, love, love those. Um, okay. Let's bring you... Rose gold space bee. Brought you the yellow earlier on. Think they sold out. I love a spacer bead. Mm. Don't underestimate these little spacer beads because they create... It's like your little melee diamonds, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Yeah, it is. And, you know, maybe if you've got the tanzanite, they'd work beautifully with that. The pinky tones in there. Brand new low on um, wonderful blush rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. Brand new low. And when we consider they were last on air at 5.99. Oh, three, no, look, 3.99. And you could do, um, if you could put your stretchy elastic through, they work really, you know, and you make um, stacker rings, they work really beautifully for that. 3.99 oh, no, they've never been yeah. that price point yeah. clearly that is yeah. a brand new low 5.99 was already absolutely amazing yeah it's it you know wish oh well adam's showing a really lovely stacker style bracelet just a mm. couple of them dotted in between yeah. how beautiful how beautiful and you and i are big fans aren't we of the sort of that, that you know that tennis that delicate, style yes, yes. um design I how about incorporating either. just little touches in amongst claire's beautiful pearl with everything won't they yeah yeah absolutely yeah. Let's do you the gold, uh, bring you the gold version as well. Whee! Do you see that? That's impressive. <laughs> Don't be too impressed because I'll probably throw the that next lot all impressive. over, all over the desk. Um, here we go. Uh, now these, um, okay, shows that last auction was wrong because their price has actually been locked. Five ninety nine. Mm. Yeah, so we shouldn't have taken the previous parcel, uh, the, the previous spaces, sorry, for three ninety nine. Um, these are locked at five ninety nine. We can't go any lower. I'm not so it's still a great deal, let's be honest. Look, you've got gold plated nine two five sterling Absolutely, silver. Yeah. I'd still be all over that. Yeah, with the spinel I'd put that with that yeah. nice. And the tanzanite. Yeah, yeah. Don't be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Again, uh, have we got quantity? Thirty left. 30 of them left. Make sure you do check out because people are getting twos, threes, fours. Well done. Um, okay. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Not a single space of bead loss. Um, now, we haven't got silver, but we have got gold what? Crimp covers. Oh, these are the covers for the crimp. Yeah, okay. So they look like little Pac-Man. Um, um. I feel like I haven't seen these for so long. Yeah, it has been a while, Claire. Yeah. What do yeah. we do with these 
So they're, they're funny good. looking beads. So they're, they're really good for um, obviously going around your, your crimp tubes, but you can add them in. Um, say if you make a piece and you, you've done it all, but then you've got a little bit of, I don't know, beading thread showing, you can add those in, um, uh, you know, afterwards. You don't have to undo the whole thing and they're going to take up space and act like a spacer bead like that. You can add them to um, at the end of threads, um, you know, like cord bracelets, if you want to just add that precious metal detail onto wish bracelets, they work really well there. That's what they do, don't yes, they? Yeah, um, just go around like that, yeah. Um, they do, well look, they look, they, they, they look, um, they look like little Pac-Men. Um, <laughs> yeah, do a good sound, of, if you've got it in your head, the sound effect. Um, and yeah, they sort of, they, they, they kind of eat the crimp, Yes, there you do. go. Yeah. Uh, Adam's showing you a photograph now. So it basically then looks really neat. Instead of having just like a squash bead, which and is what a crimp is. it's softer, isn't it? It's rounded it's not edges. Yeah. Yeah. Not a scratchy. Gives you that professional look. I think so many of you already know this, but obviously for the benefit of people that are new to jewellery making, amazing. Keep dialing through. These are flying out. Clearly, we haven't brought them to air for a while. Um, shall we do... Uh, let's do some mounts, because we often bring you beautiful loose stones, calibrated stones... Um, you're going to love, oh, this is a bit of you and me, this is. All right, all right, Wayne. You sound just like Wayne. That's a, that's a Wayne noise, that is. Hang on, what am I meant to be holding? Not this. But, actually, would be perfect for me to show you the two together. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the pendant's coming up. Oh, look. Look at that quality. Six pounds. In fact, that's sold out. Well done, Victoria. Congratulations. Well done, Mandy. Um, let's do that pendant with this really beautiful, elegant split bale. Um, so you can see it's to fit nine millimeter round gemstones. So I could put a pearl in here if I wanted to. Yeah, if you could. Yeah. Or a cabochon. Yes. Yeah. So because we've got that. To you, isn't it? See how high the, um, the stone is and then... Yeah, with the prongs. I mean, look at the look at the amount of sterling silver that's been invested into this. Look, wait, you can get both today for twelve pounds. Remember, we've got stones coming up as well in the twelve o'clock hour. So if you get your mounts, you you know you've you've got it you've got it there. It is super 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 busy. Well, so many items are selling out. Well done, Yvette, Victoria, well done to you, Pauline, Gary, Lorraine, Pauline, Zena, hello to you, Linda, amazing. Make sure you check out your baskets. Uh, amazing. Okay, can we do the rose gold? No. Earring hooks, no. I don't see those. Should we do the rose gold ring? Sorry, I just realised I was sinking down. Um, there we are. Hang on, Liam, I'm so confused. What are we doing now? I've just done the gold one, haven't I? So I think it was the, yeah, I think the, it was rose gold before, wasn't it? Was the, it? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's the same, the same I'm sorry. Look, though, isn't it, in the... they, are the, they are literally the same, but um, yeah. So right now I'm bringing you the gold one. The previous auction was the rose gold. My bad, I picked up the wrong one. Um, well done, Victoria. Yeah, amazing. So you can see the difference. You've got the yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver and you've got the rose gold sold out. Well done. Congratulations. Um, amazing. No, it's not your fault. Anymore. Okay. Shall we do... No. The only thing I've got, I've got a rose gold pendant. Let's do that to match. It's the same really as the one we had previously. So I've got the rose gold uh, pendant, again, to fit your nine millimeter stone with a good, described as a rabbit bale. Little rabbit ears. Sweet, aren't they? Six pounds only. Look at the investment of precious so metal. Good. Yeah. All right, we're gonna squeeze three more auctions in this hour. And then the next hour, super exciting. It's all premieres, brand new items that have never been on your screens before. There's loads to squeeze in. Um, hematite crosses, we've got, what, did you, what else do you say, Liam? Um, agates, brand new agates to bring you as well. Um, What's that lovely big stone there? Oh, that's a fluorite. Oh. That is a fluorite um, with, a, with a pendant bale. Yeah, there's just tons, all brand new premier opportunities. Amazing. Angelite coming up at under £10. I mean, how amazing is that? Um, gorgeous Dan's passing me something. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh! 
Oh, oh, there they are. There's the rose gold shepherd hooks. Oh, again, I don't. I can't think of the last time I've seen. Um, it's been a while, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Come on. There we are. Nine two five sterling silver, rose gold. Um, do you know what we're making in this auction? Nothing. Friends. Friends. Yes. Oh, we are. We're making friends. Friends with lovely earrings. Exactly. Four pound ninety nine. That's not just for per pair. Um, per, per pair. That is for six pairs. I beg your pardon. Six pairs of these. How beautiful. Snap them up. We know they're essential. Um, the quality. Yeah. The, the quality of the findings that we bring you, I think, is second to none. Would yeah. you agree? Yeah. Look at that. That's a lovely detail, isn't it? Just that. You can see the quality, yeah. can't you? You know, lesser grade, almost, well, I don't know, they're not as lustrous. They, um, they can be a little bit untidy, I think, shepherd hooks, if they, were, if they weren't finished so, perfectly. Yeah, flash. Of, yeah. yeah. A low price like point, that, but not yeah. low quality. No, definitely not. Oh, that's just brilliant. I know, so stock good. up. It's super yeah. duper duper busy on the web and on the phone lines. Amazing, well done. Keep dialing through. There's only about 20 of those left. Now I can squeeze two more auction. I've got a lovely little bunny rabbit. He is very, very, very cute. The detailing on this is absolutely amazing. Um, ah, Easter's around the corner though, isn't yeah. it? You know, so instead of giving chocolate, or both, give both. And it, it, it is, is it? It's the year of the rabbit. Oh. Uh, look, look. Oh, he's really sweet. Uh, this, this brings back childhood memories because I used to love watching um, Watership Down, even though it is harrowing. Yeah, it's I don't think I had sad. the book and that was the book of the film. It was pretty sad, wasn't it? Yeah. But look, Easter's around the corner, of course, and also it's the year of the rabbit. There we go. Um, you know it's not stopping here. Look at how sweet. Little cottontail, amazing. Um, oh, often people like, like elephants. We had elephants yesterday, oh, didn't good, we? It? it can be a favourite gemstone, uh, a favourite animal, rather, can't it? If you were that's to ask good. Willow that... what's a favourite animal, she would either say a rabbit or a cat. Aww. Yeah. So this would be really sweet, I think, for a maybe. That's ever such a good price, isn't it? Six ninety nine. Yeah. Pop into that charm shop, see if you can get a little bunny for six ninety nine. So many of you need to check out your baskets. It's the year of the oh. rabbit. Easter's round the corner, of course. So yeah, instead of I don't know, giving maybe. Less, uh, 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 there's several Easter eggs that are more than that, aren't there? Most Easter yes. eggs. Yeah. And the ones that are more affordable. I'm sorry, I could do that in a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> True though, <laughs> true though. You know when you like the pound eggs, which are great, but they're mostly box, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and you're like, oh, let's <laughs> do the whole lot. Um, I have got some lovely toggles. Yeah. Um, here we go. Oh yeah, what was I, Adam? I can't remember what I was. What year? <laughs> Seventy-eight, Liam. Not 1914, you cheat. That's right, I'm a horse. What yeah. am I? 76. A dragon. Ah. Ooh, how exciting. How exciting. Um, so here we go 925 sterling silver, beautiful beaded, oh, like very these. Van Cleef and Arpels inspired, don't you think, with that wonderful beaded detail that you often see in the Alhambra? Um, so yeah, you're getting both of them as well. So there's two of these. You know it's going under, tw uh, under £10. Should be. Nine ninety nine. Oh, if you've got the pearls from earlier, oh. they, these would be ideal, wouldn't they? They would. Look how lovely they are. Is that is that silversmith work? Seven ninety nine only. I love a toggle class, but these are a toggle with a difference because you've got the triple rose. Can you see that? So if you wanted these to be like a multi layer necklace, you could, yes, you know. yes, you could. I'm just thinking earrings as well. There's loads oh, yeah. of different ways, isn't there? With that, because I do like that beaded. That beaded details the really Van Cleef and Arpels. Yes. Without the Van Cleef and Arpels price yeah. tag. Mm. I much prefer seven ninety nine. Yeah, me too. Um, we were, I was chatting about this last night with Tom. I was like, if, if we won, like, say, the Euro millions or something mm. like that, would we spend the money, like Tom likes watches, would we spend that amount of money on those kind of things? And I was like, I don't think I could. I think I'd probably treat myself to one. I'd like, have a, a good nice, go. I'd have a nice watch. 
I yeah. would have a nice watch. And obviously, you, you it may be like house. But I don't think I would spend, even, that, even with that wealth, tens of thousands of pounds on pieces of jewellery. I don't know. You don't know, do you? Because it's so far removed from my world. I don't know. Yeah. It's one of them. I don't know. Um, keep on darling through, everybody. Absolutely amazing. We've still got two hours of these amazing under £10 deals. We've still got loads to bring you. We've got beautiful pearls still to bring you. We've got brown. Well, next hour is uh, exclusively premieres. Never been Ooh. on your screens. And um, we've got a wonderful masterclass with our lovely Claire coming up as well at 12 o'clock. So don't go anywhere. Back after this. <laughs> My name's Yvonne Froelich and I'm from Somerset uh, and I'm part of the competition for Britain's Next Gem. A friend introduced me to Jewellery Maker and at that time I was um, playing about with beads and well in fact I tried it all um, from polymer clay to macrame to comahimo to everything and then I said to my husband look I've seen this workshop that's come up and it was a 10 week uh, silversmithing course and that was how it started and onwards and upwards from then on so be careful it is addictive. I entered this competition simply because I saw the um, the advert and then I thought well why not so I sent in my application and I was invited along with others um, to Jewellery Maker for the first audition and that's where it all started then we were asked to come back the second time we were met by staff when we got there and everyone was so friendly they put us at ease um, we were given bits and pieces we were able to decide what we were going to make and then we went into the studio which was all very scary and we were interviewed we met uh, Hannah Osborne was uh, looking after us and asking us questions and we were working away uh, and we were with Elle that day and um, yet yeah, so that was our, our first um, flavour of being on screen. My collection stems from a piece that I took with me to the first audition. It's where I set a stone in a bezel, then I drill a bigger stone uh, and set that inside and set the bottom stone again in another bezel. One of the other things I like to do, as well as setting stone on stone, is when I set a cabochon into a bezel, I like to cut out a pattern on the back so that um, it's interesting from the back and the front. I get my inspiration from quite a number of places. Um, mostly is because I like learning new techniques. Um, since I've started jewellery making, I've got this thirst for learning new things. It's what keeps me going, it's what keeps driving me. And every time I learn a new technique, then I get new ideas. It would be, mean the world to me if the viewers voted for me. Um, it would be a dream come true. I hope that the, I might inspire other people who have been watching Jewellery Maker and watching people doing their silversmithing, making their jewellery, even making a business out of it, but they're on the telly and I can't possibly do that. I'd like to tell you that actually you can. So please vote for me. I'd be absolutely delighted.
just been admiring some of the um, amazing strands that we have got coming up. And there's, there's strands in here that don't go under £10. Yeah, definitely not. In particular, the one I have before me, Angelite, which was discovered, or, or yeah, discovered in 1987. So it's one of the babies in the gemstone world. The year of the rabbit. Is that short? Is that a coincidence? Got to be. Um, completely and utterly natural. We could, more than likely, Claire, count on these digits how many times we bring angelite to air. Absolutely, yeah. But whenever we do, it's super, super, super popular. And it has named angelite. You can see that connection. I think visually that, you know, that connection is there because you've got this really beautiful heavenly azure blue that occurs completely and utterly naturally. It was discovered in Peru. You can also get like a greenish angelite. Um, but again, that's, that's as rare as, 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 as hen's teeth. Um, likewise, the blue though is also very, very rare. But it's a beautiful stone. How on earth is this under ten pounds? Well, it's brand new, and at that size and that length of, of strand, isn't it? I mean, yeah, and it's like nothing else. No, it's so distinctive, yeah, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Do you know? I don't think it takes me to say how amazing this deal is. I think you already know that, um, because how many times do we ever bring it at a single figure price tag? This a strand like this would probably be twenty pounds in my head anyway. Um, if we've got a deal, you get a deal. We will bring you, we will pass on that deal price point. Look at the beautiful quality of colour. It's soft. It's, 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 I don't know, you gravitate it do, towards it, don't you think? It's calming, isn't it? It's a lovely, it's a really wonderful hue. And for me, if you're craving the summer days, you know where you have these beautiful, pristine azure blue skies? Yes, yeah. Then it's that visual in a gemstone. I felt there was potential for that, though, today, when it was so light and, and bright. Still cold, morning. wasn't it? It was cold, but it was just lighter. And I just yeah. thought, yes, we're, we're not far Spring is coming. Now. Yeah. It's round the corner. Yeah. How many did we manage to secure of these then, Liam? We have 150 opportunities. It has never been on your screens before. Um, and I, I know here, let me show you a great, great, great deal. 28 pounds and 99 pence. Flick through this, Liam. Yeah, look at this. So there's a necklace that I found. I can't remember where I found that, but Angelite 14 karat gold fill from where? Never. Oh, Caffin and K. Yeah, there we go. So gold filled, £240. It's a beautiful necklace. And by the way, if you love that prism, we've got something like that coming up as well a little bit later on, but in a, in a gold stone, which will go beautifully, I think, alongside mm, the angelite, would, don't yeah. you? What about simple stretchy bracelets? Look at this, £180. It's beautiful. Granted, they're bigger. But you can see the quality of the colour, can't you? We're at twenty eight ninety nine, and you know we're not stopping there. Um, we, I could genuinely, we don't do showcases of Angelite, or, or very, very, very rarely do we get that opportunity. We'd all fall over ourselves to get involved on an Angelite showcase, but it's so limited globally. 200 carats today and today only brand new premiere opportunity and moving forward by the way if you do see this strand it's not going to be under 10 pounds because that is not our guide price that we very rarely listen to anyway but it won't be under 10 pounds this is something that you know should at least be i'm good, in my head anyway what do you think claire 15 definitely, 20 definitely, if not more yeah definitely Am I being, am I sort of... No, I think it's a, and it, and it just, it, it, as it was over the, um, over the back of the stand, it, it sort of calls to you, doesn't it? Because it is that, it nothing, there is nothing else like it, that, it's that tone, it's, it's totally It's quite individual. sentimental, I think, this stone. Yeah, it's, just, it's soft, it's lovely. You've got yeah. so many different connections, it's obviously summertime vibe with the lovely azure blue, but I also, when I look at Angelite, and I know this is a, a, um, a gemstone that Sarah Bennett used a lot in her collection as well, but, um, but you've got lots of sentiments behind it. it 
might be, you might associate it to sort of lost loved ones, for example, because of the word angel, obviously. It's got that heavenly-like appearance. It's just so beautiful, but actually one of the babies in the gemstone world. So it was only discovered, well, it's younger than me, discovered in 1987. Same age as you, Adam, isn't it? Yeah? Same age as our, um, as our uh, director, Adam. The final 47, well done, Nicolette, jo Linda, Georgina and Edwin, Gary, Yorkshire, Samantha, Riley. Lovely. We've got f over 40 items to bring you this hour. So, um, but just going back to that lovely necklace, Goldstone, it's not drilled, so you'd need to do a bit of wire work, yeah, yeah, you? Or yeah, wire or, or silver wire, smithing. Yeah, yeah. We've got a big quantity. Goldstone is a man-made stone. Um, and basically, it's kind of like it, you've got all these beautiful little... Yeah, it does look like, like my nails. Yeah, you've kind of got these little uh, mica uh, dustings inside. Mig, uh, this is like the midnight blue, which is my personal favourite. So it's quite hypnotising, I think. You know, you know mm. sometimes that we have those cosmic occurrences where they say, you know, get outside, look at the starry sky. You might be having amazing shooting stars or... Um, Different yeah. moons and, yeah. It, yeah it's, it's amazing, vibe, isn't it? Hasn't but it's it? got, yes, exactly. It yeah, has that vibe. Yeah. Um, but you have this lovely... Uh, double pointed prism um, in terms of that necklace that we were just showing you there um, many people who are into the metaphysical side of gems uh, of, ge of jewelry rather will wear and I know this is a man-made gemstone but um, they believe it channels the energy of the gemstone well this could still channel the energy of the angelite couldn't it um, if that is of your belief we've got a big quantity of these you won't believe it 2.99 that's very good isn't it even if you just sort of gave it as a gift in a little bag, it's something really nice. It's cool, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Just a nice little object. Yeah. You know, like you have palm stones and things like that. You could wire wrap it onto a ring, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Either way. Tell you what, it's under £10, eh? Should we positively give them away? Seriously. I love Goldstone, and it's all you know. Whatever floats your boat. If you want, uh, if you want natural gemstones, you know, oh, absolutely yeah. we'll bring them to you. Um, but if you love, if you embrace things like your seed beads and your Swarovskis uh, and your man-made components, then Goldstone is absolutely one for you. Um, it's visually super, super, super beautiful. I love it, and even in natural light, you get this wonderful, this constant twinkling, this amazing movement um, from those sort of starry like inclusions one pounds and 79 pence that's brilliant isn't it even if you're not sure what to do with it i think at that price that's um well we said it the other day about just having little gemstones in a bowl yeah and that's a really interesting shape isn't yeah. it? really interesting shape my girl my girls would just say oh treasure Yes, That's what they say. it is treasure. Oh, treasure. Yeah. Um, amazing. Um, incredible. Congratulations. Right then. Uh, again, a brand new premiere. Let's do... Go back to the hematite. <gasps> These will fly. These will fly. Never been on your screens before. You've, done, you've seen versions of. These are These just are so, so, so cool. Um, so hematite in your lovely crosses. I love them. Absolutely love them. These are brilliant. Brand new. That's, that's pendants, isn't it? Yeah. Pendants, earrings. Charms. I mean, they look lovely like on the strand like that, but that's an individual. That's, a, that's like a parcel, isn't it? Totally. Oh, that's three pounds ninety nine. Goodness me. How many do we have then, Liam? We had a hundred available opportunities. Um, yeah, of course. I, I knew you'd I, I knew you'd love these. They're absolutely beautiful. Easter, obviously, yeah. So, but not you know whether you wear your uh, um, uh, cross for faith reasons, obviously, or you wear it as a fashion accessory. Um, you know, I don't think anybody's in a place to say you're right or wrong. Absolutely beautiful and so um, so easily incorporated into your jewellery making. You know, rosary linking, for example, um, would be absolutely amazing. Uh, Yorkshire Walden, Avon, Merthyr Tidfil, Wiltshire, uh, Ron the Cullen. Taff, hello to you, Samantha. Hi, Emma in Blind Gwent. Hello to you, Nikki. Hello to you, Karen. Hello to you, uh, North Yorkshire. Olga, Sandra, Elaine. So busy today. It has been busy from the very get-go. And that speaks volumes, Claire, doesn't it? Our call screen, our call screen, everybody bar one person has checked out. 
That speaks volumes. Yeah. That speaks volumes. That's an amazing um, deal. Yeah, amazing. More premieres. Oh, I've been eyeing this, this strand up. I feel like I haven't seen a strand like this for a, a, a lovely black Moons. agate for a long, long time. This, I think this would probably be probably the most useful strand that you would have. Yeah, with your pearls. It's going to go with everything, isn't it? Stretchy bracelets. You could knot it. You can work it with any other colour, any metals. And it's a more affordable option to your black jade eye, isn't yeah. it? You know, yeah. I love black jade. I, I've purchased black jade out from Jewelry Maker as well, but it's one of those that, it, you know, it, there's a, it's a certain price point, isn't it? And, that's yeah. because, and it's justified. It's an amazing price point. Um, however, that's all down to the rarity of it. Um, these are, this is, of all the black gemstones, do you think black, you might think black is black. It's not, I, I, it's not always the case because there are different colours. Yeah, it's different, there. yes. Um, yeah. Right, this is like a, Jet black, wet luster. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, Liam's saying in my ear, Elle, every, it's that midday lull. No, we can't have a, we can't have a, uh, no, can't have that lull. Sorry, mid morning lull. No, 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 we can't have that. What's he going to do? He's going to bring everyone back. Eight millimetres. Think Marlas, think stretchy bracelets, think Ing amongst your pearls, think long line necklace, think, think Mary Quant inspiration, think about your uh, kiss cross, think about your macarame. Is there any I'm missing out here? Um, I, I just, I like, it's Marks, isn't it? It's the, the, the kiss cross. Yes. And, and what you could use any colour. Thinking about the orange that these. we had before. Oh, yeah. That would look nice. I'm yeah. getting these. I love black gemstones. I think they look absolutely so amazing, especially with pearls. And we brought yeah. you some amazing pearls today. Who wants them under £10? But not just by a little bit. There they all are, Liam. You, you weren't falling asleep. You might be getting peckish now, and it's that, it's that time in between breakfast and lunch where you start thinking about your, 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 your lunch or what you're having. Some, are you having a nice soup or crust, and a crusty roll? Are you having a sandwich? or Beans on you, toast. All right, I've got to stop talking about it now. Cheese on toast. Cheese on toast. Jacket potato. Oh, yeah. Lovely. £3.49. Get hold of your beautiful black agate. I love it. It's probably the... This is... The most lustrous of your of your of your black gemstones. You know, if you think about yes. jet, it's yeah. quite opaque. Um, black uh, type A black jade eye is technically more of a greenish black than it is a jet black. You know, your spinel, yes, that is. I think that gives you um, gives you an option, and certainly your onyxes. But they wouldn't be three pounds no, forty nine. It's not going to be at that price. No, definitely not. Um, look at the quantity. We had a big quantity of them, and we're already into double figures. Um, Valentina, Erica, hello to you, Pauline, Victoria, Penny, Somerset, Diane, Christine. Thank you, gorgeous Dan. Thank you very uh, much. Glory, no, uh, Gloria, well done to you. Uh, <laughs> I say Gloria, Glor yeah, Gloria, Gary, Suzanne. It was me trying to say people's names all together at once. Um, it doesn't always work. Um, make sure you check out. And again, you're not restricted on the quantity. If you want to multi buy, you absolutely can. Like Lydia, for example, who says, I'll have three at that price tag. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you know what, Lydia, as well, you're only just paying for those three strands. It's only just tiptoed over £10, isn't it, for those three? How amazing is that? Oh, look at all these. Coming up, four millimetre jaspers. Um, is it like an endless strand? A metre? Four mil. Oh. Yeah, those, got them. A little bit turquoise-esque in their appearance. It's not turquoise. It is a genuine gemstone, though. Um, I'm going to go straight down to it. Look at this. You've got to be on it I this hour. I feel like this is going to be quick. This hour it? is going to be a little bit fast and furious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> like Vin Diesel, isn't it? It's going to be gone in 60 seconds. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You've got to be quick with this one. Two pounds. All right, it's not Vin Diesel, but he was the only actor I could think of. Nicholas Cage, there we go. Two ninety nine only. If you know, if you're looking for an alternative to your turquoise and a more affordable price tag, then go for Jasper. It's got quite uh, distinct similarities. Lovely matrix. Um, if everybody checks out, it's already gone. Got to be quick. One well, and Zena, Mirtha Tittle, Fion uh, Fionula. Hello to Samantha, Nikki, Arthur. Well done. Oh, um, I love, I love them. Yeah, I've been eyeing these up yes, as well. Yes, look at this. 
<gasps> Tell me there's quantity, Liam. Every single one of these items are brand new premieres. They've never been on your screens before. <laughs> never been on your screens. Oh, this is lovely. I'd just put those on stretchy, on elastic. Yeah. How they look so nice all together, don't they? Yeah. How beautiful that is. Oh, Claire, we could have one each. Yeah. Go beautiful. That with your black agate. Definitely you with your black agate, yeah. Beautiful hematite with this wonderful buttery yellow gold coating. You've got quite generous drill holes in this. We had over 100, but they're premieres and they're already flying. I'm not surprised. Everything brand new. Everything brand new. Go on, Liam. You can do it. Go on, Liam. <laughs> Three ninety nine, Unbelievable. Liam just says he's just been jumping around the gallery. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. Stretching his legs. You want to do bungee exercising? What's that? Oh, I bet that'd be good fun. <laughs> you get strapped to a bungee that's attached to your roof and then you just jump up and down, OK? So kind of <laughs> like you would do... Kind of like you would do with a baby. <laughs> so that's what <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagine walking in past your house, Liam. And there's, you know, you got your curtains open and there's Liam going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Three ninety nine. <laughs> only, only Liam. Only Liam. Although I mean, I, I, I'd like to say that I have. I, I, you know, I haven't been in that scenario, but I clearly have. You know, I'm quite often caught dancing with the girls, and people walk past. You know. Oh yeah. It's all good. Nothing to see here. Keep walking. Let's keep walking past. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. They're beautiful and they're absolutely flying. Um, should we do some lapis lapis lazuli? Um, Dan, what's the matter? What are you looking for? Gold earrings. I don't have them before you throw... No. Come around, you throw No, your I don't either. Throw in your accusations. <laughs> oh, it's Claire. Ah. Def I promise you it's not. Gold earrings. No, um, 32 carats of beautiful lapis lazuli. Love this. Amazing. If you got the lapis lazuli earlier on this morning, then I think this would be a great addition too as well. £4.99, all brand new premieres from the original location of Source. <laughs> Steeped in history, this is actually Sari Sang lapis lazuli. Keep dialing through, amazing. So though, well done. Uh, Mystic coated hematite in your six mils. We had it earlier on, didn't we? In the, uh, look, I love you, but right now I'm disappointed <laughs> by what I've just heard in my ear. Uh, <laughs> Mystic coated, beautiful hematite rounds. Love this. Look at it. It's like a bouquet of colour, isn't it? A bouquet of colour, 30 centimetres surround you're getting here. And um, with hematite, by the way, you've got very generous drill holes. So um, if you want to use this with your, uh, um, if you want to use this with things like your seed beading, where well, you need to do multiple passes then. Generous drill holes are the way forward. £4.99. Um, uh, you know, hang on a minute, oh, that under looks under £10, pounds day, Liam. Yeah. I think you've just done an under five little section, haven't you? And they're all brand new premieres. How many did we have? 100. Do you know, it looks really elegant, doesn't it? A lot more elegant than I, against the black. Say if you were wearing um, all black outfit and you just had that as a simple necklace. I, Love I really it. like that. Your own little carnival of colour. Mm. You know, because yeah. some people might... I'm, I'm usually one of the people... I will wear very dull clothing, as in black, a lot. Um, but I'll inject colour in my jewellery. Yes, accessories. Yeah, that's how yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, and accessories yeah. or something like that. So, yeah, that's what that's a great opportunity for you to do that. And you know that it all... Also, if you, if you can't put colours together, if, if, it's, um, if, if you find it difficult to put colours together, then this is all done for you. Um, OK, our graphics are crashed. Apparently you're singing, Claire. I'm absolutely not singing. OK. <clears throat> 
What's your guilty pleasure, says Liam? A guilty pleasure? <laughs> um, Liam's guilty pleasure is what? Pitch Perfect 3. Pitch Perfect films are okay. brilliant. I've never seen any of them, right? Oh, they're okay. great. Okay. That's not... I'm glad that that conversation went in that direction. Because I wasn't... <laughs> Oh, with a glass of gin. That oh, sounds very nice. Great. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very nice. There we go. What's your uh, What's your guilty pleasure? Have you got a guilty pleasure? Mine's chocolate. It's got to be chocolate. Uh, or you what? Talking about viewing. Our graphics have just crashed for a second, so do bear with us. I don't know. Guilty pleasures. Glass of wine. Is that really a guilty pleasure? No. I think you're allowed that's to have a glass nice. of wine here and yeah. there. Oh, okay. OK, OK. Oh, all right, then. Oh, yeah, I've got a guilty pleasure, but, pleasure, but um, I'm, like not Dan, really, I'm not Dan really liking... embarrassed. I'm not really embarrassed. I love a bit of Kenny Rogers. Oh, love yeah. Kenny Rogers. Yeah. yeah. Um, guilty pleasure. I quite like cheesy music, that's the thing. I like all music. I like classical music. I like rock music. I like... Uh, heavy metal music and I like cheesy music too, so it's like one of those. Don't know. He likes what? He's just a skater boy. He said Avril Lavigne. Yeah. Yeah. Text him. What's your guilty pleasure? <laughs> we might be able to share those messages when our graphics start playing board. That's because we completely bombarded oh, it. It's actually crashed the system. Um, OK, here's another one. Who's somebody that, um, that you've got a little, little crush on that you maybe shouldn't? A little crush that you maybe shouldn't? Well, mine was the Mick Hucknall one, wasn't it, from years <laughs> ago? Which I, yes. Yeah, that, which could be counted as a guilty pleasure as well. Um, I like Mickey, Mickey Flanagan. Mickey Flanagan's up yeah, there. Yeah, no, I like him. I wouldn't he's feel not guilty about he's that. He's not conventionally, but um, but he's he's to me he's very attractive because he's so funny. He's he's got lovely hair as well. Amazing it? hair uh, and the personality, isn't it? Yeah. Right, are we back? Good, good, good. Because that conversation could have gone so wrong, <laughs> couldn't it? Amazing. Phew. Keep them coming through, though. Liam says, "Hello, Janice. Say my guilty pleasure is melting chocolate and eating it with a spoon." Oh. Oh. oh, with you there, Janet. That sounds amazing. Does that make it less calorific if you melt it? Yeah, I probably. Mean, I may, um, Willow loves like your chocolate spread. And yeah, you know, when you're making the sandwiches and you're like, oh, just have a spoon. I love, you know, that you can get the, um, the jars of the fluff, like, mar like fluff. The mar marshmallows. What's fluff? fluff? Fluff in the jar. What? You've never heard of I've fluff? I've never heard of something called fluff. Oh, it's amazing. It comes in a big, big jar like that, and it's like the inside of walnut whips. Oh. And it, yeah, you just sit there. And is it good, so Ethan? Ethan's nodding. It is. Fluff? It's, I can't believe there is something called fluff. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Is it? Yeah. I mean, it says a thing. You're supposed to put it in sandwiches or something. I mean, it, I just love have, Island. Just sorry. It. Anne. Really, I love you, but really, I, 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 yeah, can't tolerate it either. Can't tolerate you. I love you, Anne. You're an educated, knowledgeable, inspirational. However, love yeah, Holmes on the Hammer, amazing. Bargain hunt, love it. Amazing. Right, then back to the gemstones. Come on. Um, let's do some Dalmatian, Jasper. You know what? If you love Love Island, you watch. Whatever makes you happy at the end of the day. It's not for me. Wait till I see you that way. I just think it's a bit toxic, personally. <laughs> um, there we go. I'll leave that one with you. Let's do some African, Jasper, next. Uh, what size? That one. Amazing. Um, amazing. To be fair, I, sh I shouldn't make that judgment because I don't think I've ever watched an episode in my lifetime, so of Love Island. Um, loving this. Beautiful African Jasper. Yeah, it has got, and I'm not saying it's that gemstone. This is Jasper. It's a gemstone. It's own individual, right? But it has got those similarities, I guess. To like your Tibetan turquoise, yeah, don't nice. you think? Yeah. Um, hello, Nikki. 
Nikki is saying a jar of crunchy oh, biscuits spread yes. with a spoon equals heaven. Oh. Nikki, you and my husband would get along very well. He's obsessed with Biscoff. Biscoff's incredible. Loves it. Yeah. So I, I did have, um, I ate uh, crunchy peanut butter with a spoon last night. That's, that's all right. Yeah, that's what, all how right. much of it though? Uh, I mean a good, <laughs> maybe a quarter of the... Really? Yeah, you, with, I mean, with an apple. So I have oh, that's an apple nice. to wash, yeah, wash yeah, it yeah. down. I was going to say, otherwise your mouth would be yes. cemented together yeah. for, for, yeah. for infinity. Um, here we go. Eleven, we've, we've, our wheels have fallen off. Come on, Liam. It's us that's, for, that's gone to sleep now. Come on. All your premiere deals, £4.75. Amazing. Um, let's do some beautiful Australian zebra jasper next. I love this one. It's absolutely beautiful. You've got quite a lot Ooh, of sparkle. Thinking about this, chocolate wow. and Biscoff and caramels and all those mm. delicious things. Does everybody see? Um, does, I knew I could have answered that for you, Liam. Liam's got a crush on Rebel Wilson. I've always known that. She always mentions her. Um, look how beautiful. That is natural gemstone. Um, you have got, yeah, your mocha, your chocker, your mm. vanilla, yes. your banana. You've got all those delicious yes, colours within. Yeah. Natural gem. How many have we got of these available? Only 44. Very distinctive, isn't it? Re oh, goodness me. Um, brand new premiere. Loads of you getting involved on this one. There we go. <laughs> Penny. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's a lot of uses for peanut butter. Mmm. True. True. For giving your, your dogs their tablets. You're supposed to put it on the, um, like a chewy bone as well, aren't you? Oh, yeah. The teeth, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Naughty. Right then, let's move on to the meat along length. This is amazing. Look at that beautiful colour. Should we really be able to source a metre of your beautiful gemstones um, at under £10? No, probably not. We're going to do it anyway. Um, I love this. And I would actually pick out those gorgeous green colours. You know, sometimes like with soda light, you see this, like the bluish version, don't you? Um, for me, this is, this is giving that kind of vibe, but with the green tones. And when it's something like this, you could do you could do a full length, can you? You'd either have wraparound bracelets, yep. which again are really nice for the summer, or you've got long line necklaces tie a knot in it maybe work with um other larger stones in there and just and space them out but Amazing. yeah I'd, and work with do you mean like work with the green so the different tones on it because you could almost ombre it couldn't you because you've well, got you know, some really like the lighter you have ones. the the willow china don't yes. you I often, yes. like, we always talk about so light and the similarities yes. to the willow china yeah. this is it gives me that vibe but in green yeah love yeah. it it i don't know it's just I don't know, it's quite quintessential, I think. Eight pounds only. Liam says, not going fast enough. Let's go even lower. All of these are brand new premier opportunities. We are going even lower. Look at Dan, you were getting the blame for that then, weren't you? <laughs> Poor Dan, it wasn't even Dan, no. Four ninety nine only. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, my love. You don't have to apologise to me. Four ninety nine, <laughs> amazing. Stay where you are. Fabulous. Uh, Twelve millimetre jaspers. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, if you got well, any of the last jasper strands, I think I just knot this. Mm -hmm. How lovely that is. I think I just knot that. I might put something like a coral spacer bead in between. But then look at the, um, I know it was angelite, but that, that stretchy bracelet was a larger size, wasn't yeah. it? And that, that looked very nice. And it nice. worked. Yeah. 6 99 only to get hold of. It's described as autumn jasper. Um, yeah, well, jaspers are often named either after the location that they're discovered um, or they're named after their visual beauty. So Mookite is an example, named after the Mooka Creek, for example. Ocean jasper, named after a location and it's beauty these are 12 millimeters in their size they're not small you know great if you do things like your long line Gosh, necklaces marlas a simple stretchy bracelets hello caroline hi all my guilty pleasures are oh i'm in total <gasps> agreement with you here gerald butler russell crow and a jar of fluff yes Yeah. Definitely, Caroline. That's a very good one. Individually or all together. Yeah. Mm, the mind boggles. I really must find out what this fluff is. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yeah. Not so much Russell Crowe for me, but Gerald Butler, definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Both of them, yeah. Gerald Butler and a jar of fluff. Perfect. 
I bet that's been referenced before, isn't it? 100%. Um, let's bring you some beautiful blue chalcedony. I love it if you adore oh, things this like your blue lace one. agate. Look at that. It, 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 yeah, it's so pretty. Um, really delicate colours. Um, you often get a lovely level of translucency with that. your chalcedony as well. It is a considered gemstone ordinarily. I know certainly, again, our sister channel will bring you amazing showcases and um, with this beautiful treasure. Five pounds and 49 pence. Love how this is faceted. Four millimeters in the size. It's totally natural as well. Um, again, you can keep it super simple, can you? Can Pearls I... and, and with the whatever the peachy <sighs> stir. Yeah. I mean, you could just add into that, couldn't you? Yeah. Gosh, look at that. So pretty. Yeah. That's wonderful. Loads of you getting involved on this one. Most chalcedony will actually be dyed, whereas this is totally natural and it's got that wonderful continuity of quality. Um, stay where you are on those fine phone lines, everybody. We've got quantity. These are all brand new premieres this hour. Amazing. Keep those guilty pleasures coming in as well because I'm very much enjoying this conversation. Amazing. Um, okay, how about some black rutile puffy coins? Puffy. Fluff, we're talking. <laughs> I'm, I'm just intrigued by fluff. Have you ever had fluff, Dan? <laughs> Marshmallow you, fluff. Have you oh, had no, fluff? No, 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 no. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No, no. Hilly, have you had fluff? No. No, not me. You can get it. Um, uh, uh, you can get it in strawberry flavour as well. Strawberry fluff. Yeah, I'm not. I prefer the original. Okay, give that a go. Mm. Oh. Yeah, do you put it on toast or anything like it that? It says you can, but mine never gets that far. Okay. Just have a spoon, like other people have messaged in, and just sit and eat it. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. With Gerard Butler. <laughs> Amazing. He doesn't come round to my house, no, but you could um, watch well, it. Well, why on earth not? I know. Five ninety nine. Love this. Totally natural. We've got these absolutely beautiful um, monochromes, all one hundred percent individual. They're, yeah, I mean they're, they're dynamic. You've got these fabulous rutilations that all grow um, very sporadically within each of your rutiles. So you've got to have that beautiful sort of colourless, which you can see I mean, just fascinating, here. Fascinating, aren't colourless they? Colourless quartz. Yeah. But then when they're much darker, it's because they've got lots and lots and lots of those rutilations that are formed naturally within the gemstone. Um, it is difficult to cut these as well because because the tendency is that the gemstone can fit, uh, sorry, uh, um, split, sorry, um, across those uh, those natural formations. Amazing, well done, keep dialing through, fabulous. Shall we do serpentine? I, oh, I genuinely this. cannot remember the last time we had serpentine. And this is an incredible shape as well, isn't it? Look at that. I haven't seen serpentine, probably. I, I mean, I'd, you might have seen it before, but I don't think I've brought serpentine for probably a good few years. It's such a beautiful stone as well. Um, serpentine has these wonderful inclusions within. Um, it's a really distinctive stone as well. Mm. You know, I don't think you're going to misinterpret serpentine for any... Uh, the Chinese carve with it quite a lot, I suppose, because they ha there is a level of similarity to your jadeite. Um, but it, for me, it's a, it's a different green. I think it's got more of a... Um, how do I word this? More of a zesty green colour than most um, other. Yeah, there's, an, there's a presence of chrysophrase to it. You've got beautiful translucency and patterning. We really ever, 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 ever see it. Um, yeah, and I know certainly Dave has referenced countless times master carvings, you know, when he was over at Tucson only a few weeks ago, you know, he may well have shown some serpentine carvings because this is another material that uh, um, master carvers are actually incorporating within uh, their amazing art. Seven pounds. Do you know, I was just, I was thinking, I've just seen Yvette's name come up and I was I was thinking this would be perfect for Yvette. Yvette makes beautiful long line necklaces, like station necklaces. Now with this, you could just have chain, couldn't you, in, in between Lovely. one of those with that really interesting shape, the way the way it's been drilled as well. It's such chain a distinct colour though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, do, it, you can't really brilliant. compare it to your jade. I know so often serpentine is often referred to as jade, which technically speaking it's not, but it is a genuine gemstone. A Keep stone. dialing through. Amazing. Something that nobody knows we've got, including Wayne. Yeah, we shouldn't have this. Ooh. What's the average carat weight of appetite, Liam? Ooh. Close. Yeah, 0 0.15. So, 
If the average carat weight is 0 0.15, which is positively granular, that color. the fact that you are looking at 185 carats of neon appetite is incredible. Lovely rounds as well. Look at that. They positively glow. These absolutely categorically should not be an under £10 day. Um, in fact, we'll show you the should be price. I, I do have a presentation on this, Liam. I don't know how many we've got available of them. Not that many. But what the, that, that there's, there's just one sentence in there that actually says, when it comes... Don't worry, Liam, you don't have to. When it comes to appetite, colour matters, size matters. It is all about that beautiful, intense saturation. Here we go. Um, if you click down, one more. Oh, no. There we go. Let's, let's read it. Bottom paragraph. The value of appetite depends primarily on colour saturation. So specimens with a high colour intensity command the best price. Size does matter when it comes to appetite since finding large stone, stones weighing over one carat is extremely rare. Would we all agree you have got an intensity of neon appetite blue? Um, and you have that big size, you know, if the average carat white is 0 0.15, you're looking at 185 right now. Absolutely incredible. And again, just to quickly reference, this shouldn't be in today's show. Again, just to reference, if you, if you just flick back, Liam, to there's a ring which has got, that's it, that's it. Look at, uh, you can see here, these aren't the most pristine eye clean stones, are they? You've got, you've got, they almost look like little swimming pools, don't they, I suppose? Like an ancient that's swimming that's pool. Gorgeous, um, it's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful, but you notice that the, the actual appetite is not pristine clarity. We are squeezing this under £10. It's a premiere. It shouldn't be included in today's show, but we're doing it anyway. Not even Wayne knows. He will now. You can hear him walk here. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? Do you know what? I'd, you remember the, the statement Olmec um, necklace with the one gold? Yeah. I would get, I'd be getting two of those and then I'd get that. We had some magnetic class, didn't we, before? Oh, like, yeah, recreate, recreate that kind yeah, of look. Type one. How amazing. But you'll actually get more colour from your appetite yeah, than you would do from your yeah. old mech. Yeah. Yeah. This is one that what, it commands attention. You know, it's, it, it, it positively lights up this gemstone, even from distances away. You know it shouldn't be under £10. Um, and, and obviously, I'm, I'd love to talk to you at, about this at length, but you can see the quantity. It's flying out the door. You can see how amazing the deal is um, and I'm going to assume that every single one of you that are on the phone lines know how exciting this under £10 deal is for this beautiful gemstone and uh, please stay where you are on the phone lines make sure you check out your baskets we are over allocated on this one um, it literally glows 15 minutes and then we're going to bring you some beautiful kits We've got loads of uh, your demonstrations absolutely We've got more amazing pieces to, to bring you um, under £10 well done well done well done I no, I no I I've, oh. I've been looking at this, Liam, and it can't be. This is just wrong on so many levels. <laughs> Liam says, yeah, but you know what? I ain't bothered. It's a natural bicolour gemstone. Mm. How are we doing this? Look at this. <gasps> Have you got a one-to-one -one after the show? Oh, well, you're not going to be at that one-to-one -one meeting then in uh, 15 minutes now. Seriously, look, look at that. <gasps> well, I mean, if you listen to me, Liam. <laughs> that is gorgeous, isn't it? <sighs> Beautiful bicolour stone. Remember the Quartz family? Again, I don't have the time to talk at length about it, but um, Amatrine uh, is... Is, is exceptionally rare. It's basically where the crystal formation has um, and the transformation of colour has basically occurred in the most perfect conditions, heat, temperatures, where literally it has, it, it's not an amethyst or a citrine. It's literally a split in between the two. Um, but again, look at how pristine these are. Look how large they are. I have an amatrine ring and it's from the Bolivia mine as well, which historically was actually mined solely by women, which uh, um, I don't know if that is still the case uh, these days. But you know, I have an amatrine ring, and I can. It was I bought mine from from um, Gemporia, 
it's probably one of the first pieces, it was the first piece of jewellery that I purchased when I became a member of staff. Mine's in 14 karat gold. Um, it's smaller than each and every single one of these, and I definitely didn't pay anywhere near what's on your screens right now. Unbelievable. Price, so beautiful, mm. Amatrine. You, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and tell you this is the, 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 the richest of saturations. I'm not going to do that. This is a, sl a slightly softer palette. You can get Amatrine, which has got like a, a really deep, intense amethyst purple, and you can get Amatrine, which has got a really intense citrine-like color. This is that softer, beautiful, pristine uh, pastel palette. Um, however, <coughs> what makes it really exciting to me is the fact that they are so eye clean. Yeah. And, and look how many shade. you're getting. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know it shouldn't be under £10. Again, that's why the phone lines are crazy busy today. It has been busy from the, uh, from the, moment, um, from the moment that we, uh, um, we have <laughs> came live. Um, uh, Liam's just saying, I can't actually keep up with you in terms of the quantity. So how many have we got left, literally, as we speak? Oh, less than 20. So Liam's going to get that repetitive strain injury. Yeah, you can't keep up with the available now quantity. Less than 20. Uh, nine pounds and 72 pence. Francois, Joan, Francois, Pamela, Isabel, June, Gillian, Arthur, Erica, Janet, Tina, Jeanette, amazing. Congratulations to you. Make sure you check out because these are getting limited. They're going to be a sellout literally in a few moments time. Amazing, oh, amazing, amazing. Um, okay, moving on to... What does it, what, what, what? These are amazing. I love oh. them. <gasps> Aren't they beautiful? I've never seen them before. No. Opal with calcite. So you've got two amazing minerals. I love it. I've not seen this before. Look at that colour. It's wonderful, isn't it? Look at that beautiful colour. Totally and utterly natural. So this is one of those amazing opportunities. Look, you've got to consider there's 6,000 minerals on our planet, or there or thereabouts. 6,000 minerals. You've got two amazing, amazing uh, um, treasures that have grown together naturally. And look at the colour that they've produced. It's great, isn't it? And, and that is, a, I think that's some of the, the largest... Um... Opal? Yeah. That's one. It's like sunshine, isn't it? I'd put that with the um, the angel light. I think. That oh, we nice. had. I think that the two together would be lovely. This is distinctive, isn't it? And I'm gonna I'm gonna say say this. I'll be really honest. I think you're either gonna love this or loathe it. Yeah. It's one of those it's, marmite it's, strands. It's very very different. But it, I'm think I'm trying to think what what else I've seen like that. And there's no. I mean that is. I really, love it. It's five pendants, isn't it? Straight away. I love that. That with black for me. I think it'd be beautiful with like a black oh, agate. I think blue, maybe like the sunshine and... Yeah. Love it. That's love wonderful. it. Very love elegant. It. Um, amazing. Okay, moving on to... I do have some rose quartz, but do you know how long this strand is, Liam? Yeah, you keep... That's why everyone's checking out already on this. I'm not surprised. Um, look at that beautiful, soft peony pink rose quartz. All the affiliations to love. And it's going to go. That's going to that's going to be beautiful, isn't it? With a lot of because we've had quite a lot of pastel colours. Yeah, that's going to work very well with all of them. Well, it'll work with the ametrine. It will work with those amazing opal calcites. Yes, it would. It? Yeah, it'll it'll work like with the angelite. Work with. Yeah. Look how pretty that is with the pearls. Um, it, it, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that history, that popularity dates back literally hundreds and hundreds upon hundreds of years. And it wasn't us. It's not like really sort of the past, sort of the recent centuries, if you'd like, that we've decided this is a gemstone that's affiliated to love and friendship. That dates back to literally ancient Romans. Um, hello, Susan. Can I see the yellow strand, please? Um, uh, well, there are I a couple don't... of yellow ones, aren't there? Yeah, there are a couple of yellow ones. Both of them would look very nice with the... Do you um, mean the yellow quartz? Lemon quartz? Yeah. That looks nice, Susan. Is that what is you're talking that? about? Tell us which one you're talking oh, about. Or that. ideally, give us a code um, or a shape or a gemstone, whichever it is, so I know which one I'm looking for. Um, look these that. are flying. Yeah, look how pretty that is as a combination. Oh, I love that. 
Can't go wrong, can you? Six millimeter it's is that that that, that, that size, utopia it? size, isn't it, mm -hmm. for um, all jewelry makers? Um, but do make sure you check out. These are all brand new premieres, and quite possibly one show wonders, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, it'll be gone, won't it? Yeah. But with with nearly sold out. Well done. Okay, I'll leave that with you. Let's do those lemon quartz in, in case that is what you are um, asking for. What's the difference between a lemon quartz and a citrine? Um, basically, it's like if you're making a, a glass of cordial or something like that, just a little bit more colour saturation, a little bit more colour saturation. Um, so, yeah, uh, lemon quartz is, is literally fresh like lemon groves. Um, if you want it to have more of a, a sort of more golden, orangey colour, then go for your citrine. They are effectively sibling stones, I suppose. Um, look at that, though. Beautiful strand. I could count on one hand the amount of strands of lemon quartz I've probably bought you this mm, year. Yeah. I'd put that with the, the Prasia light that we had earlier as Lovely. well. Lovely. And, and definitely the rose quartz. Yeah. I love those um, spring you know, like palettes, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. They yeah. just they just they just conjure up images. I don't know. I always think about Mother's Day, I always think about spring. Yeah. Um, Easter time, absolutely, when you see those really pretty ballots. Um, seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. We don't have many of these and we don't see it very often either. Hello, Alison, Sharon, Isabel, Wendy, Kim, Penny, Yvonne, Maureen, Elizabeth, well done to you. Love the shape of those. And just think with some of the you know, the the um the spaces that we've had, they'd work very, very well. But you could do your lovely briolette wraps, couldn't you? Yeah. You? Pretty. And also, Claire, I'm thinking back to the techniques where you took a gemstone that had been drilled like these mm -hmm. and you still use them with your, um, with your bezel bezels. Yeah. 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 Now, we had a request earlier on for Tiger's Eye, didn't we? We don't have any of the... Um, what was the colours that you wanted? Yellow and green, I think you requested. Or was it blue? I, I know it's different, but we have got the we've got red, and this is the only one that we have currently. So we'll bring it to air now. Sorry about that. Um, you're getting a meter here. When we say red, if you think about you know beautiful mahogany furniture, mm. um, be amazing gemstone that has a phenomenal effect. Yeah, it's the deepest of reds. Um, yeah, your mauves and your burgundies. Um, it's got a wonderful phenomena effect. So little tiny microscopic platelets within your gemstone capture the light and bring you what we describe as chatoyancy. If you can imagine a migration, that's what it's like. It's like the light travels. It migrates all the way around and orbits the stone. Um, lots of the big designers are working with your red tiger's eye. Um, I think Thomas Sabo is the one that immediately springs to mind. Full meter at £8.99. pence. Yeah, that's incredible, isn't it? I mean, these are... If you're thinking, ever thinking of doing any craft fairs, anything like that, selling online, this is this is the way to. Yeah, absolutely. Get shall we bring? Stash. That's brilliant. Shall we bring? I know this is fast, but I want to squeeze everything in. Basically, I, I I just feel like the person that named this next gemstone just wanted to make it difficult. Just wanted to make it difficult. There's probably a reason, but could it not just be fossiderite? Why did they have to make it more difficult and say... so beautiful, though. Phosphosiderite. Look, we can't even spell it. <laughs> can't even spell it, look. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. Phosphosiderite. It's so gorgeous. It is beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Phosphosiderite. <laughs> it's so look beautiful. Love, love, love. I mean, this is... You know, when, when type A jade has a lavender colour, this is the lavender that it wants. Yes. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Um, it is the most beautiful. I wouldn't describe it as purple. I, I would say like a lavender, but the most incredible lavender. It's totally and utterly natural. Totally natural. Most phosphosiderite is actually dyed, certainly um, my experience of it anyway. Um, with the rose quartz. Like, that would weird, you? That is lovely. Yeah. Love that together. There's only a hundred of these available though. <laughs> and it's natural. Uh, Lincolnshire, Yvette, James, hello to you, Joe, Pauline, RuPaul, hello to you, Susan and Brian, Lynn, Vanessa, Rachel, Anne, Sarah, Samantha, Regine, Jane, new customer, Tracy, Elizabeth, Pamela. Well, well done. It's super busy. And just because I move on doesn't mean that um, it's sold out. It's just I'm trying to squeeze in as much of these deals as I possibly can and get them under. Um, Oh, yes. Are they pearls? No. 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 Um, I haven't got any pearls. Just so you know. Just so you know. Um, we're trying to get all of these under £10 deals. Uh, okay. 
don't see any pearls anyway. Unless we've got a photograph. Yeah, lovely. Oh, they're beautiful, Ooh. aren't they? So if you're looking for the Tahitian look without the Tahitian price point, then here's a great alternative to them there. Um, six to seven millimetres. Oh, they got the big holes. Oh, very useful. So why, why do we get excited about two millimetres Because you, um, you can put anything through, can't you? Like your cords or your wires, heavier gauges of wires. Oh, they're lovely. lovely. Oh, look at them as well. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. So you can even, yeah, you can even feed these onto your, um, to your sterling silver wire, can't you? And yeah. always have them look as floating. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful palettes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you've got the wonderful appeal of uh, um, the appeal of Tahitian pearls without that Tahitian price tag, obviously. Seven pounds and 49 pence only. If I just double the strand over, you can see the two millimeter drill hole. So there you go. That means you can fit some of your thicker cords. You can put some of your uh, wires, as Claire was saying. And if you're happy to mix your pearls as well, you could always keep these back, couldn't you, as your, your first and your last pearl you know if yeah. you have trouble oh, yeah, with you were um, talking about that yeah. weren't you yeah sold out amazing well done um yeah i've got this amazing is it moonstone These are nice. or is it sunstone peach moonstone yeah let's do that let's do it's this shape as well as the color i love this car on stones mm. absolutely gorgeous um, I mean, Moonstone, of course, a member of the Feldspar family with that beautiful phenomenal effect that is adolescence of all your moonstone can i be controversial I love peach moonstone. Mm. I think peach moonstone, um, because it's got that natural body colour. I mean, if you look just here, look, look how it highlights that beautiful adolescence. Mm. It's that lovely silvery sheen. Seven pounds only. Seven pounds. Uh, so, and and with, it's a standalone shape, isn't it? So you could just have maybe one on, um, one on a chain. Be really nice. Lovely pendant. Yeah, beautiful. You could set a little stone in the drill hole, couldn't you, yes, as well? Use yeah, it as, like a, yeah. um, as an into a cocktail ring design. Um, that's Ruby Zoosite, by the way. I have got fancy Jasper pears as well. Um, we're going to squeeze those in too. Well done. Keep dialing. Let's do fancy Jasper in your pears. Oh, look at those. Yeah, everyone loves fancy Jasper. It is beautiful, isn't it? I mean, I look, look how different that. they are. Yeah. These are, sorry, Ethan, I'm just going to hold the strand out just because, look, they're like little, they're otherworldly, aren't they? You've got areas of beautiful translucency. Look at that. Mm. That's naturally formed. And every single one oh, will wow. be completely and utterly unique. Natural colours. You're looking at 250 carats. Sorry, there was one over here I wanted to show you. I mean, literally it looks like it's from another planet, doesn't it? Oh, earrings right. would be nice for oh. this, wouldn't it? Some light behind, so you're seeing that translucency as well. You know, oh. you know, window opal. Where it's almost it's like a yes. little miniature, yeah, different world, isn't planet. it? Planet, yeah. You can see that with your fancy mm. jasper. It's always super popular. Nine pounds and twenty pence only. Um, these aren't small, so like Claire said, with great earrings. Um, I do have some Ruby Zoosite again, brand new premiere. We are coming to the end of your um, of this hour. We've still got beautiful kits. We've still got amazing components to bring you all under ten pounds. Now, let me just explain Ruby Zoosite because I think I, I feel sorry for Ruby Zoosite because it's often in the shadows of Tanzanite. And you remember Tanzanite? They're totally different. They are, but they're of the same gender gemstone family. Ruby Zoosite is a one locational gemstone, just like Tanzanite. Um, and actually, it's, it's, it was discovered not too far away from um, the Tanzanite mine. Um, when they first saw this gem, they actually thought they discovered a no, a, another location, a deposit of ruby. You're basically getting two amazing minerals that have occurred alongside one another. So the flashes of beautiful red, like a cherry red, are flecks of ruby, and they are framed in a, in a green zoosite, effectively. Um, if you put this under UV light, you'll see your ruby literally glow, but it's astonishingly rare. I remember having a conversation with my next door neighbor, um, Marie, you know Marie, gemologist Marie. Um, so it's weird, actually, on my street, we've got a gemologist and we've got um, somebody that works in the jewelry quarter. Have you? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, but she was saying that Ruby Zoosite, the price per carat has absolutely skyrocketed. It's a very expensive stone to actually purchase. This was granted, this was some time ago, but I shouldn't imagine that's changed. Visually, it's very striking, very distinctive, all completely and utterly natural. You know we're not stopping there. I love these, Claire. Oh, it's an incredible shape as well, isn't it, for, for that? that I don't think I've seen um, 
anything like that before. I, I'm thinking um, gents makes with that. Yeah, turn them into almost like signet style rings. Yeah, yeah. How beautiful are they? Fantastic. Or, yeah. Maybe a cocktail ring as well. That is a very... Um, £7.20. Yeah, just, I mean, you've got that lovely flat surface as well. It's a full 90 degree angle. So things like your gallery wire and your bezel strips yeah. would work beautifully with yeah, these, they wouldn't would. they? Yeah, they would. And you can turn them individual pendants. £7.20. Again, we seldom ever see it. If you do see it, it's quite often dyed. Again, be mindful of your simulations out there. There's When you've got something that's uh, you know as beautiful, as rare, as desirable as Ruby Zoocyte, then um, yeah, it does open itself up to, uh, um, to, to copies, I suppose, or imitation stones. I've even seen Ruby Zoocyte literally where they've got a green dyed quartz and then they've painted on the red. It looks dreadful, yeah. So um, this isn't that. This is all laboratory certified. Well done. And we've still got more amazing under £10 deals to bring you. Kits coming up with our gorgeous Claire. Beautiful jewellery, amazing demonstrations. More under £10 deals. <laughs> what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on jewelry maker Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 alternatively you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page jewelry maker happy to help it's easy to stay in touch with jewelry maker you can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, 
everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. What an amazing morning it has been so far. And we've still got so much to bring you. Now, all your items remaining in this hour are available on pre-order. So have a little look on the website, all the W's at jurymaker.com. You know where they're going. You know they're under £10. We've also got cut stones. We've got some calibrations. You know, just so it's been super busy from start to finish this morning. I don't think today is going to be any different. Guilty pleasure. Claire and I were just agreeing. A little nana nap. Mm. Love a nap. Yeah. Actually saying like getting under the Yeah, you've got to be covers. committed. You've yeah. got to be committed to oh, the nap. One hundred percent. I do like a, a sofa nap too. Yeah. But if you're committed, you go to bed. Go to bed and oh, oh yeah. Lovely. Love that. Mm. A sofa naps are good. But committed Nana no, no, no. Right then. Now you get three different kits and there are so many findings. If I literally just move that for one second, 77 pieces in this finding. And you'll notice as well, the shell come with the rose findings, the rose gold colored findings. Uh, the black rutile comes with the, with the silver. Um, and then your beautiful, look at this strand. It's, it, it, it's, it's conjuring it up images of your um, spiny oyster and turquoise. Mm. Yes. That yeah. colour palette. Yeah. Look how beautiful this is. Ah. Oh, amazing. The amount of, uh, of goodies that you're getting as well. I'm not going to get them all out because otherwise I will literally be here all day. Um, but you can see on Ethan's lovely photograph for you, you can see you've got 77 findings. That's inclusive of your shepherd hooks, your toggle, uh, toggles. Um, you can see your length of chain. You can see your uh, jump rings. You've got your um, head pins, your featherweights in there. Um, you've got crimps. You've got crimp covers. Um, you've got lever backs as well, flat backs. 77 beautiful findings plus you're also getting your um your beautiful ocean jasper six millimeter rounds you know where it is going i mean this is a fantastic deal for the findings back on its That's own brilliant isn't you, it yeah uh, 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 cast your mind back to when we were literally there claire do you remember our yes. studio being yes, literally I there yes i do yeah 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 i do a findings pack was not 77 pieces was it i think it was 57 back at way back when Way, way back when, your gold-plated base metal findings were like 57, weren't they? Yeah, I feel were like that's a, that's a larger, isn't it? One of the larger ones. And yeah. the other, oh no, and 27, weren't they? And they were not under £10. Yeah. Not that I recall anyway. Well, you're not just getting those findings. You're also getting the beautiful gemstone strand, 9 99 today. I mean, you'd pay that that's for the gems, wouldn't it? you? Yeah. And how good that you've got that, that mix of them. You've got the head pins, the eye pins, the featherweights. That's really, really good. And, and you know, for people that wanted the crimps and the, and the crimp covers, you've yep. got that in there. Oh, yeah, 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 because people were asking about yeah. that. For me, you're buying your findings, you get your gemstones for free or vice versa. That's a crazy deal. Um, uh, the strand is absolutely beautiful. It's not quite coming across on your screen, but it definitely has those kind of spiny oyster turquoise mm, yeah. uh, uh, vibes about it. And I'm talking about the palette of colour. Um, but yeah, this is again totally natural. Is it is is it ocean jasper then, Liam? You know, ocean jasper is mined out. It's mined out, ocean jasper. It is, yeah. They, it's mined out, yeah. No, it is. It, it definitely is. It was, it was, well, like, oh, oh, last I heard, unless they found another deposit of it, last I heard it was mined out. Because, because they lost it initially. So Ocean Jasper was literally on a coast, found on a coast, and then they lost the deposit. This isn't recent. This isn't a recent thing. This was quite a few years ago, decades ago. Um, and then when they rediscovered it, it was that popular, it mined out. Unless, of course, they found another deposit. 
I, I'm happy to be proven wrong. 9.99, Samantha, Victoria, Vivian, Diana, Karen, Jenny, hello to you, Christina, Janet, Yvette, Claire, Jane, Lincolnshire, Sue, hello to you, Megan, uh, Edith, Christina, Elaine, Manchester, hello, London, West Midlands, Anne. It's been busy, so busy. My voice is actually going now, isn't it? Um, busy from start to finish. It's been a lot, hasn't there? It has. It's been fun. Yeah. Emotional. some amazing, amazing gemstones. He's, he's, he's back now for yeah. one hour only. You, Liam. <laughs> he's back for one hour only. Our lovely Liam. I've, I've learned a lot in, that, in, in, in this five hours, well, ten hours across the two days. Um, I've learned there is such a thing as bungee exercise. Jade under ten pounds? No, there's not, Lisa. No, no, don't be silly. There's not. No, no, there can't be. There can't be under ten pounds. I, I, I'm only joking, Lisa. Apparently, on pre-order there is. Really, Jade under ten pounds. Liam Dickens. Goodness me. It's coming up within this hour, apparently. Um, shop ahead, and again, do take a little look at the other kits. You've got black rutile. Shall we do the shell pearl? You can keep dialing through for this one. It's strand on its own. Ten pounds. Such a pretty, pretty colour. Oh. Really, really pretty. Shell pearl is basically reconstituted shell and pearl. Um, and basically, instead of pearls or shells being discarded if they get fractured, um, it can be reconstituted, basically ground down into a fine powder. That can be made into things like paint. It can also be paid, made into uh, makeup. And it can be reconstituted to make the beautiful, uh, beautiful components for your lovely jewellery. They are still organic materials, effectively, that are sort of helped along the way. Um, the joys of shell pearl, and one of the reasons reasons why it's so popular with our lovely audience is because you are guaranteed the perfect spherical shape and they are also much more robust than a cultured pearl. Now these are alongside um, your rose gold findings. You can see that in the photograph there. Um, you're getting 21 pieces. Again, that includes your chain, your shepherd hooks, your um, head pins, your crimps, your jump rings, your toggles and your um, shepherd hooks, another set of shepherd hooks. We'll showcase that Claire's amazing jewellery in a second. And any questions wow. that you have, wow, wow, yeah. Any questions that you have for Claire, do feel free to message us live in the studio. As if, Claire. That's crazy, isn't it? Would you, how much would you sell that amazing necklace for? Nothing, nothing like that. Absolutely nothing like that. Oh my goodness! And, it, it and is that particularly so, advanced? No. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you this now, and I'm, hopefully by seeing the you'll see how we work with the bail making pliers, and it's entirely up to you whether you what sections you work with. But it works very very well with with shell pearl because, like you say, it's that uniform mm -hmm. um, size shape. You can absolutely do it with because I did it with the pearls as well. But I'd say if you're just starting, maybe try it with the shell pearl because you know that they are. They're really uniform, so they're going to be incredibly neat. But not in a million years. You know, that's so with a little bit of um, wire, not in a million years would you sell that would no. you, for anything like six ninety nine? No, not definitely not. Well, I, I, and, and again, six ninety nine. A findings pack of 21 pieces alone is yeah, a great price point. absolutely. But you yeah. do get the shell pills too. How many did we have of these then, Liam? 150, good quantity. Keep checking out. I'll bring you the, you the next kit and then we'll dive into your demonstration. So, um, okay, monochrome all the way. Absolutely beautiful. I know, oh, look, Claire, can I borrow these for a second? Yeah, Mr. yeah, Show? yeah. Um, alongside. It's a gorgeous strand. It is gorgeous. So you've got your chain. There you go, silver plated chain. You've got your head pins. You have your jump rings. You have your shepherd hooks. You have your little crimps. There you go. And you have your toggles. And of course, the beautiful strand yeah. of black rutile cords, meaning you can make amazing pieces like this. There's a quantity of these available, natural black rutile quartz. We've got 150 of these. You know it's going under £10, but just how low? Is it just a penny? Gosh, again. £6.99 for that strand is absolutely amazing. And look how far that goes, because that, so I've used that strand, so you've got as that a full um, and probably larger size uh, bracelet. You've got the earrings, you've got the pendant. Mm from that one strand, that's, that's so good. 
Do you, again, sorry to re keep referencing, but it's I can compare outside of these four walls, and and, and you know I can discuss sort of the, the amazing deals that we get here at Jewelry Maker as well. But let's compare directly with ourselves. I've been here since two thousand and eleven, and do you remember six ninety nine? It was a, a, a rule to our um, it was a rule to our producers. You do not go any lower than six ninety nine. It was then classed as non broadcastable. Um, mm -hmm. So they could go on the website, but they couldn't go they couldn't go on our live shows. So you wouldn't see a strand like this for six uh, for six ninety nine. They would be more. Well done, everybody. Make sure you do check out those baskets, everybody. Again, any questions that you have for lovely Claire, do feel free to message us live in the studio. And we have still got lots of un uh, lots more under ten pound deals to bring you. So yeah, so I've heard Lisa um, that we've got Jade under ten pounds. Is he kept that quiet, didn't he? He did. Bit sneaky. Our, uh, our Liam. He's like, yeah, otherwise Wayne would have stopped it. Um, okay, right then. Claire, what okay, are you show so us? I'm going to show you. So, what, what we're going to do is, and it's entirely up to you whether you make it's the same techniques as just how far, um, how many you do um, of, of sort of creating this base uh, for the stones to, um, to go in. So, it's going to look something like this. So, if I, if I bring these in. So it's, it's using your, um, your bail making pliers to, um, and you can work with different sizes of these for the different size, um, size rounds, but you can see on here how this is gonna work. Um, and so we're gonna create uh, the base for it to sit on. So you can either work, you want, you want some structure to, to the base that's gonna go on. So this is a, an eight, uh, point eight, and this is a one mil. So you can see the, um, a slight difference there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily go any um, smaller than that if you want to have it so that it's going to be uh, a pendant or, or certainly as a, as a bracelet. So our starting point is, and I'm going to work with, so I've got structural wire uh, and um, a 0.4 in my stash. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my, is create the base. So if you want to make something like um, uh, the bracelet, so if I show you this, if you work with your structural wire, so an, uh, 0.8 and above, you can have, you don't need to add any of the findings, you can keep those for um, your earrings and your necklaces. So we wanna have a little hook there and we're gonna use our pliers as well, the bail making pliers to make that. So the first thing we want to do, if we're gonna do um, uh, a full bracelet, what you'd want to do is you'd wanna have a long length of wire and if you can maybe keep it on the, um, keep it on the reel and you want to allow enough so you can make your own uh, S hook here. So I would probably say, give yourself, <clears throat> um, I'd probably say maybe uh, seven centimeters or so. So uh, leave that uh, plain and then I'm gonna work on, um, so I've got the one, two, three, four. So it's the fourth um, one from the top. Forgive me, I can't remember the, uh, the measurements of these, but it does say on um, when you get these, it'll, it'll tell you what the different um, diameters are. So I'm going to start and I'm going to roll this around. So I'm making a full circle. So I want to make sure that I've gone all the way around. So I'm opening up as well and bringing around. So I've got, if we look I've, it from the top, it looks like I've got a complete circle. If we look from the sides, so you can see there, we've got a thickness of two wires. If we turn it over, we've got, we've got one. So that's gonna help us now when we start and we go and we make a, a series of them. So we know that it gone onto that fourth one. So remember, so one, two, three, four, if you can see there as well. So we know, we can see that it's on there. So the next one, and I know that my, the, the long tail that I've left is gonna make my clasp. So I'm gonna start now and turn. So I've gone one and a half sort of times around and I take it out, pop the smaller one back in and then on this one, I'm going to go round. Now, I know if I look, I've got a two thickness on this side. So on the new one that I'm going to do, I want one, a one thickness. So if I take it out, so I'm going to go around. So I can also see that it's coming from the bottom. If we have a look here, it's coming out from the bottom of the, the, the circle that I'd done previously. So I know this one this next one I do must come over the top. So if we remember that, so we're going all the way around and I know I've done it right because I've got a thickness of two there and a thickness of, of one that side. So I know that I've done it right. So we'll move on to the next one. So I pop the smaller one in and I'm coming from the top. 
So I now go to the bottom on the next one, all the way around. And again, we can do our double check so we know we've got a two, a one, a two. You're going to keep doing that all the way along. And once you get it into, you know, um, uh, in, yes, into, into a rhythm, it will become, um, you sort of, you just go into your flow. So I can already see I've got a thickness of one here. So I'm going to, and I'm coming out from underneath the bottom there. So I need to go over the top on this one. And so we know we've got a single, a double, single, and a double. So you're going to keep working all the way along. You can see, so if I open this up, you can see if you wanted to do a full bracelet, you're probably going to have to do about uh, 21, 22, depending on how um, the size of the, uh, which mandrel you're working with and the, the size that you want it. So you just keep going all the way along, which, so if we pretend that it's going to give you something like this. So what you would then do is we're then going to use this as a setting for our rounds. So I'm going to take now my 0.4. Okay, so I'm then going to start and wrap a couple of times. So I'll start that way. So just a couple of wraps on there and bring that round. So now what this is going to do is it's going to give me a lovely seat for the stone to sit in. So I'm going to let that fall and just position that. So slight kink in that 0.4 and I hold it in position, wrap once, twice and I'm back at the bottom to start and adding in the next one. So you're going to keep going like that. So let me bring this in like that. So you can see that and how these sit really nicely now into, there we go. So you can see, and you would keep going all the way along, but that sits beautifully now and really, really securely in like this. So if you want to have the bracelet, you obviously you just carry on all the way along, along that long length there, and you would just keep going all the way along. If if what you want to do is then, so you, you've got that technique, you've made your, um, you've made your long line of, um, uh, of the, um, the circles. So if you want to do now the, the um, make it the bracelets like and the earrings where it's more of that flower look so we want something that looks like that so what we need to think about is we've got these sections that are, are, are repetitive so we're going to have the section of the flower and we're going to have the the loops either side so if we keep that to the side and that's what that's what we're going to look for so we want to have we're going to have three that have got the the flower on and one of the of a loop so we actually want five there so if I get rid of that, actually, do you know what I've done that I haven't shown you, which I'll just finish off this one because I told you how I was going to do the S hook. So with that one, you're going to come up and you're going to bring it back down. So I've got my chain nose pliers now and I'm going to bring that back on itself. So it's a, it's like a hairpin. I'm going to hold here, bring this down. So I'm supporting it here. So now if I support that, the only bit of wire that's going to move is this bit here. So I can bring this, I'm doing that wrap loop around. And let's get rid of that. And this is where our bail makers come back in. So again, I'm going to start off quite large, get that first curve back in on the smaller one. And I'm going to push down. Now I'm really going to work on the smallest one. So I'm holding the end. And this will be quite tough now. And I'm going to bring a little curve back. And that's going to give you your hook like that. So that's, sorry, that was finishing off that. So now to make the flower, what you would do is you're going to do exactly the same technique, but it's just thinking about and planning out how you want your flower to be. So I'm going to take these. We're going to leave the first one blank because that's going to be our connector. We attach in the same way with our 0.4. I'm going to pick up one of the, the rounds. So we now only pop these onto the first three circles. So one, two, three. And again, let's get that into position. One, two, three. And let's bring this one. So we're going to fill the, the circles, but we still want to make that flower shape. 
So we're going to come around. So we now know we've got a connector here and a connector there. So I'm going to bring this. So it's actually going to come up in between. So I've gone up in between the, the wire um, uh, support here, the wire circle and the, the stone. And I'm just going to come through and bring that wire. So I'm coming up at the back. And you see I'm working in a different colour, so hopefully you'll be able to see it. And that's now going to come out. So it's coming out on the top of the framework that we've created. So now when I take some, if I get some more ready, so I'm now going to add my next one on. And I'm just going to position this so it's going to sit in the dip in between the circles here. So I'm going to just angle that a little bit. Take the wire and I'm going to come up in between again the framework and the, and the stone. And now I'm just going to hold there and tighten. So we'll go once and we'll go back through again just to secure it. So you can start to see how that flower is starting to form. So again we've got a nice space here. So we take our next round, hold that in, let that fall, position it a bit and I'm going to take this and again, I'm going up through the space of the framework and the round, hold it, pull tightly, go through a couple of times. And remember, you're not going to see all of this wire work because I'm using two, I'm using a silver framework and a, and a copper colour, 0.4. So now I'm going to come across so at the back because we want to come out onto this side. So I'm going to bring this through again, we just give it a little bit of a wiggle. You can lift the stone if you need to off the framework and we're going to do the same on the other side so just make sure I've got no kinks or knots in there. Bring that through so we're now coming out again it's coming over the top of the the framework here and so let's pop that one on. Um, I'm going to go again nearly finished on that one so let's position that, tighten it up so we've got now one more petal to add on. So if I just take the last one, and you could you could work with, especially if you've got all the different colours on the strand, you know, maybe have um, the outer petals as, as one colour and then the centre a different. So you'd have that much more pronounced flower look. So again, I'm just going to hold that in, tighten that down, come turn it over. And you're just going to then anchor on and let's bring that in and then we can snip that off. So on the pearl versions that I'd done on the on the nine o'clock kits, I used, did exactly the same techniques here. And then because you've got the difference of sizes, you can then go in and just keep stitching in more and more layers. But you can see there, there's your little flower, Look at that. flower connector. And we've brought so loads of strands yeah, that, that would you work. Do that yeah, absolutely. With. It's just remembering, you know, if you want want sort of the, the to fill the three, make sure that you've got the the two either end, and there's nothing to stop you as well, which is what I'd done as as spaces in. Um, if you want like a multi strand, you just bend those down and then you um, use it use it that way as Look well. Look at that. There we go. Here's the technique. Thank you so much, You're Claire. Welcome. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see it there in the bracelets as well and the necklaces. Um, amazing. Now, for those of you with the, with, with, with hawk eyes, um, would have noticed that there are a couple of jadeites in this hour. Um, first time today, like this amazing, beautiful oval solitaire. Look at the intensity of that uh, amazing green. Um, 45 carats, type A grade. We're not talking about type B or C, which would be acceptable, I think. That would be acceptable in an under £10 day. You know, we have been so transparent and upfront and honest and said, look, at some point, that is probably something we're going to have to do. We will have to bring you, we will have to bring you um, your type B and C grade. But as long as we can, for as long as it's, it's possible, um, oh goodness me, under ten pounds, forty-five carats. It's not small. Wait, no. This is this. 
Yeah, this isn't right. I haven't got the right. This is too small. I'm looking at the me I'm looking at the measurements here. The one I've got's wrong. Oh, this is coming up casually under ten pounds as well. Okay, I don't. Uh, we'll use a recording then. Look at this. Thirty-five by twenty-five millimeters. So the one I was holding was was the wrong one. That's smaller. Look at the quality, though. You can see how gemmy it is. You can see that water content. You can see that amazing luster and translucency. And of course, ah, oh, here we go. Gosh, it. Oh my goodness! Oh. Look, it's even bigger than you expect. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Should this be under £10? Look how gemmy it is. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I was holding the wrong one. Um, the final 46 opportunities. We, we've touched, we touched on it earlier on today, didn't we? And we were discussing your, um, your deal of the day. Make hay while the sun shines. Because, yes, I mean, we will always endeavour to continue to bring you this amazing gemstone. Jade Fever has completely taken over, not just us here at Jewelry Maker or Gemporia, it's taken over the West. We've finally woken up to just how beautiful, how enigmatic, how, how uh, 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 significant this gemstone is. It is one of the world's rarest treasures. And it is a gemstone with... The, you know, steeped in history that has been celebrated by the East for since antiquity. It's sold out. Well done. So many of you missed out. Now, if you wanted the smaller one, we do have it and it would make a really lovely, I, I don't know, maybe like a, um, a gallery wire ring or something like perfect that. Perfect with gallery wire, yeah. Bezel strip as well. I mean, this has got a really strong colour, mm. Liam. Oh. There's a, oh, okay. Okay. The only reason this is this this price is because there's only 16. Okay, I don't feel quite so bad about it now. We should though, because let's be honest, Sotheby's and Bonhams and Christie's will only have one. We've got 16. Actually, yeah. That's actually it's a big quantity. Yeah. Sold out. Well done. Ooh. Amazing. I've got one more jade. Um, this is a master carved piece. The lotus flower, lots of meanings behind the lotus flower because, of course, it is considered as the most beautiful in the world. Its, it, its roots literally nav navigate its way through the murkiest of waters. It is considered as the most beautiful flower in the world, and you get these wonderful colours of uh, sort of blooms and red. This is the closed bud, so just before it even opens and unfolds. So, I mean, you could put your own story, your own poem, your own meaning behind um, your design itself, but hand carved i'll pop it on the back of my hand as well so you can actually see um hand carved can you see the details there it is actually a closed uh closed lotus flower bud we should be at 14 pounds and 99 pence should be sorry 49 i beg your pardon what are you doing today then under 10 goodness me well yeah i mean it's a, it, it's an eight carat solitaire again you've got that beautiful uh beautiful quality of color but it's the meaning <laughs> I, I keep forgetting it's under 10 pound day that's the thing you get it's easy to like you see jadeite and you lose the you know what we've been doing all morning that's um, lovely isn't it for and for a carving as well there are 17 left it's the, it's the journey, isn't it? That's why so many people will yeah. have things like uh, uh, lotus flower tattoos and there's so much meaning behind it. It's that transitional periods and if you like, a little bit like the phoenix, if you like coming through uh, um, uh, sort of, I don't know, it's a transitional stone. Um, a couple of other people recognise what? Yes, I noticed the Edison pearl. All right, I've already put it this way. Luxury pearls. It used to be solely about your saltwater pearls. That's not the case really anymore. South Sea, Akoya, and Tahitian are the three big saltwater pearls. These days, freshwater pearls are absolutely coming up trumps too. Um, natural purples, papayas, we've certainly shown them to you as well. Edison, um, and I've, give, I've, I've, I've done presentations on Ed Edison pearls before. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the time today. Edison pearls, I would absolutely put in that same criteria. Oh my they God. are um, regarded widely um, as some of the best pearl harvested in the world. Now, these are um, a baroque size, a baroque shape rather. So you've got these really beautiful undulations, naturally metallic. So, um, so these aren't dyed or bleached in any way, shape or form. You've got your pistachios, you've got your bronze your golds your beautiful mauve colors running through we shouldn't be here you know that 
You know that. Edison Pearl. When have you ever got the opportunity to buy what an Edison done, Pearl Liam? under £10? What have you done, Liam? No, Liam, do you know what? Do you know what? I, I don't think you have. Because Liam has just said, my concern now, have I devalued Edison Pearl? <laughs> No, I'm going to say no, because our viewers know that we can't do Edison Pearl under £10, surely. Moving forward, you won't get Edison Pearl at under £10. It's just not possible. It's not possible. So um, just grab the deal. Make the most of that. Amazing. I certainly do have a colour change oh, floor. Right? Look at this. Oh, I love it. Who was asking? Janice. Janice, this is amazing. Colour change floor. Right? Any gemstone that has the ability to literally metamorphosize um, under differing, uh, differing light conditions um, <clears throat> fascinates me. Um, so, oh, yeah, under that. one lighting condition, you'll see this very tanzanite like blue. Um, oh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, let's do it. Under one lighting condition, you see this beautiful tanzanite blue. Under another, oh you get word. flashes of almost like an amethyst. You get red colours coming through oh. as well. This is crazy. Janice, I hope you're there. Check out nice and early. Nice and early. Oh, my gosh. Do you remember us launching these? Oh, my Part of a media. Gosh. These were one of uh, Marie's babies. Yeah. She launched yeah. them, and they were like £49.99. I'm oh not, they're not, they're not, they're not the, They're not the same solitaire. But they were, you know, they were... They were considered, weren't they? Oh, look at that. Four ninety nine. <gasps> Sold out. Well done. Um, okay. Oh, I've got my eye on these. And Claire, you won't have seen them yet. Ready? Can I do? Can I do the single heart first? Aww. Hang on. It is a very clear cut, you know. I mean. <laughs> Wait until you see this. This is, this is unbelievable. Just the box on its own, you know. But you've got a beautiful eye clean oh my topaz. Gosh. I knew you'd love this, Claire. Sorry, Ethan. Bear with. Hang on. He's <laughs> <laughs> so rude, isn't he? <laughs> Liam. <gasps> Three hours later, we get to see the heart cut. See, it's worth the wait. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh my goodness me seriously and it's not like a trillion it's not like a okay it's 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 a triangle and we're going to call you a heart call it a heart cut this is the most definite heart isn't it you oh, you've know, got the most perfection. beautiful class that is perfection oh so we had the burrs earlier on didn't we we had pearls earlier on can you imagine yeah, setting yeah. this oh, into a pearl 99 i know that's madness put into the lockets if you've got any of the lockets oh that's shop amazing. hard eat your heart out move i don't want you i don't want your round brilliant cut shop hard i want some beautiful heart cut topaz <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's a nervous giggle, by the way. A very nervous giggle. I don't know what's happened in... Oh, my gosh. Look at that. <gasps> but actually, Liam, you're onto something there. Can you imagine rounds and hearts all dancing oh, together? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you want me to take it out of the box? Can I do it fast enough? <laughs> I'll try, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> Here we go. Right, hang on. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute, because I think this is engagement ring worthy. It's worth the um, anticipation. Oh, it's worth the wait. It is so worth the wait. Look at that. I'd have been all right on uh, Crystal Maze, you know, doing all those tasks. Oh. Look at this. Oh, so that's perfect for your tube setting, isn't it? Two ninety nine. Oh, look at that. And if that were a diamond, then you would be talking, hmm. Uh, what size is it? Four millimetre? Three mil is the average size of a UK diamond engagement ring. But, um, uh, yeah, that is pristine. If you... <laughs> would you? Liam says, if he was to propose to me, this is what he'd buy me. Are you talking about because it's two ninety nine? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're talking to Adam. Was... <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what, though? 
Topaz gets overlooked by diamonds. It's a beautiful, it's a durable gemstone. It's got more brilliance than any diamond because it is. it, it can be faceted more than diamonds in some oh, sizes okay. as well. And that is pristine. Ah, oh. gorgeous. Do you know what? Amazing. Um, should we go back to the hearts, Claire? But this time we're going to do a bit of a bit of Phil Collins, and bring you two hearts. Are they hearts? Living in just one mind. Oh look! Hang on. Oh, oh my word! Wait. <gasps> There's four hearts there. Can you imagine? Oh, look at how pretty. I'm not sure what Phil didn't write a song on Four Hearts, did he? <laughs> he didn't. Look at how beautiful this is. It's crashed. No! Oh, bear, us, bear with us. We're just going to take the graphics out. Oh, I don't know which one of my favourites now. Oh, but at the end of the day, Claire, they've been like two ninety nine, three ninety nine. Yeah. These are going to be single figures because you have got the four, and you've also got some beautiful Mozambique garnet within there as well. That lovely, you know, I always say garnet's a romantic stone. You know how beautiful in the most look romantic at the, look cut. Look at the fire in that. Look at oh. are you? No. <laughs> Liam says I'm romantic. Oh, you should be, Liam. <laughs> yes <laughs> you should be it's a very nice it's very i like i like a bit of romance does doesn't go out go out of place does it look at how lovely okay phew we're back in business <sighs> oh so people have been able to buy them then it's just we haven't been able to bring the graphics to air so amazing 9.99 two pound 50 per stone mm. that is and we've had the burrs as we said earlier on we've had we often bring you sort of the big baroque pills can you imagine just a little heart oh, set in there in. yes yeah <gasps> yes let's do it they're lovely let's do the octagon Ooh. oh look how elegant that is oh there's 150 don't be fooled by that, that, that carrot weight because, you know, it's four by two millimetres, you know, just because it's a tenth of a carrot. Um, don't be fooled by that size. It's, it's still significant. I mean, this will be perfect for you to put on your, like, tapering shoulders. You can oh, bed it yes. in your silver clay, Claire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do, Liam, yeah. Ah. Oh. And because you're looking at an octagon cut, an octagon cut, a, be a baguette and an emerald cut, um, they have to be a better quality stone because you've got far less facets for any inclusions to sort of hide behind. Does that make sense? Two ninety nine. Can I just open this a second? Um, yeah, you've got less facets. So a round brilliant cut, it's a bit different with topaz because you can actually facet it more times than a diamond. Um, but a round brilliant cut has about 57 stroke 58 facets. An emerald cut or uh, an octagon cut has so many layers. Um, so you need it to be pristine, completely and utterly pristine. What? Oh. <laughs> Can't you laughing at me? Can you believe, what's he doing? Cat, you're in there, you have. Yeah. Oh, look at We that. need, I, you know, I was only saying yesterday that I would very much like, if I, if I, if I had the budget, one of those aspirational pieces for me is a, is a shopard mm. timepiece. I'd yeah. love a shopard timepiece, happy diamonds. I can get these stones. And maybe sort of do a, I don't know, a pendant version. Yeah. How amazing. Gosh, that's amazing. Let's do what, sorry? The pear. Yeah. Is the, oh, yeah. That's a pear. That's a pear. Hang on. Look at how lovely these are. And they come beautifully boxed. You know, topaz is a birthstone. You could literally give someone, just send it to them. Oh, here you go. It's your birthstone. I thought I might, I might, I might, I might as well. One ninety nine. you can't get a box of chocolates for that. Look at how pristine this topaz is. 
Oh, wow. Oh, gosh, look at that, Elle. It's perfect, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely pristine eye clean cutting. One ninety nine, one pound ninety. I bought my mum some. Um, I, and the only reason I'm not obviously presenting, if you like, the topaz talking about sort of the gemstones formation is purely because of time. It is always a little bit fast and furious on the under ten pound days. But you know, I bought my mum some chocolate the, the other day, mm -hmm. and it cost more than what's on yeah. your screens right now. Just a normal stuff bar of chocolate, nothing fancy. It's more than what's on your screens. Amazing. Well done. Um, somebody... Ruby and Emerald. Yes, I did see those. I did see those, Liam. They're amazing. I, yeah, two rounds. <gasps> Hang on. Are they... Are they half drilled? Undrilled, so you, these would be Undrilled. perfect for, you know, doing cages, wouldn't they? How We hardly ever get um, undrilled like this. So I would do that, you know, the, the wire work cage that you can, um, you can make. Ah, uh, yeah, because a As drill moves, hole, if you don't want it to be, you know, if you are looking for that, it would spoil it, wouldn't well, it? Well, it does, because you, obviously the whole point is that you have that movement, isn't it? Um, but then you will see the drill hole in it. Whereas this, this is, um, it's complete, isn't it? It's totally intact, that's... That These are ruby, lovely. Genuine emerald, natural in their colour. Nine ninety nine. That's five pounds each. I mean, you're looking at approximately what seven carats per solitaire stone. Undrilled, completely undrilled. So yeah, if you want to create that kind of Faberge, Faberge inspiration, mm, you know, yeah, cage it. Yeah. Have to create the movement as well in your amazing designs, and this will be right up your street. Fabulous, 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 fabulous. Make sure you do check out though. Uh, Victoria, Anne, London, Jenny, Selena, Jax, Anthony. Hi, Ricky. Hello to you, Worcestershire, Mary. Amazing. Shall we do um, some? Uh, I'm, I'm kicking. Have you got a piece of paper, Dan? Yep, he says. Um, just because I want to show you, otherwise you won't see it if you like. Thank you. Thanks, lovely. Um, Shanghai Peridot and Swiss Blue Topaz. Just a gorgeous combination. Oh, lovely. Hang on. That's better, isn't it? Just a beautiful combination. Have I shook that the right way? You're getting that lovely parcel Gosh, as well, a pack of ten. Peridot. So it goes oh. back to the burrs, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, your tube setting, that is perfect, isn't it? Look at that. Three ninety-nine only. I know, Swiss Blue Topaz, Chang Vai Peridot, just gorgeous together. Um, with your silver clay, absolutely, with your tube setting Definitely there. Definitely tube setting. Do you know what, just having little parcels of gemstones like this, um, you might not, I, I'm not a silversmith, so, you know, I, I'm not a, um, a talented guest design, uh, jewellery maker or guest designer, clearly, but, um, but I, one thing I can do, <laughs> one thing I can do is put pen to paper, so I can always imagine design, so I can imagine this maybe in a Boodles-inspired rain dance piece, I can imagine this in um, sort of big floral motifs, Three ninety nine. get hold of the gemstones, and create the piece afterwards um okay uh let's do what sorry yeah this is beautiful absolutely amazing come certified uh rajasthan um last on air at how much sorry the size of this that's incredible 29.99 the quality of this garnet is so beautiful <gasps> what liam what are you doing today oh look at that No. Eight by five millimetres, two ninety-nine. It's natural. From the pink city itself. Just hauntingly beautiful. Hauntingly beautiful. How many have we got available of these? We had sixty. There's oh, we're down to the final twenty of them. Absolutely oh, gorgeous. gorgeous. Well done. Um have I got a pack of Rajasthan garnets? Nope. You don't see them. Hang on. We'll use it. We'll have a look at the picture. Ah, oh, beautiful. So maybe you could have the pair and you could have them surrounding it or something like that. It's entirely up to you. Like I said, you're the talented jewelry oh, makers here. Look. Oh, look at that colour. 
totally and utterly natural. Rajasthan garnet. Do you know we really ever see it? In fact, the parcel. I remember it first launching here at um, here at Jamporia as well, and it's, it was always one of our biggest sellers. Um, you get these really beautiful, quite a, a purple presence within your Rajasthan garnet. Again, comes completely certified. They are beautiful um, for three ninety nine. Goodness me! I mean, the cutting process. Um, you're getting five of them, so if I just show you the one of them, hold that one up so you can actually see. Look at that beautiful, pristine quality. Again, they do come certified. Um, just beautiful. Again, I'm thinking about that locket, Claire, as mm. well. Yeah, and all the different settings that, that we do. It'd be wonderful for that. Five genuine gemstones. Even if they were more abundant gemstones, which they're not, at $3.99 amazing well done keep on dialing through congratulations um okay pre-night beautiful love it oh gem quality pre-night though this is liam you know that this is gem quality pre-night lesser quality oh. pre-night would be include would, would have black inclusions we used to have it on the strand it's still lovely oh, i actually gosh. quite like the inclusions in pre-night this is gem quality um so yeah it, it, it it's very distinctive um you get this kind this how do you describe it kind of like a limey um but very gemmy translucency um Hang on, let me just double check before I say it. Yeah, it's totally natural. Wow, goodness me. This is for the collectors out there. If you don't see pre-night very often, and no, when you I do, no, I've never seen it. That's with incredible. that translucency, yes. yeah. um, it tends to be in your gold. And you don't have to take my word for it. I encourage you, encourage you to look at pre-night elsewhere. Um, and you do, you get it with the, with the with the black inclusions. That's still lovely, but the best quality is, is inclusion-free. Um, amazing. I'm going to squeeze in a couple more between now and the top of the hour sky blue topaz look at this beautiful seven by five millimeters is a beautiful calibration of sky blue we've had a request for the hessenite garnet we'll do that for you no problem and also another imperial topaz he hasn't learned his lesson has he oh liam 4.99 look at that beautiful 4.99 these um, gemstones are, are beautiful, aren't they? Well, they're gem quality, yeah. aren't they? But yeah. then you would expect that, wouldn't you? You would absolutely expect them to be of uh, um, of gem quality. You know, when we buy parcel, parcels of calibrated stone, we don't necessarily differentiate, go, well, that's for jewellery maker, that's for gems, that's for gem collector. Mm -hmm. You know, we buy we buy collectively. Amazing. Um, keep dialing through. I love this Hessenite. This Hessenite's beautiful. Might be one of my oh, purchases of the day. Um, yeah, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I might try and open it, actually. Have we not got time? Um, here we go. Look at that amazing colour. I hope you can see that through there. Beautiful, pronounced dome. Four carats of Hessenite garnet, 11 by 9 millimetres. It shouldn't be under £10. Yeah, I'm going to be adding this to my order. Totally natural. Four ninety nine. That's madness, isn't it? It's beautiful. Work with your bezel. Bezel strip with that gallery wire. It's a bit it's of you, lovely. that is, Claire. Yeah. Shall we go out with a bang? Yeah. Imperial topaz. Imperial to the rarest colour of topaz. Oh, my goodness me. In a round, brilliant cut. Again, I do encourage you to read that article that Matt wrote. Matt wrote, Matt wrote, so, yeah, that's, that's already crazy low. Matt Bennett wrote that article, gosh, must have been about 10 years. I don't know. I don't know how long ago it was, where he literally went to, went to Brazil, which is where this location is from. This is completely and utterly natural. Um, and he talks about how many of the mine owners actually invest more into the ground than actually physically comes out of it. But it's like owning the ultimate uh, treasure trove. You're getting 15 points. Again, it's that wonderful, very distinctive. It's like a, like a champagne, um, sort of, kind of rose champagne, I suppose, captured within this natural gemstone. But again, incredibly rare. Please don't overlook at your Imperial Topaz for those of you that are new to the Topaz world. It is 
entirely, entirely a very collectible. Seven ninety nine is is embarrassing, quite frankly, for something of this uh, of this rarity. It is, and that's why I'm saying that's why I'm saying read uh, read that article because Matt Bennett talks about how less than a carrot per day is unearthed from that one mine that he went to the Oro Preto mine. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Absolutely fabulous. Well done. Um, oh, we got time. I. I did. I don't have it now. I've got a parcel of uh, Ruby's Oocyte. Oh, here you go. No, I've done that one. Here you are. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ruby's Oocyte. Lovely trillion cuts. I think they're beautiful. They look like little watermelon slices, don't they? <laughs> What's the only one I've got left? <laughs> they look like watermelon slices, don't they? They do. Look at the quality of the ruby Sweet out the bin. I love watermelon. <laughs> the final three opportunities. Oh, they're delicious, aren't they? Um, amazing. Well done. Make sure you check out your baskets. Three, three quid. It's been such fun, Claire. I've loved it. Oh, I feel like I've seen such beautiful things. This I know. Week. It's been a treat. Yeah. Are you going home for your little sleep now? I might do. Yeah, I don't blame me. To. When are you back, darling? Uh, Monday. Men Ooh, yes, Monday. That's, yay, that's with Monday. me. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Amazing. Have a lovely afternoon, everybody. Do take care. Back with you on Monday morning, but I know you've got you're going to be well looked after over the next few days. Make sure you check out your baskets on your goodies. Under ten pound deals. Yay.